Honestly, so many women keep showing up in that outfit, it's impossible to keep track. Oh my god, no, 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 no! <laughs> we did it everyone we've defeated racism stay the fuck away from me nigga um that sounds uh... racist you know we can't get in trouble because <laughs> she's allowed so is fringy fringy go nuts goodbye Cock. Hello. I don't like it. Another <laughs> really cool Hello. intro. Another cool Hello. Intro. Yeah, it's quite the intro. Uh, again. It's all different too, every time. It was like a different yeah. beast of thing. And um, yeah, it was awesome. And we'll probably look at it again soon oh. enough in the form of a Watch Together video. Um, but yes, welcome to the third and final part of EFAB 150, where we collect yeah. and do things. Yes, that yawn Aloha. was obviously just to represent how energized we all are. It was yeah. expelling excess energy. Well, that's what yawning it.
Wait, no, yawning is when you're trying to get <laughs> air in. That's um, I think up. yawning is to cool the brain or something, because the brain overheats when Why it, do we uh, yawn? you and you're tired. <laughs> Why do they yawn? Man. Why the do brain is too hot. Uh, yeah. Brain sizzle. Hot brain. Deep oh, brain temperatures go up or something. Researchers aren't quite sure why, but apparently oh. brain temperature regulation is the most scientifically backed theory, so there you go. Yeah. Yawning is less likely in winter, uh, apparently. Well, that's weird. Or is it? It's, it's weird that they like more when it's warm. Like, they don't know the exact reason why you yawn, right? That's just, like, the funniest thing. It's, like, such a simple thing that basically everyone does, and it's, like, this the science behind it, it's almost, like, shady, right? Well, I mean, that's the interesting thing about, in general, is, like, consciousness is the way that we understand existence to be, but, like, we don't really know what it is, where it is. It's, uh... Scientists still don't know why we coom, you know? It's just one of those things. Didn't, I thought Man, they figured one that one out, didn't they figure that one out? No, I don't think so. It's one to regulate Nick testicle mystery. temperature. <laughs> <laughs> he was running around butt naked, screaming and holding a banana. Or maybe it weren't a banana. Might have been what? one of nature's mysteries. If you know that reference, I'm very proud of you. Wow. Well, uh, no, I don't. Yeah, uh, it's, it's vaguely I'm familiar, but I got nothing. It's I've heard like... of bananas before. Y yeah, I know about that one. Not That's nice. what you're referencing. The the fruit, the the, the berries. Well, I think. Not referencing. Yeah, I see some of the going. herbs. I thought. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yep. Wait, you said bananas that... are berries. Did you just say that berries aren't fruit by implication? There, rags. You said they're not fruit. They're berries. No, I'm not them? sure. Are by the berries way, berries are fruit. fruit. For any of you ratchet and clank enthusiasts out there, category of simple fleshy fruit. There is a video series where two of the developers who worked on those games do a commentary over two and three, and they were talking about how they were surprised that they got away with that joke. Like, they, because again, that game is not, like, that game was rated, I think, teen or something. In fact, it might have been lower than that. And, like, I don't know how they got away with a lot of those jokes. It's a different time. It was. I, I like the early to mid 2000s edginess that was like prevalent in a lot of stuff. Imagine that. Imagine yeah, crafting like any kind of script and being like, man, will this joke sneak past them? I hope it does. I or, mean, I, I guess that's like a big part of. Um, I hope only the cool kids know this joke. Well, I guess it's interesting because Sugar honey video, tea. video games probably had like a different. So, uh, like I'm not sure if they were paying as much attention to that kind of thing. Whereas, like, if you if it's a film, that's all it is is the story. So you'd be keeping an eye out for that. I'm not sure. Yeah, but I guess the, the people um, like standards and practices might not play an entire game just to find out. Well, that was at the beginning later. of the game. That was uh, yeah. that was like one of the the second or third cutscene in the game. But there were a lot of those jokes throughout the whole series. Just it was um. I, I do want to play the new one, but I feel like it is going to be the thing that is has been talked about a lot, which is Ratchet and Clank became the thing that it made fun of, and like it's it's good at being the thing that it made fun of, and I I still like it, but it it kind of became yeah it became the thing that it was satirizing. Um, girls get it girls. done. Mm. Um, <laughs> <laughs> It's like Ratchet and Clank was often sort of crit critiquing uh, consumerism and and like and stuff like that and pop culture, and then it just became that. Like it became this big IP that sells consoles, and I don't know. Maybe that's inevitable. Maybe 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 it's like impossible to be a counterculture thing if you become like mainstream. It's just you can't do that anymore. Well, those are those are like. Antonyms, right? Counterculture and mainstream. Yeah, I guess that's. I guess, but I guess that's the thing is like people talk about the Simpsons kind of had the same issue as well. The Simpsons was countercultural when it started, but then eventually it's just this massive thing that makes a lot of money. And like at that point, you know, it it needs to meet certain objectives that that you know the kind of things that they were making before didn't need to. I don't know. Makes me a bit sad. That's all. Because it's it dead. 
Well, it's not dead. I guess it's alive and well. People seem to really like the new stuff. Well, Simpsons? What The Simpsons was oh, the is Simpsons, dead. No, not so much. Yeah. Um, that's okay. Zombie. You know, I think isn't beautiful because it lasts, right? This is from the good MCU movie, Age of Ultron. It did last. You better keep lasting forever. That's well, that's problem. why it's not beautiful anymore. It's ugly. It's ugly. You're gross. That's why old people aren't very attractive, because they just... They lasted too long. <laughs> lasted too long. You're no now longer beautiful, old, old man. Disgusting. Nasty. So, um... What possible surprises could we have for part three? Who knows? Um, I don't know, Mahler. What surprises do we have? Maybe we should open with checking out those those intro videos. Those, those, yeah, those, we can do that. It's, it's honestly, why not? The, um, I don't see any reason why not either. Let's I, do I don't know if you caught the first out. one. Ever is everybody in the in the watch together? I will I will repost oh. it if not. I am yeah, in I the watch. I together. am. I oh, am. I to play a game. I'm in. I'll have Ghostbusters in my face. That music video was one. really good. Well, oh yeah, we'll, we'll play it again. That was a lot of people to see it, but it was, it was quite the thing. Impressive to say the least. But first, called uh, another metal moment by Plague Creations. Prostrate. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ, my. I can't even do my singing right anymore. This is this is no when you when the stream is fucked. If I can't do that anymore, you might as well just fucking just end me. Oh my just God! <laughs> it's, it's, metal dies a lot. Yeah, just He's fine. rape my corpse. That's fine. <laughs> oh <okay. laughs> no! Oh gosh, what is this? <laughs> oh. Just got sent that. Oh, it's a noom. A noom? <laughs> New dumb friend. <laughs> oh my god, it's like a mutant tribble. Well, I like it. I approve. And of metal getting shot as well. Oh god, it, there's another part. I didn't even see it. Okay. Oh, that's <laughs> such a great little reference. I love it. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Gotta get the new chat up. Um. Do do. Let's. Uh, could this happen to me? Yeah, it's called New Bat now. I'm just gonna, gonna give her the old checker out a Rooney again. New Bat. What'd you bring me? Oh Look, we're in Gotham. We're in Chicago, Gotham, yeah. I can't believe this got approved for season three. <laughs> I can. I love it. Though. Yeah. <laughs> oh my oh, good god. Oh my god, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> Most fan content for this show probably comes from EFAP. 
Sounds eat a fan. Probably. Did I say most EFAP fan content? I meant Batwoman fan content. I, 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 I followed what you meant, whether or not you said it. Okay, just making sure this quote from chat is not CD. Fuck chat. What up, bitch and bitchettes? <laughs> <laughs> did it everyone we've defeated racism <laughs> um, that sounds bad. <laughs> <laughs> get in trouble because she's allowed so is fringy fringy go nuts goodbye <laughs> no metal oh that's good cock <laughs> i'm relieved that was actually really great. I'm gonna s put that over Pretty here. damn amazing work. That's a lot of 3D. That's kind of insane, and flamping. Yeah. Got, got, getting the lines. I'm pretty sure they would have Skayhab, um, New Bat Now. There's a parody of the song New Girl Now. Um, I I'm vaguely familiar with such things. By Honeymoon Sweet. Um, oh. And there is an original version. Hmm. Can be found links in the description of this, well, that, that video is, like I said, New Bat Now uh, by Skayhab. And yeah, because I'm pretty sure they would have done all of the things in that video. Like the singing, the instruments and stuff, as in whatever program they were using. Then all the 3D stuff, and then the Batwoman references created quite the uh, experience. It's such a collective. And the beautiful. music was, like, good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. So yeah, I'm I'm saving that so I can take a look at it later. Actually, um, again, trying to show it to some peeps of mine. That's really amazing. The song and the animations and uh, to Percy Reservoir, help me apologize for what I've done to their song. <laughs> um. Okay. Yeah, I'll keep that over there. So I can I'll watch it again when I'm a bit more lucid. Yeah, I was that gonna was say incredible. we did. 9 oh, 8 40, which means we've got to go for amounts of time. That's true. Mm hmm. Well, you know, it's not so bad. That's not too bad. Nine. Warning. 17 <laughs> Hello. Two. It is morning for me. 20, 6 six twenty is what we've got to reach. Okay. Well, we got 20 down, so we just got six left to go. We can do it. Hi, Matt. Whoa. 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 Mutumblo. Um, I, I, I slept longer so I could give you some awakeness. So you could gloat? <laughs> yeah. No, I actually didn't plan to sleep that long. <laughs> so you could glute? You could glute? Numorg? You're, you're exercising your glutes. Yeah. Glutimus Three. Maximus. Um, now this. Oh, God, I feel. This is pod racing. You you you've probably seen this before, Jay, maybe, but it's a funny video. Oh, oh that's funny yeah, because I think um, what I will say, I this is this. absolutely not your fault, but I do think the it's not th there is a stigma around lengthy critiques of genre of like popular genre material that like there's a precedent of very bad critiques coming from very lengthy videos, at least from my perspective. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder who he was talking about. It must have hmm. been like all those fucking weird people who make long videos that are really bad that aren't us. I actually I have no idea. It might have been you, it might not. I have no idea if he if you're even on his radar. Oh I would have thought I'm I've been talked about as the person who makes long stuff stupidly or whatever. Because you know like White Light makes long stuff, but nobody says he's a bad bin. So That's true, but like 
I, he's he's a very Doctor Who oriented channel, so I'm not really sure. Like, I do Doctor Who videos all the I, time. What do you mean? Though I think he has gushed over TLJ because I used to follow him. Oh, um, so well, there it's you go, possible. Shane. There you go. And now we finally get the answer. Metal finds out why he isn't an EFAP host. Oh, I seen that one. <laughs> <laughs> no. You We needed someone to, um, you know, back up these claims. <laughs> it was a little it too... like, you know, it, it is interesting how there's a correlation between people I associate with on the internet who get accused of being racist. Maybe you're the problem, Pringy. Maybe you exude racism and we soak it up. A big in trick. Our... I, yes, I mean, I, I do hate myself, so that might explain a lot. Much like our white skin absorbs vitamin D, so too does it absorb all of the racism from around us. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> See, we, we thought it was a little too pale in here, so we needed to get a token brown for us to make sure that people couldn't accuse us of being racist. So <laughs> 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 depressing. <laughs> Is that guy out there? No. <laughs> That's not the music I listen to. It's lies. Hi. Hello. Look, there's some right there in the corner. <laughs> it looks like. Oh a my god, he vanished. <laughs> <laughs> oh I like God. that he used a German. Um, Lots of death uh, when metal's involved. Metal. Yeah, what the fuck, man? What yeah, since death? I woke up, I see getting killed twice, and it's killing someone, and it's only been thirty minutes. I think. I think. I, I like think the, the most sad yodeling for metal. Fest. I feel like <laughs> the most guaranteed yodel. way to cause a death is to draw uh, metal in the first frame of a Gothic phone animation. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know what? Oh, were, were you able to show Gary a uh, guarding phone? No, unfortunately, but nah. we still have that legendary game. And you know, I don't see why we wouldn't try another one right now. Yes! The selection we have. Oh, yeah! I'm these... barely awake. This is going to be great. Yeah! I, uh, I, I need to tinkle first, but then I'll be cool. Not right here. Oh. Oh. I want to tinkle. I want to tinkle. Freak. Come on. <clears throat> Come on. I want to tinkle. I mean, the best one was I'm a stupid <laughs> moron with an ugly face and a big butt, and my butt smells, and I like to kiss my own butt. <laughs> my crotch. You Man, have a talent for remembering exact quotes of stuff. I d well, I've noticed. It, 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 it depends on what it is, because, yeah, there are some where it's just like word for word. Um. A lot of Rick and Morty references of word for word at this point. Yeah. That was worth well, a while. I gotta work on very good remembering show. things that are useful. Uh, Alright, yeah. like what? With media critics, of course it's useful to know the quotes from okay. stuff. <laughs> yeah, it would be Jane. very useful to like, have a, an encyclopedic knowledge of every piece of media you've ever watched. You can recite every line of dialogue. That would be fucking of phenomenal. I think, I think the help Very one useful. Dates. Not down to the to the exact date. But oh, if I could remember weeks. all of that, then that sounds great, and I would. But it would be something weird, like I don't even know. I can't even remember the things that I remember that aren't useful. And that's my that's my out. brain state at the moment. Another that's one in chat. Here's a useful one. Huge ass. <laughs> I'm looking huge for ass. a huge ass. <laughs> huge <laughs> ass. <laughs> Here's a useful piece of information. I just looted money from a sleeping homeless person in Cyberpunk 2077. Sick. That's rude. Yeah, how much money did they have? Uh, what was, and then, of course, the insert. Uh, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't check. <laughs> it's more of just, it's, it's more the principle, really. Oh, why are yeah, you yeah. If I find you, I'm going to use your head for a bucket and paint my house with your brains. <laughs> how would you like a shovel head? What was that? I'm going <laughs> to... I'm gonna, one of these days, I'm gonna catch you, and I'm gonna carve it in with your back with an ice pick. 
And then the when he when uh they frame Jimbo Jones and and he just tells him his address and Mo pulls out a giant machete. He's like, ah yes, rusty and dull. Mo's a special person. And then Buddy was drinking the beer out of the tap. It's like, uh oh, my heart just stopped. Ah, oh, there it goes. <laughs> just starts drinking again. All right, who do we not have? Me, give me just a second. Oh, Mr. Mr. Blame, are you in here as well? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was uh, looking at some stuff real fast. Uh, I've never, I've never played this, by the way. So. Oh, you'll love it. Being an avatar, I like. Give me a good one. I pee um, freely here. Hey everybody, I pee freely. <laughs> I think the funniest part is just the fact that he delivers them exactly the way that's needed to make him look like an idiot. We got two cacti. What is this? Hey, what? I'm the cockatoos. Yeah. Michael, I, I do you think I... that that looks like you, honestly? I just realized I've been muted this whole time and you missed everything I've said. All the Thank Simpsons God impressions, that. every part. You fool. Oh, well, um, homosexual. Hey, do we got a homosexual here? That's pretty good. For whatever reason, I don't know yeah, why it does so. this. Well, I mean, the alcoholic was a good guy. one. When I press the yeah. thing, it just cursor goes away. That's bizarre. Hugh Joss is like a really, that's that's a really good one. This was all back when Simpsons was actually good. Yeah. The olden days. Um, Simpsons is my, still uh, good. Oh, my, oh, can you confirm uh, that? Did you actually watch more than the one episode? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, a friend of mine, we used to be able to do uh, like almost any quote from like the first six, seven seasons of the show. And we would... Uh, Give a quote, and then the other person had to name the episode and stuff. Like, that's how big fans we were back in the day before everything went completely downhill. You know, I, I will say, like, for anybody who really likes old school Simpsons and wants more of that that, you know, doesn't exist in The Simpsons, one of the, the guy who wrote the most single episodes of any of, of The Simpsons writes a bunch of these really funny novels. Um, I always get it. It's John Slurzinger. He's got a really long last name. He's like that guy. You remember in Family Guy, there was this guy like Peter Cherapavadu something? Like, just that sounds like a Family Guy joke. Well, that's just the name of the producer. Like, that's his name. I think it kind of sounds like that guy who was a made up name and then he Mo said it was a horrible name and then he ran out of the bar. <laughs> <laughs> Joey Jojo Jr. Shabadoo. <laughs> It's, yeah, that one. Yeah, that was it. It was uh, John Swartzwelder. He he wrote fifty nine episodes of The Simpsons. What um, the? F he was there from nineteen ninety to two thousand three. He 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 had the longest tenure of anybody. Um, no, yeah, Joey Jojo. He has written Bad several Joey Jojo uh, books that are really funny that I would recommend. Um. They're, they're hilarious. They're, they're some of the funniest books I've read. Prove it. I, I will say, those books are like, there is absolutely no regard for cause and effect at all. It's just complete nonsense, but it's very amusing nonsense. Just like, really, really clever jokes. It's funny, you look at the, the old writer's room, it's like, man, this is just a... Conan O'Brien. Conan O'Brien, yeah, he did. I remember one of the things I learned is, um, Sam Simon, who is, who's, like, credited as one of the executive producers, he, uh, he's part, he passed away in 2015, but before that, he, um, he hadn't been with The Simpsons, he was only there for the first couple of years, and... He fought to get, like, executive producer status. And so, uh, even though after he left the show, he just kept getting paid at that rate. He's getting paid tons of money um, for work that he didn't need to do at all. Like, he wasn't even involved in the show. 
And uh, I think there was a quote where he said something along the lines of, before he felt like he had too little recognition, but afterwards he felt like he was getting too much for like a show that he wasn't really involved in much at all. Interesting. Maybe I've got that wrong though. Um, oh, wow. He donated a hundred million dollars to a bunch of charities. Wow. Ah, Neato. we're ready to go. Pretty cool. But he didn't yeah. buy a mansion? That's pretty oh, good. Worry, chat. I'm partially intoxicated, so this is going to be a great one. I know you love my drawing. Oh, no. You know, <laughs> it's, it's <laughs> more skillful to be able to at least have something that allows us to go, oh, I see how you, you got to that, you know, rather oh, than just yeah. a big penis. Really, <laughs> really big. So anyway, <laughs> let us begin roundeth, oneeth, normaleth mode. Hey, hey, if someone was to draw a penis, I think I'd know what would come next. <laughs> what a sentence. It is funny how, like, all the things we usually do on EFAP, everything gets harder the longer you stay awake. Like, <laughs> man, the challenge of writing a sentence has become Herculean. <laughs> well, I'm so using this a is gonna be, There are going to be some real up. interesting results here from you guys, aren't there? I mean, <laughs> tired <laughs> drawings are the same as... It's an art form, right? Tiredness? Tiredness is... I, I'm not sure you're correct about that one. Hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? Man, you could have given me a hard one. This is easy. I know. I know my a bug's life. Oh, <laughs> you got mine then. <laughs> hmm. Googling ref reference images real quick. Same. No. Oh no. I do appreciate just how many options you have in this game because we used to play other games that just didn't didn't do that, you know? Remember those other games? Oh, I didn't mean for it to be a penis and it turned it to a penis. Oh. <laughs> you have the undo button meme, you can use it. No, can it's too can late. You change co can you change colors and stuff? Or? Yes. Uh, I don't know where the colors are. Um, You're in the colors so section. You don't left. know where the colors are. Oh, there they are. Okay, never They're mind. The bright color I, I, I had the I had the window. I had the window covered partially. I got it. I got it. Liar. Hey, Am, what were you up to while you've been gone? Did you do some activism or maybe write a book? I did both of those things. I'm very excited. Um, Neat. I'm I'm gonna be self-publishing. Uh, it's gonna be a book on activism. Which ah. I hope, you know, is something that everybody will really enjoy. Is it like a guide? Uh, a guide to to writing books on activism, in fact. Yeah. So it's a little meta. Well, I hope it goes well. Also, hello, you guys are are still. Oh here. my god! Someone referenced Goldukat in the chat. I'm so happy. Did, well, have you been to sleep, Em? I assume so. I I have. I'm sorry. Yeah, kind of betrayed us there, huh? Time for my masterpiece. Also, hello, Pretty chat. Happy with how I went. Yeah, chat. Say hello, to everybody. It's so good. Galdu so cut did do nothing wrong. What's a Galdu cut? Um, one of the main villains on Deep Space Nine. <laughs> you and your little geeky shows. What do they do in that? Yeah. Fucking fly a little spaceship. Is, it, is that what they did? Oh, I well, no one's on a space station! Mm-hmm. Mm hmm. What? What? To describe the scene? What? Um, Good luck uh, drawing this. But it is definitely what the image is of. Is of. You're, you're trying to say you didn't fail them. It was, it was the image yeah. that failed them. The image just had his chance. Make Cardassia. Oh. Attention, Bajoran workers. 
Oh, the best part is your descriptions, guys. <laughs> this <laughs> word. I, what even is that? <laughs> oh, I think Evan got mine. <laughs> More than right. likely. Okay. Oh, I did that. There he goes. You have yellow eyes, right, Fringy? Yeah. His picture's right there. Yeah, yeah, but that would require me to look at my other monitor. That's well, you could have, you could have it, but... used the colorblind excuse. I could have, but I, I felt I didn't think of that. Can you pick the right color from the from from Gartic phone? That oh, that was a fill tool. You're a tool. Got him. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> Fuck you, Mel. Whoa. Hey. He literally killed somebody. Hi, my name is. Fill tool. Wait, that's like that's like the fill tool. Nice. Wait, is there like an unfill tool? I just filled in like a side that I didn't mean. Control to. Z. Oh no. Undo. There's little arrows as well. You can make it so you can go back and forth. Wait, no, time's running out. Oh, man, my right. time. No, I didn't want white. I need more time to make my masterpiece. There we go. Right? This is me. This is me in a drawing. This is cringe. <laughs> Don't say that, Mel. Yeah. Believe in yourself and others will believe in you. But no, I told someone else to. You do get that right. Attention, Bajoran workers. Come. Oh, no, never gonna About time for Aquaman. I actually just watched a couple episodes of DS9 the other day. So, such a good series compared to uh, the new garbage. Everything. Yeah. Oh, man. It's like so good. I mean, you can tell with the uh, the pilot episode for, for DS9, like some of the acting <laughs> from like Nana Visitor was a little eh. But. Um, <laughs> Just the, the series as a whole was just so much better. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh my god. Some of you guys are drawing so much better than I am. <laughs> I drew exquisite, so I, yeah, I'd be proud of anybody who gets to continue that. Almost so easy to describe. My coffee is empty. Your oh, no. coffee is empty. Now you'll have to get by on nothing but grit and determination. You can do it, Mel. And noom. <laughs> oh fuck! Oh wait, this, this is already clearly uh... deteriorated really far. <clears throat> mm, let's see. How do I draw this image? Um, I'm. I don't understand. Fuck. Um. <laughs> oh no. Uh, shit. I don't. I don't even know what some of this stuff is. This this one might require some interpretation. I think. Bring you delirious. Yeah, he's losing it. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is this is all relevant to the drawing that I'm making. And again, it's another Simpsons reference. <laughs> Losing it. Bring you hilarious. Hey, look, we talked about how when you get really tired, it's like a form of mild brain damage. Think about it. No. I refuse. Well, that's your prerogative. My prerogative is to fuck your bitch. Oh. Oh. Uh, uh, Oh fuck, gotta make it green. Jay, are you talking about Felix? Hey! Yeah. Leave him out of this. Oh, I'm gonna fuck him. No, <laughs> it's um, no. perfect. You, you don't, you don't want to say those types of things. <laughs> What's gonna you happen what if he say. do? I feel like this is peak... retard. Almost as if you can see my drawing. <laughs> Take up your mother's trident. 
That <laughs> pot was great. Why'd you make oh. fun of it? Ah! Uh, no, uh, the Before ah. mighty dark side took the throne, he searched the universe for the ultimate weapon, the anti-life equation, the key to controlling all life and all will throughout the multiverse. He well, found like it. Life, but hidden on a primitive planet. You found it. God, those scenes were so blunt. The story of the Defiance is well known. What the fuck? I have found the primitive planet, the world that fought back. It is here. Yeah. Why do you know that back to front? Did your drawing have a lot of? Because I had to keep editing it again and again and again. Well. I feel, I feel like you should have the whole movie on record at that point, then. So tell me what happens at an hour in. Uh, let's see. About an hour in... I think... Um, I think we just may be finished with the Amazonians, and we're moving on to... Um, uh, Steppenwolf putting the cube in the nuclear reactor. Secret prompt. Thank you. What's that? That Snyder Cut was a weird film, huh? It was Very uh, weird. awful. And I had to live with it for how many months? <laughs> really boring. Really, really boring. And really slow. I'm fucking, uh, fucking four hate. Four hours! Yep. As Angry Joe would say, four hours. What was the original context four. for that? Uh, uh, he was, was complaining about the length of like one of the Kane and Lynch games, was it? Kane and Lynch dog days. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Four hours long. Damn. And then it got even worse than that, where he's talking about like um, a two hour long Rambo, the video game. It was like a rail shooter that was only two hours long for 40 bucks. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah, I remember that. That was hilarious. I, I think I have created peak Gartic now. Oh, Jesus Christ. Come on, comrades, he's a man, <laughs> not a god. That was the, the line that he kept hearing in the final mission. <laughs> <laughs> I could definitely have drawn this worse, I think. Impossible. I feel like mine evokes exactly what the title required, so that's all really that I, I, I feel that's my involvement complete. I've made my guy running away from the thing that, that from his fate, but he's also smiling about it, and I think he's a complex character. I was gonna say, I, I actually did some sort of very straightforward work in this one, as well as abstract work. So there's something for everybody. That's, I mean, you put a lot of thought into it, clearly. Ah. Uh, Before Mighty uh, Dark Side took the to throne, he served the universe. Need more time. I need more time the to execute on my brilliance. I'm running out of time. I'm actually seriously light. running out of time. Uh-oh. Equation. Ah, fuck. I right. can't go, go, write go, go, that fast. Go, 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 go. Yep, ah. there we go. All right, excellent. Oh, these are always the uh. specific. Oh, yeah, I had more time than back. I thought I did. Awesome. Ah, fuck that up hard. Jesus. And all I'm fucking up hard. Oh. <laughs> what am I... <laughs> what am I looking at? I think you got mine. <laughs> I feel like I've been following the same person for a while now because these drawings have been of similar quality. I, it's probably me, I apologize. That's okay. Does your drawing have a big rectangle in it? No. <laughs> Maybe. Mine Mine has a rectangle. Not sure what the deal is, but... Everybody it's drew rectangles. I can tell I'm tired because my eyes are having like they have to. T it's a little bit longer for them to decide what needs to be focused on, and what needs to. It's okay to be blurry, you know. Mm -hmm. Help me out, go and way I like it, and I never get bored. What, what song? Fuck is that around coming? time. For that the way part. I like it, and I never get <laughs> bored. <laughs> oh yeah, that's grumpy. right. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> this, I feel like I could draw this. I don't shy away from a challenge. A challenge. <laughs> I'm drawing a toilet seat, no. 
You will always draw toilet seats. Make it green. That is be clear. No, not that part. There, I have created the master. Nope, he needs nipples. <laughs> no, I didn't want to make him all black. Well, no, I don't know what's wrong with that. You'll see. Am I alive? Would you like me to explain? <laughs> yes, please, in great detail. I've drawn a candle, but it kind of looks like a stick of dynamite. That's a very That's interesting good. explanation for my existence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before mighty dark side took Why the do throne. you keep repeating that dialogue? What the fuck? <laughs> it's in my head. It's in my brain. Stop putting it in our heads. Jesus, it's the Snyder Cut. What's wrong with you? Why would you do this? <laughs> I, so will, cruel. I have suffered in solitude for too long. You you, you are harming people. You're breaking the law. Yes, I am. Oh, I've got no time left to actually draw them in a bit. <laughs> Give me breaking that. the law. No, go away! It's the calling you must answer. I have found the primitive planet, the world that fought back. How would he forget what planet it was on? That was because so dumb. That's a very me. good question. So dumb. Well, because everybody me? in the war that not... fought there died. Zach explained this. You guys just didn't pay attention. Please, no. <laughs> Including not go into this. No, Darkseid survived. You just got really tired. <laughs> oh, really intricate and detailed I cable, really and then the actual characters who were supposed to be saying it for the last 10 seconds. Yes, it's the universe for the ultimate weapon. The antique life equation. The key to controlling all lives and all I mean, I'll hit start the second you finish the scene, I guess. Okay, you can start. Very nice. Only six hours left. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I know matter, right? <laughs> what? Not even six. That's five and a half. half. Yeah, I was oh. like, it's <laughs> off. Empty. No, I didn't. I didn't realize how much time I had left. So I. Didn't if Papa it. is dismayed to learn he only has six more hours to be. To be. Oh wow! <laughs> then he dies. What is that? Yeah. What? What is that? It's me. Drawing with Frenchy and shapes. Frenchy and shapes. Yep. That's about Rangy right. Reggie asking questions about <laughs> I want to know what this place Like, they're all floating around. Like, where are you, Freeny? Is this just like a science lab or whatever? This is a magic place. land. It's, it's in the it's shape a void. land where there are a bunch of floating shapes. He's like Play Doh. Mm. That's the wonderful. grasshopper kicked an ant in the face. Oh, that's yeah. what it was. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Green man with a vagina for a body has a bug on his foot. <laughs> lady Fringy bug vagina now. with lady of the boog. That lady went. of the boog. <laughs> Fringy being sucked into a vagina. Oh no. <laughs> Fringy <laughs> <laughs> is sucked into the feminist portal. Oh no. <laughs> that, that beak is phenomenal. <laughs> oh, we're all to blame. Fringy really oh. likes The Simpsons. Oh, all that's of true. the are always springy. Oh, oh, there you go. That's like a cringy yeah. watching The Simpsons. He's happy and cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! What's <laughs> 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 so happy and cute mean? <laughs> Hola, enjoying a date with Fringy. <laughs> 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 
cringy on <laughs> David. <moment. laughs> Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> that small <laughs> hand on the table got so much <laughs> The table is so good. Oh, yeah, the man. table and the candle. Oh man. So much effort and attention went into them. And you're like, oh shit, that's why people have to be here. This is supposed to be a date. <laughs> Dude, that, that hobo. So you can tell it was a date. That hobo is yeah, top yeah. notch. Seriously, that's the best hobo. <laughs> That's Homer right there. <laughs> that's like my favorite Homer. That's kind of literally what he looks like in the episode. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that one kind of survived, almost. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, there you go. Wait, are you allowed to write the words? Warp by the <laughs> for the incident. You can do whatever your heart desires. Hmm. All right. Risky. Exposition kills a man on the left while a portal An exposition. opens. Exposition. Exposition. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <My dad. laughs> the text text crushed Jim on the merge of Stargate. Yes. I like that, Rags. Yes, oh. freaking. <laughs> I feel like so I feel like the man falls out of like the portal the and is crushed by a reactor. A reactor. Damn it, Jim! I want to work with Rags. I'm gonna write rectangle and run out of time. Oh. <laughs> so many events um, happened here, <laughs> such as turning Wesley into Wesky. I didn't know what to do with it. I was just sitting there going, "Fuck, what do I do?" And then it started ringing, and then the time got closer, and I just... I love the. I just failed you. He was killed by exposition. That was great. <laughs> <laughs> Floompoldingus is sad. Oh, oh yay! <laughs> See the thing is, I still oh, don't okay. know where this is going. I feel like the Goobam is too monster. The Goobam is too monster. It's Bot right Sims. I'm curious. Spot this little finger nose. Grassman was very worried. Grassman. He could hear the Martian Grassman. mower. The Martian <laughs> mower. <laughs> <laughs> it flies. Man is about to be mowed by flying land mower. Land mower. <laughs> Yeah, oh I guess that's my vote. He's very smiling. He's smiling, yeah. Flying green lawnmower Spot. chasing Yay. Grubbly. <laughs> Why does his name change all the time? <laughs> <laughs> Grubbly felt like nice a good man. Grubbly is a sophisticated Yeah, man. I figured he would have a top hat. I don't know. <laughs> As he would, yeah. <laughs> Naturally. A terrorist trips on a rock while attacking a park. Oh. oh, okay. <laughs> That's what that was. All right. Disgruntled man flees to the park. Oh, he's disgruntled. Oh. <laughs> well, he's <was> very disgruntled. <laughs> 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 he's proud. Shitting on grass, senpai. <laughs> 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 oh no! Elder Fringy receiving his blessings from Darwin. <laughs> so if only the color green is there, that is how Fringy will appear. That's good, That's guy. Going. He's pretty cool, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Harris never stood a chance. Cosby and Hitler, the brand new sitcom on NBC. Okay. Oh, that's what that was. <laughs> uh, standing on the chair. Baby Heidler practices. Heidler. Heidler. And kind of Heidler. What is that? Baby. <laughs> the simple slug man. I love the simple slug man. <laughs> that is great. Wormy morning his lost friend. Cat man. <laughs> All that was left was his cat. Hat man. What the fuck? He's boarding his lost <laughs> friend Hat Man. That was utterly mingled. Yeah, see? He translated. Oh, so that's what happened to him. <laughs> oh, God. Wow. Oh, God. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> it started to be consistent once it got to the worm, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Help me. Oh, and it like trails off too, you know? It's like, ugh. Mm. Help me. Bill Cosby became a worm, and Hitler became a mangled worm. <laughs> I like, I like well, the look of his sheer disgust and shock. That's some biting political yeah, commentary, I would say. Horrifying. Right? Dead. The worm has such a good look on his face. Like, yeah. 
just wanna. Disney hired a good writer. No. That's how you can do this. Impossible. Impossible. Climate <laughs> <laughs> change has finally reached town. <laughs> Wet house was close for the Aquaman. Ah, uh, Ben Shapiro. In a that fire was very sale. smart, Ben. Okay. <laughs> You see, I still don't know where that's going. Aquaman. <laughs> that's golden armor. Some men just want to watch the world burn. Bairn. 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 That's the way I like it, and I never get bored. <laughs> 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 what? Yeah, no, it makes sense. It makes sense. <laughs> That probably would have turned into fringing if Clown it was penis. allowed to continue. Oh, oh god. That's straightforward. I didn't see a single penis, so I'm I didn't have enough to... time. It was supposed to be coming out of the tent. You didn't have enough time to draw a clown penis? It was supposed to come out of the big tent, and I didn't have time. Big cock just... That's a good circus. Look at that. The circus, but with a barrel. Uh, my apologies no. for my drawing already. Already, the circus found the <laughs> yeah. perfect place to set up cam. The, the what? Bird. Incomprehensible circus. So place. Show, the the, the yes. proprietor. <laughs> I. Juggling. Are you thinking of juggling? Look, he's doing the trapeze, or whatever it's called, the thing with the people. Yeah, yeah. And that that's up with guy's just a freak with it's a big like, thumb. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is a circus. They probably have a weird thumb. What a successfully fap 150. Yay! Yay! Yeah. Lots of fun. I'm glad we're here. Hooray. I want to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> what? All the guests, the maybe? The parade was in full swing. What? Oh my god! god. That's that's terrifying. terrifying. That's horrifying. Oh my god! Lord. Possibly smurfs. <laughs> they are happy to you. <laughs> what? A new weird what? Scottish mascot. <laughs> <laughs> that is guilt and bagpipes. You know, the most disturbing part of this is that Coin thought those were happy people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is this not what happiness looks like? <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's happy. I am experiencing wow. happiness. <laughs> is that not the emotion humans call happiness? <laughs> Empty we soul. Are all, we are all happy. <laughs> Well, wow. uh, that's that's a that's a face of the lobotomized soul. <laughs> that is the one thing worse than a lifeless corpse: a mindless corpse. What would you guys like to do next, mode-wise? We could do another animation. one of those, or we could do an animation, or animation. Uh, or uh, the animation then? Yeah, all right. Yeah. Oh, is that a new mode? New era. Oh, yeah, you animation's yeah, cool. That's like a lot it, of fun. You don't like it. Oh, Ooh. it's yeah. Just animate the thing. You're gonna draw a picture, uh, and then okay. you're gonna, uh, add to the animation, and then at the oh, end shit. it plays them all. Oh fuck! You're gonna be okay. This everyone, just exactly breathe. Just breathe, and you'll be fine. Wait, wait, what, what? What? What am I supposed to be doing here? You're drawing something, and the next person after you is going to draw the same thing, but the next frame in an animation. Okay, so, okay. So don't make it too insane, or else, you know, um, they won't be able to do anything, and it'll look it'll look like me and drew it, which nobody wants. <laughs> nobody wants that, no. <laughs> nobody wants that. Oh, I'm not allowed to do that. Fuck. <laughs> oh, you can't fill things? Yeah, oh, no, I said okay. I've got to grab a coffee. Note that they've changed the rules on this one, where you can't do fill. Acknowledge me. Oh, hey, man. Do fill. Fill shall not be <laughs> used. Oh man. I feel like no, no.
Someone in the Discord said meme should draw a comic. <laughs> Please I'd, no. I'd read it. <laughs> Am I, I, I'm assuming curious how many people are drawing wholesome things or horrible things. <laughs> I'm drawing. I'm drawing a horrible, horrible thing. Jay, I told you never to do that. I don't I'll... respect you I... enough to do it. And not. Ow. Draw with a mouse at all. Wait a minute, video game. We're not done. Fuck. Yeah, okay, that's good enough. All my Mario Paint skills have gone to waste. Fuck. That's awful. Needs more Noom. I think everything <laughs> needs more Noom. <laughs> You're a Noom. You're just mad because you don't even know what Noom is. The revolutionary new. Oh. oh. What is Good this? Lord. I don't want to animate this. No. Oh, fuck. <laughs> um, you man. have to. You must animate it. There we go. Um, uh, uh, it's hilarious. Uh, this is. This is basically exactly what I was drawing, just with a violent implication instead of like, no. Oh god. Come on. I don't want this. Well, you're gonna get it. Oh god, I'm too drunk to do this. No. <laughs> oh god, no, I'm getting rid of it. Uh, oh no, chat, no, don't give me spoilers. Spoilers? What? Why is the first fucking drawing I get something that was fully colored in? <laughs> because somebody was giving a gift to you, Jay. Like Don't worry. A large area of this drawing has been fully colored in. Because they gave you a gift. You can change the size of the brush. It helps a great deal. Yeah, I, am, I have done that. Fuck. But it's still a large area of the image. Plus, there's detail on top of the coloring in, which you can't see once you've colored it in. You can't see where that detail is Ooh, anymore because you're this coloring has, that's in. That's where the challenge the comes in. Shut up, rags. Whoa. Fuck you. <laughs> Someone woke up on the wrong side of the cornflakes. I was going to say cornfield. Well, cornflakes, cornfields, kind of the same thing. Mine was so easy. I'm just sitting here happy and done. Well, that's, that's the thing. Good life. Mine was kind of easy too, which means we're going to get the hard ones a bit later. That that sucks. Don't do that. Yeah, right, well, you well, know. Because they're going to simplify over the course of the game, so it doesn't really matter. All of the hard ones should go only to Mauler. I would like the easy ones, please. Why me? Why can't you make it everybody? No, no. You're mean. live on the stream. People want to see you suffer. You're being mean. <laughs> <laughs> Not just Vana, I just Vana. Vomit. I want to suck your blood. Yes. That's not I what I expected to you to say. Blood. But that's what we all wanted. I like basketball. It's my favorite sport. I like it how they dribble up and down the court. Oh, nice. come on. And I just got a basketball picture, so... So did I! Um, oh my of. god, what has happened? I don't. Well, um... I mean, it's definitely a hoop, but it's not. Um, it's not being played like basketball. I don't really know what to do with mine except push them forward a little bit, which is what I guess I'll do. I mean, that's that's what you should be doing for like the majority of the drawings, I guess. You don't, most of these don't need your creative input. Oh wow! If everyone tries to add their creative input to every drawing, you're gonna get a crazy mess where every it, it changes every frame. Who fucking put a net every here? Second? Why are you allowed to live? Well, I, I had an easy one once again. Now I feel kind of sad. I'm like, where's my hard ones? Come on, Jeebus. Oh, fuck. No, it's got to be like a bit more forward, I guess. That was wonderful. Like music. Down, just like a little bit more down, because I gotta let the other people fill it in. Oh, 
bop do da bop do ba e m dee 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 dee. What song is that? It's the song I made up because it's that's the fuck I'm tired song. It <laughs> it's just I know that's mostly just made up on the spot. Can I buy it on iTunes? No, it's free. I in oh. fact I you can download the source code from uh, I know that movie. Music.com, yeah. Stars Jake Gyllenhaal, I think. Who's the lucky bastard yeah, who does. is who 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 nabbed the website.com? Well let's find Ooh, out. Let's go to website.com. The website it's probably, it's probably porn. Is so it let's porn? Let's find out. It is no, it's everything you need to build your own website. Website. Oh, oh, website well, I guess God that damn. Makes sense. Wow, that does make I a lot of sense. We could have, we probably could have guessed that's what it was gonna be. What about <laughs> the website? Anything. It's the most generic <laughs> name ever. I remember. Uh, internet. Uh, internet. I remember internet. back in, I remember the back in school, when um kids were trying to go to like the White House website and they put in WhiteHouse.com, which is a porn site instead of WhiteHouse.gov, and like oh. the teachers started panicking. I'm gonna continue the animation from this I don't one. know That's what this is. Why the fuck did you give me this? You, have, you deserve this. it. You deserve I it. I don't know what I we can't... all decided. I don't know what the action of the scene is. What is this? Then you have to guess. I got the same problem. Oh, fuck. That's why motion lines are great. Well, like, I have right. them in this, but I don't really... Like, what I have to do with them doesn't seem very interesting. I'm just like, oh, I, just, I move that there? Okay. You know, you know, what, you know uh, what I'm saying? I don't know. I'm gonna what? give this fucker, this fucking bad person, a grisly fate, because fuck him. Oh, God. And we got a first death. Yay. We've told you to stop Fuck. killing people, and you just keep doing it. He, You don't know what he's done, Mauler. I've seen see his you. I've seen his work and <laughs> I don't like him. Oh, so I just have to trust that you know who's to die and who is to not. This guy you, you agree that this guy is to die with the action that he's taken. Wow, someone just has to add something. It's not how the, I can't just add stuff. Then it'll, it'll be like wow, you There'll be a continuity did. error. Yeah. We don't like that here. Yeah, that's objectively oh. bad. <laughs> We, uh, we, we take a pee-pee on that. Someone said, stop, Jay. He kills animations. <laughs> Jay, hi. I've given, I've given him the, the potential to have a grisly fate. Um, because I oh, can't really give him a grisly fate in one frame. So you can take um, this wherever you, you want. But seeing, seeing what he's done, the next person who gets this image. Who was the person who oh, made no. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Didn't somebody make so, a Kringy's okay. happy falling man die in one frame? <laughs> yeah, that was yeah. <laughs> I am. I gotta, sorry. I gotta see nice. that other god exploring no, no. game. And then, point. and then the, the metal added the simple motion of a falling tree, and it time. became a ghost. Time. Yeah. <laughs> Such a simple motion, ghost. <laughs> oh no! Damn! What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what? Um, I, what I is this? <laughs> Any one of you could have gotten mine, honestly. <laughs> Sounds like Jay I got it. I just completely messed up for whoever no, this would have to too clear. Mine is very normal. Like, this is this is very clearly a well-executed drawing of some fucking bizarre-ass shit. It's like completely <laughs> incomprehensible. But the drawing is like... It's... It's a good drawing of... of, of Shapes and colors. Well, there's not mine. No, I just gotta draw this getting slightly closer. Ain't, it, ain't animation just great? I wanna just yeah. add some motion in here so the next person no, actually has something to I do. I bought the animators. Ha uh, you know, survival kit, and it's taught me a lot of. I mean, it's funny because it probably has, like, at some level, <laughs> like, valuable lessons for specific legardic phone. It's the principles of animation, you know, they're, they're useful in all yeah. all areas. That Ghosts, is a really great suicide, book, death, pain, yeah. blood. <laughs> 
rayons as well, because you can kind of... Rayons. Mm -hmm. well, yeah. Shaped colors. <laughs> I want to know how this image started now, because, man, like... No way that someone just, like, for their first drawing drew loads of, like, random weird-ass shapes. <laughs> yeah, no way if anyone would do that, yeah. No. No, the time I did the little... Could, that was just to see how it would change. No, that was the other one where you had to memorize it and then redo it. And so I just put a bunch of, like, colors and numbers and shit just to see what would what people would... How, how long it could go. And it actually turned out pretty well. I had, like, ten numbers. And they all survived. It was kind of cool. I remember like the alien face and the swastika and the word pain. Was that you? <laughs> no, I wouldn't. Oh, no, if I was oh, depicting was a swastika. Was that from games ago? That was pain. me. That was me in the first game. I would draw a happy Hitler. Why? I just want everything to oh. be all right. <laughs> um. <laughs> I know what this is. I don't know what the motion is. I have no idea where to take this. I'm not sure what I'm looking at here. <laughs> it's experimental. Oh my. <laughs> like I think I know what it is. Oh, you don't. You don't have mine then. Well, I mean, it could be many things. That's that's kind of what I'm saying. I don't know what the Vaguely. motion is here. Vaguely butt like, Muller. You could say that, yeah. <laughs> oh, I think you did get mine. I'm curious what you think it's supposed to be because I have no idea. Three bums or two bums, I guess. Ooh. But like they're conjoined bums. They are, yeah. You know, in a lot of ways, that's more beautiful. <laughs> um, you're allowed <laughs> to have your preferences. Oh, in a lot of ways, that is more. Beautiful. See, so you agree. Mm. Oh, oh, fuck. You know, I, I hadn't uh, until this moment, and now I agree. Knew it. Oh, no. This is gonna. This is a great little character in a great art style that I'm, I've got here from whoever drew this. I congratulate you on, on your drawing. Oh, fuck. Uh, this is too is much. Is everyone for me. excited for what if? Part three. Oh, oh yeah. There's like a fake image going around of uh, it said, "What if Black Widow killed Tony Stark?" And it. Had... I don't think that. No, that's not fake. I think that's actually part of the. Oh well. Trailer. I'm glad we can't distinguish anymore. Well, that was actually going to be what I was going to say. Someone in the subreddit said, "No, that's fake. That's not an actual episode." And then someone else. I was like, pretty sure it is, and I was just looking at it, I was like, I believed it when I saw it. I was like, yeah, Black Widow killed Iron Man, I guess, for some reason. Yeah, I've, I've seen, I forget where, but I, I saw, like, actual trailer images of, basically, in the diner, Black Widow kills Tony Stark, and he's on the ground, and, like, he's just kind of, like, flopped out on the ground, and uh, Nick Fury is, like, kind of shocked. And then the next scene is Widow um, being handcuffed and taken into headquarters. Or <gasps> what? <laughs> What's happening? Wow. I'm, sure she'll be, I'm sure she'll be proven right all along. Well, I think so, I like... think the idea is going to be what if what if uh, Black Widow became a member of Hydra or something. I think that's probably what it's going to be. Whoa! But why would she just kill Tony in the? Re is that just like the restaurant instead of Iron Man Two or? I mean, why would they make Thanos the way they did? They don't. I don't think they really have any reasons or rationale. They just kind of run with whatever. Wait, someone in chat just what, said what we can do whatever we want. they liked episode it's two. Cool. And it's like, oh, why? I mean, you know, they might. No, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> well, the the thing that's really dumb about the Thanos stuff. Like, I mean, I mean, there's all kinds of dumb stuff about it, but in Marvel Comics, Thanos is considered to be a universal constant, which means he acts and behaves the same way in every universe, no matter what. So he you can't convince him to change his mind because he's like, that's that's who he is. Like, what by their could? own, you can't <laughs> like that's like yes, that's can. literally the rules of of Marvel you literally uh, for the character. Can. Um. 
So, it, like, it just doesn't make any sense. It's just all kinds of dumb. I feel like that's not where I would go to for a criticism of what they did. Well, no, it's just, I mean, there are there are a million things you could criticize, but that's one of the things that um, anyone who actually knows about the, the character knows that he doesn't change. Like, in all the alternate timelines, in all the alternate universes, in all the alternate what-ifs, he always behaves the same way. That is who I, Thanos I feel is. Like, I feel I like, like writing it so that he's literally incapable... If. I feel like making it so it's literally physically impossible for him to change is the opposite problem of what they did um, in, in, in What If. Because, like, you know, it, th that, you know, that's just an equal opposite. We change is completely for no reason. It's, he's literally physically impossible. Uh, well, no, the, the difference... Yeah, the di so the difference in, like, the comics is, like, how does he react to the different situations? And how does he go about still achieving his goals in the different situations so i mean yeah i mean there are there are limitations to be sure surely if you like if if, if, a, what, if scenario changed the way he was raised or like like his motivation is based on the well they actually the mcu is based on the destruction of titans so what if, if um, didn't have they actually did boom, that though boom, in there was a uh there was a a story with what if thanos was raised by the punisher and uh what? punisher yeah it's 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 a big one um so thanos was raised he was um i, th I think i think deadpool or P punisher was supposed to go and kill baby thanos and he just couldn't do it so he decided to raise baby thanos and he tried to teach the kid to you know do the right thing and and you know this and that and all that and he basically raised him in the best way he possibly could and Thanos still turned out to be the exact same way. He just had a Punisher logo on his shirt when he was destroying the universe. So, like, it's it's the so thing it's... that it's he still becomes the same thing. It's just he goes what about he it didn't. in different That's ways. Yeah, but what if I write a what story where it doesn't happen? That's the whole point of this. Uh... Yeah, I, I think that really sucks. <laughs> well, I mean, you suck. can that's that's just the way the character was was made in the comics then they can change it holy fuck yeah well i mean i guess the thing would be well no what because the, about him the rule, that's yes. but what why would it be immutable that he can't be a different i don't know you'd have to, so you'd have that, to ask that point, the writers at that oh. point it's basically saying he's genetically predisposed to have these particular set of ideas and i think that's really dumb yeah i was gonna say you could push that's that better. to, to some degree like, but like the degree of he will literally turn out to want to wipe out half the universe every time. You're like, what? That sounds really specific. Especially when in the I know it's not the same in the comics, but in the MCU, his motivation is specifically tied to his experiences. So saying that that was um yeah that, that oh yeah. fuck time 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 did not happen with me here. Oh, well, I mean no. that's how we look at it with every character, right? Is he a character? Or is he just a robot that's designed to do that every time, but in flesh form or something? Flesh robot. Robot. Yeah. I'm gonna fuck it. No. What have we told you about fucking everything? Yes. Do it? Why is, why did someone give Do me it. a drawing of a guy getting killed by a waffle? <laughs> That's... <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. I don't know what no, the... What you just described is. looks kind of like what I have. It looks like a waffle <laughs> killing somebody. I don't know, I don't know what this is. Well, you probably got mine <laughs> All of these have clearly deteriorated so far. <laughs> yes, yeah, the theme to me seems to just tear the image apart, is the idea. Maybe it's because if you have a certain amount of people, like it's best for maybe five or six. Yeah. Well, I think it's best for lots of people who can draw very well. Or at least um, all right. Yeah. Hey, I yeah, because I'm just, yeah, I'm a little... Oh, fuck. I'm, I'm, so, I'm too drunk for this. I feel like meme, in, you know, even even in his even in his normal state of drawing, but especially currently that he is drunk, is probably these drawings are getting to meme and then they are degrading. I mean, they're going to be degrading with everyone else, but I think particularly with meme, they're probably going to be degrading. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> like they'll no lose faith. a little bit of detail every time, every time they go to a new person, <laughs> maybe. Uh, <laughs> Well, I finished mine already, so I'll just add a little little penis in the corner. No. It is getting very <laughs> hey, difficult. Hey, that's my trademark. Stay awake. Uh, quick, um, 
uh, there's a there's a there's a killer on the loose in your area, and he's got an axe, and he's oh he's breaking down your window. Does he go after people who are asleep? Mm-hmm. Oh what? <laughs> really annoying and specific. Especially people who are asleep. Guess I'll stay awake. I think he's, this was this is going for. Whoa! Did no one hear that? What happened? No. 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 I, I was didn't hear that. To, I, was I was trying to like I was trying to knock on my desk to make a knocking noise to to wake you guys up because like you're like oh is someone knocking and then Discord filtered it out completely. Yeah. It was like Discord's right next to my mic. Is, uh, yeah, you got to turn the crisp thing off. Poggy. I'm you guys gave me very little to do on this one, man. This whole time. You can't hear it at all. Except when I speak, I assume. Okay. Yep. The cr cream. Oh my god. Uh, cool. Yeah. I understand what's happening here. Oh, but, lucky you. Well, it's good to know that's that there's at least one drawing. image that's going to make it. <laughs> yeah. The last two drawings are like, I don't know what these shapes are. <laughs> I've sort of given up at this point. Like, I I don't care. I've lost the, the, the will to try and make these coherent. I'm giving mine a good ending. Just, How do we know when they end? This is when it. we run this out of the last one. 10 out of 10. So oh. this is the last one. Oh, I one see. We have. I see, yeah. yeah. End of the road, Megatron. Megatron. I don't know what the action is here, but well, no, it's fine. It's fine. I wonder if this was a basketball just net at some point. This big round fucking... Oh, probably. I drew a basketball net right <laughs> yeah. at the start, so I was in not my first ring, but one of my first ones was a basketball net. I mean, this yeah. could be a seat. This could be a very chunky laptop I have here. Uh, I have like a carrot moon or something here. Okay, I don't know what I have. The I'm images aren't supposed to degrade when you can trace them. Yeah, it's uh... <laughs> weird, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, but when you have shaky, drunky hands, it's it's difficult. Is it though? Maybe you have yes. a drinking problem, meme. Oh my. God. Well, this is the first time I've had a drink in months, so. Fuck yeah, you. so you drink too little. That's your problem. Yeah, maybe you could handle your booze better. You'd be doing fine. Yeah, yeah but here's the thing. I require less like alcohol to get inebriated than I want you to start drinking at least three units of alcohol a day. <laughs> oh, no. But then I would kill myself. Why? Because you're too much of a pussy? Yes. Oh, oh got it. Disclaimer, yeah. EPAP chat. Don't drink three units of alcohol a day. Yeah, make that yes. five. Yeah, <laughs> five pussy. units. Unless you're a pussy. <laughs> Here we go. There's a three, three if you're a pussy. Mm-hmm. Go on. Go. If you're a pussy. Go on. Please, the little, give me just a second. Okay, mom. Oh, we want to see these animations. I want to see... I want to see them all get to me. When they go. <laughs> <laughs> I think you go it's going to be great. They're going to go gonna through what's great. called the meme filter, um, which is to say they'll get to a point and then they will immediately die. Yes. It's like, like no, just um, like one you know, the instant one meme. Long term cancer just goes. <laughs> you know, like the, um, the the theory of the great filter that stops uh, galactic civilization from existing? Yes. Yeah. 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 Figure out if it's. Yeah, that's what. That's meme. Yeah. <laughs> I am an alien, so... <laughs> Preventing us from reaching our full potential. Yes, yeah. I came here to sabotage the human species <laughs> with gothic fun. You bastard. Can we oh, do the, uh, right. the one that's, that's supposed to degrade after this one? The uh, knockoff? Like the, the one we have a shorter... Yeah, knockoff. Yeah. Uh, oh, cool. This, can, this is gonna go well. I think this is the only one that will go well because I managed to actually draw something. Okay. This, one. <laughs> this, 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 this is the one. Lot twist. This is the one I got at the end. Oh, oh this, no. this already this makes is... sense. Kinda. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what's gonna? Oh. Uh -oh. Meme. Meme, what'd you do? 
What? Oh. What? what? Okay, I, 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 I was wondering how it got up there. <laughs> <laughs> Holy yeah, shit, it really is. The ball is turns into like fireworks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> no, no one understands what's happening here. Like it's, it's... <laughs> it just starts floating. Oh, Rags, you tried. You tried, but oh, you had an email. Yeah, I tried. <laughs> Let it not be said that Rags never tried. Rags tried, <laughs> but then the meme there, passed. What the happened? The motion is so clear, but it makes no fucking sense. <laughs> I think capital O is cabin with capital O. Oh, God. That's beautiful. I did not think that was Whoa! a basketball hoop at all in any way. Uh, oh, well, okay. Okay. <laughs> Well, I started moving it at least. No, I did. I moved it. I, I made his hand like he he basically punched himself in the head. Oh man, yeah this this doesn't do a oh. whole lot. <laughs> this might be the best one though. Yeah, this is gonna clearly this be is good probably animation. gonna be the best one. Unless one of y'all fucks it. Oh, oh Jesus <laughs> Christ! No, we can break it together. We can we can we can. Break what? It. His arms. <laughs> <laughs> He's still going. Oh, go, little buddy, go. Oh, I get the moving that behind the head, but that's okay. We were this close to greatness. What the hell is that? <laughs> You can see eyes the all moment starts around. to be gray too. Like in the face, you can see when you stopped tracing. Yeah, I look at the eyes. The eyes look are the, the best eyes. part, yeah. Slowly get smaller as well. I just wanted to be a part of something. <laughs> that one went surprisingly well. Oh. <laughs> Oh, hmm. all right. Oh, that thing is yeah. gonna die. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Yeah, that didn't take oh. long. <laughs> oh, I, got, I know this really image. Complicated frame. Oh, oh God. God. <laughs> Oh jeez! <laughs> oh my god! I am so rotate. bad for what I did to this creature. Grace oh, would god. hate this. Uh. <clears throat> <laughs> the irony being that that means insanity works for this one. Yeah. <laughs> oh god! It's disintegrating. Oh no! <clears throat> Look at that! <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, so far, not not, you know, we've we've had things. The event haven't... is understandable. Let's put it that way. Yeah, yeah. it is <laughs> coherent, which I think yeah. is a big win. It's a yeah. big win. <laughs> so this is what it was originally. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh. Totally oh. The end of this, one, this is no completely idea. unrecognizable. I had no idea what yeah. this was. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, drop song. I thought this was like a. <laughs> oh, I this was a... Oh, into a lake. I thought oh, this was a tree person. I thought this oh, was God. like a tree person. <laughs> This is the first one that's just truly degraded <laughs> into shape. <laughs> oh my god. Even when we're not playing knockoff, we're still playing knockoff. Oh, oh my god, look at it! Oh my god! <laughs> that almost works! How did that happen? It's so weird looking. Oh, I love it. The butt I'm sits saying, on the face and the tongue just goes off. <laughs> <laughs> Bye! <laughs> I'm just flying away. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> we, literally, we all had a part. Just like one cheek comes down as well. And then it <laughs> we all had a part in creating whatever this is. <laughs> uh, I'll screw my uh, part. Uh, oh, there you go. Oh, I think this oh, one's okay. alive. Yeah. I think I got this one after me. <laughs> Oh shit! Fighting pose. Okay, he's gonna fly kick. Right. Yep, I got oh. it right after me. I knew I would. It's Grace. Oh no! <laughs> he's kicking her in the boob. What a kick! Oh, oh. damn! <laughs> she was probably villainous. <laughs> probably. That woman was pregnant, by the way. Villainous pregnant. Nope. What? Yeah, this oh, didn't survive. What? What? Oh, oh, what? Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> plot twist. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, this is a prequel to the Suicide Squad. Oh, the story yeah. isn't quite over. Yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. This one is. Yeah. This is a part one. This is a to be continued. Yeah. <laughs> he, he see, this is how Bloodsport went to prison. So happy with how he kicked the shit out of that woman. <laughs> He's like, yeah, yeah. Happy with himself. Like, he yeah. Yeah. A chance. Yeah. Happy ending, so I made him extra happy. And I didn't know that he just kicked a woman out of frame. I have no idea that he just ruined this random woman's ears forever. Ugh. Uh. Yeah, this doesn't make it either, I this know that. This is unrecognizable to me. <laughs> Completely. I know that. How did, wait did a minute, I can't... Red? Oh, oh wait, I know this one. How oh no, I up? know this one. I know this yeah. one. <laughs> <laughs> I, never, oh. I have never seen this. This is, un yeah, uh, completely unrecognizable. I have no idea what this is. Okay. Oh, 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 I know what it is now! I know what it is now! Oh no! Wait, what, what oh. is this? You what? missed. Like it's the fence? Why oh. are there spikes? <laughs> so why aren't perfectly there normal spikes? for everyone to. Oh. It's like a wall made of broken glass or something. And then meme! And then meme! <laughs> <laughs> that turned light <laughs> into blue. Oh, that was a journey. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> nice it kind of weird. what happened. It's kind of great. I don't know. It looks like he has a sweat, and then his hat changes color because of that. <laughs> that grows and morphs so much. It's bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> that like turns into like a beret that many over time. Bigger is my favorite part of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no! Well, all right. Oh, this is all yeah. stuff well, this well, changes, oh. pers wow. this changes perspective. <laughs> all right. <laughs> oh. Fuck is supposed to be happening. I thought I thought uh, Oh my god. I thought someone was sinking into the ground, so I <laughs> No he's crying. <laughs> <laughs> you did the so mad. Oh, I, I reversed oh, yeah. it. Good god. <laughs> what? <laughs> that was, that was the right? <laughs> what? <laughs> the fuck is going in space? Sinking what? into the ground! <laughs> <laughs> what? I like after a certain point we're just trying to preserve lines. <laughs> yeah, I, like, I guess those it's not even about animation. Yes, they move. I guess talking about goes... cry me a river. Look at does... the arms disintegrating. Right? <laughs> it does disappear. He's he's been there for a long time. The skeleton just oh that vanished. dancing moon. Yeah, the yeah the gravestone looks like it's being weathered over time, you know. It's like, yeah, this is a, this is a time it lapse. Does erosion. Oh, it's a really time lapse, it of, like a like a gravekeeper who has to keep against the zombies and stuff, you know. Yeah. Wow. Oh god. Art. Oh, I've right. never Black seen Widow. this. Okay. <laughs> nope. What the oh, no? What? Fucking with the name. Him. Name. <laughs> How did you get <laughs> Lions? I can see what's on the air now. It, it, it actually <laughs> somehow works. Oh. Wow. It's this one. It oh, actually somehow works. 
Oh, she hit the wall so hard her hair disappeared. <laughs> what? <laughs> so, so unfortunate that there was a brick wall. Yeah. <laughs> Sever the nerve. I now understand the waffle comment. Yeah. <laughs> That's understandable. <laughs> kind of, yeah. <laughs> like she takes a a good I mean, step back too when she starts this run. Like, this, yeah, this I'm happens. running full force at this bitch. <laughs> this and is then she hits it so hard that the world disappears. <laughs> she hits it so hard that she like gets double the height. Right? The color disappears. There's nothing but lines. Like she hits that shit hard. That's this is, beautiful. That literally happens in Black Widow just with a desk. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sever the nerve. Say yeah. Sever All the of the nerves. Nerve. All right. Oh, I wanted oh, to see I what think would I know happen. What this was be. I I messed this one up because I ran out of time. <laughs> All we had to do is just add tears. Just more oh, and more tears. I wanted to give him a reason oh, no. for crying. What is, what's that? What's happening? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, I... Th oh. <laughs> is it money now? Is it money or gun? What is, what is money? it? <laughs> <laughs> it's like he's being lightly nudged <laughs> by a fist. Oh, it's a gun! God, no! <laughs> Don't kill me again. No. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> we don't see what happens, but we know what happens. Oh, Matt, that wasn't that was those were tears, those were blood. Well, you survived. The eyes, dude, the eyes just pop up the top of the head. Yeah. <laughs> that was just, rough. I just uh... I was like, the, the, the most guaranteed way to get a character to die is to draw metal in the first frame of an animation for the dust phone. And you lived! Yay! You used your tear attack. Mean. See, this is exactly the same as mine, just with a cat and a red hat instead. <laughs> yeah. That's very different. The <laughs> cat is unimpressed. Cruelty. I thought, yeah, I thought this guy should Yeah, he's started. turning into, like, like, a cat on his dick. I oh, still don't karma. recognize this, but maybe I've just forgotten. That's great. I like that. I, I think I know why. Oh, oh, oh yeah, no, no, I know what happened. <laughs> oh, my God. 90-yard fastball. Oh, my, oh my God. goodness. Oh. Now I like recognize this. have to die. <laughs> They all have to die. Everything <laughs> dies. <laughs> Instant karma. Holy <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, wow. Look at that. Wow. Damn. Oh, absolutely Damn. Fun. That's great. Wow. Life I'm was so just pissed at this guy the second he did that. <laughs> right? Yeah. I mean, I'm not in That's favor true. of kicking cats, but good God. Oh, <laughs> Wow. wow. That's why I, I had to give I have to give the, the people the option to give him a good or a bad fate. So I launched a ball that said maybe even like dodges it or kicks it away. Um no. maybe it just bounces just up and it literally his obliterates his head. <laughs> oh shit, another one? We're doing, oh, what are we doing? Is, what, what knock we doing? Knock off. Knock off. What, oh, no. okay. what's what's the difference right. with this? You draw an image and this you get you get less time every round to recreate the image with it in the background. Mm. Oh, that's gonna be. You hard. have a really long time to start with, though. Yeah. Uh, come, come, Which of come, course come. means that you should use all of that time to draw something really convoluted because it will survive. I, I like your optimism. But well, it's probably worth being like, you know, if you do draw it quick enough, you can just sort of, you know, hit the I did it button instead of making us wait 10 years, you know? Keep that in mind, you selfish people. Shut the fuck up, Wumbo. <clears throat> Says who? My mum. Oh, okay. Oh. Hey, Jay's mom. Didn't know you were watching. Hey, hey. 
Hope oh you like the stream. You raised quite a J. Good work, or you know, I'm your, sorry. Your J is one. I. There could have been better ones, but you know, it's fine. Thank you. <laughs> he is the J that he is. I like the, the thank you. Whoa, they didn't get picked up at all by Discord. Oh, did you do a I high just, pitch? I just, I did a scream. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I didn't hear that. God, I could get stabbed and none of you would know. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I had to adjust my mic sensitivity because I was rewatching a stream and I realized that a lot of my stuff wasn't getting picked up because of the how how everything's set up. Beep 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 boop boop beep 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 boop. Gonna Is that come right? Start a big walrus. I. How much time? I'm gonna chill. I know, right? I'm, I'm making it very as generous. complex as I can. Wow, Fringy, why do you hate everyone else? That's yeah, Dick Splash. Dick Ooh, Splash. Dick Splash. Dick Splash. Dick Splash. Dick. Splash. I just think Penis. that's it's not very nice. I would say yeah. it's inappropriate, yeah, that's fair. Mm -hmm. All right, Dick Splash. Okay, so you just said it Dick again. Uh, ban? Yeah, let's Rex, do it again. Rex, can you ban him, please? Uh, yeah, I'll be right on it. No, oh, no, no, the Shadow Rally! Oh, I lost my wrench. <laughs> I stole it. You can just hit him with anything, really. Your shoe. <laughs> Don't mind. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you talk about it, talk about it, talk about it. Yeah, sometimes you just know your thing is a masterpiece, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm, I have, mm -hmm. I am victorious I here. <laughs> I was looking at chat and saw yours. <laughs> I just saw it too. You're all cheaters. I mean, uh, as cheating goes, it's not, it's not going to make a huge difference for him. Well, maybe it will. <laughs> he is quite the lad, the one I've drawn. I'm happy with that. Let's go. Come yum, come yum. Come yum, come yum, yum. Come, 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 come. I oh, want you in my womb. No. He spends the years together. I just wonder what bit of this will survive, really. None of it, but also all. Well, that is the way of life. Very nice. I can make whatever fucking noise I want. As long as I'm not speaking, Discord will not pick it up. This is incredible. It picks up a lot of... What if you fart? Try that. I, I don't want to force it. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Um, this should be simple. Oh, oh shit. shit. Oh, it's animation. I, I clicked it away immediately. Yeah, <laughs> I just did the same thing. <laughs> so, so this is well, going to be... Well, a good start. Yeah, this is going to be really bad. <laughs> well, this looks mind... shortly. I looked at it short. It's like, oh, yeah, that's easy enough. And it's gone. It's like, fuck. <laughs> what, what did yours look like, do you think? Mine or Mel's? You know, I'm just curious if mine has been lost to time. Oh, well, I still remember the flash of what I just saw, so... Flash. Well, how complex so I was think, it? I think I'm probably going to start inventing shit now, because that's kind of how this goes, where you're just like, I'm pretty <laughs> sure there was a this, and it's like, there was not a this. You see, I've already lost all color of mine, except for the redness of something. Oh, God, that's not what I wanted. It's a Zol turning out wrong. All right. Wrong. <clears throat> wrong. Have you even seen that movie, Mel? Maybe. Superman. Oh, yeah, I was going to say Batman Returns. And I was like, wait, no, that's fucked. 
No, wrong one. Super I bad. You guys are um, gonna be like so mad because I'm getting the Infinity Stones in the wrong order. Law they they need to make a movie about composite Superman. I don't know if there were like chicken nuggies in this or something. That's all the chicken nuggets are always right. Chicken nuggies. No. Um, it's time to make this character sad or happy. Let's go with the. like that. I can't remember. There you go, chat. We did it. This looks just like the original. Time's almost up. Well, what is time? A construct. No. Let's pretend oh, this is the yeah. first drawing again and no, just do time's not shapes. Fuck you, Matt. Old. You've totally killed mine, haven't you? I don't know. I know there were some logos perfectly. on there, and I only remembered one of them. <laughs> The more time it'll be so sad. sad. Remember I, the saw, you have the draw. I saw the image for like a second. I'm proud. Yeah. <laughs> what is the how? Well, I've already forgotten what it looks yeah, like. Mine was like. <laughs> oh man. Why why is why is why? Uh, oh no, why am I not using the big setting? Fuck off. Big setting. Big. Oh, I've already gotten a part. Oh no, big I remember. Thing for big man. Yeah. Big um, he had face. Did he? Like, did he though? Are you sure he had face? Okay. I don't know anymore. I think I fucked it. Yeah, stimmt. Oh, I'm running out of time. Crap. You shouldn't say yeah, stimmt. Yeah. Why not? Down to, about down to a quarter left. Oh my god. Um, I don't know what this were, so... Hopefully this is close. So I'm sure this is the last one gonna be. This is only the third one. <laughs> oh, oh I'm already degrading. Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck. Coom, coom, coom. I wanna have some coom. Coom, 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 coom. I want you in my womb. No, Ooh, this one's neato. <clears throat> okay. I feel well. like someone here forgot that this was not the animation one with these speed lines. Oh fuck me! I've lost all my. Oh, so my. Oh, hello. Time's almost up. Wait, fuck! We are actually already halfway through. This feels, oh, like, no. this feels like doing an exam or some shit. Yeah, it's like 10 minutes left. No, 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 I need to put <laughs> down all my, my answers. No, stop it. Mm -hmm. You take mm -hmm. any time to think, it's just gone. So by the end of this, this is all just going to be a squiggle because it will have gone through meme at some point. <laughs> yes. Oh, Meanwhile, yes. the rest of us will just simply be enhancing the image. They'll just get better. Fuck. Great. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, oh. This one's simple enough. Okay. <laughs> I like this guy, he seems so chill. I've completely forgotten everything in the drawing. <laughs> well, that's Time's a, halfway up! A you problem. Ah! There, perfect. No one can question me. And yet they will. I, can't remember, I'll I know they will. Bro, it's too fierce. Yeah, but I forgot how stressful this mode is. Oh, oh Jesus, we've just... Oh, God. Well, this one looks <laughs> like an animation one as well. By the time oh, I memorize it, the time is already gone. No, 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 no. Fuck off. Uh, uh, no, don't right click. Uh, uh, just... Oh, no, that's the same color I filled with. Oh, no, that's the fill again. Uh, uh. Seventy-five percent done. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> Everything is oh, paid. Oh no! 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 <laughs> oh God. No! That was oh, so thank terrible. God! What numbers. In the... Okay, this is interesting. <laughs> what? 
Is everyone playing a game of if meme has gotten to this yet? <laughs> Halfway up. <laughs> I did it. You get less time and the images generally get less complex, so... Ah, it's so good. I love it. I like this. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, that's oh. just... Oh, God. Oh, yeah, that's easier to everyone. <laughs> oh, thank God, someone forgot to complete this last image. <laughs> I feel like some of these are too shitty, so I'm trying to use the time I have to... Wow. Give him a little more detail. I'm such know? a good Are you trying to say you're better than us? I'm just saying, with the time that there is, there's more that could be done. Fuck you, die. Wait, Whoa. I did <laughs> Oh, crap. That was not good. I saw Shoot Cloud. Honestly, you know what I would like? I would like to do this, but like where the round goes double so everyone gets two goes and they get to try and see, like, is that their drawing? <laughs> it might be a it. thing if we yeah. dig to the moat. You, you, you are given an incentive to make it easy to copy, but then it would be absurd. you just like, oh, this is a square. I mean, so one of you would fuck it up, but yeah. Well, this one, good, thank you. What the... The fact that all of the other drawings have gone through me at one point now is just like... I feel yeah, a certain sense sad. of dissatisfaction with that. Very sad. <laughs> the terrible state of affairs. Gave mine a little smile to end on. A little artistic liberty. I made the character smile. Fuck you. Well, here we go. Are we ready? <laughs> it oh, is time. <laughs> oh boy. I don't think we're ready. Oh, oh, Damn, oh that well. was what that was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, look. No. Oh. I still home... don't know what this is gonna be. Oh, I think I do. What? <laughs> <laughs> is this is this the thing that turns into the poop it's song? Squidbillies now. <laughs> Good. It's ditto. Good. Close yeah, enough. Yeah, this is the poop cloud. Oh, how did one I just get through? Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> it was happy so once. Sad. It was happy once. <laughs> I was happy again. Yay, again. Yay, happy again. Yay. Yay. Jay, your happy decision again. to wow. randomly give him a smiley face turned out to be the completely correct decision. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. my God. There was a bit of a degradation there. Spooda Homer. <laughs> I have Homer's some serious cloud. concerns about the rest, then. Holy shit. Now at least he has a mouth, but he still has to scream. Yes. Oh, oh. yeah, good. Oh my god, it's Captain Planet. <laughs> Does he have a dick <laughs> for a head? Oh, man. This just turns into squiggly lines. I remember that. Oh color. god, it got oh, degraded so I know quickly. this one. <laughs> yeah, I, I know this it. one. Yeah. This literally just becomes a cross <laughs> with a squiggly <laughs> yeah. on it. You see, my problem was I forgot that the fill tool was re-enabled for a lot of this. Thank god. <laughs> man. I just feel like the original <laughs> essence of the pace is gone. I, I don't tried. know. I think, I think the spirit is there. <laughs> that, that's true. You can try. The I the think the themes are intact. Oh, no, we got closer. The, this just moves. The blue just moves. <laughs> <laughs> the blue keeps moving around. Oh, no. That's gone. Blue. That's gone. Oh, that's gone. Oh, what, a, what a shit show that one was. Sick of it. <laughs> I knew I was missing something, but I couldn't remember what it was. <laughs> I like the two oh, images at first because it's like this. Complete downgraded quality <laughs> straight away. Like... <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, I know what this is gonna turn into. <laughs> so it's not really. <laughs> 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 what else is on TV? <laughs> oh, it's this. Ah. One. I, I remember this one. Yeah, doesn't he get a top hat at some point? 
He does. He does get a top hat. Yeah. Oh, I think what? I think I give him the top hat because the last three I drawn had top hats, so I was like, <laughs> I, I forgot that he didn't have a top hat. Me from oh, the red dot survived. That's good. It's it kind of reduces uh, on him. Oh, uh, it becomes a goal. It becomes okay. It yeah, you know it. It goes on a journey right. that TV. It becomes so much, so many. It's it, almost it like comes a, a literal person. This should have been an animation, actually, because if you look, it's like the TV breaks and the person's climbing out of it, it, and then it turns into a goal. Well, yeah. You can download oh, it as yeah. GIF, and then you can you can watch it go. Do do mm. it, I guess. Oh, it's a very slow GIF. Mm. Unfortunately. Yes. Yeah, I destroyed that one. <laughs> I clicked it away immediately. Um, it's like it was Superman, I guess. So. <laughs> close enough. I draw Starfleet oh. emblems, and you turn them into that. Beautiful. Yeah, fucking nerd. Uh oh, that's <laughs> uh, a ball of red on it. I forgot the S. <laughs> oh, it's the a bleeding ball. The shape's surviving. <laughs> Oh, nope. Or not. Nope, they sure don't. <laughs> what? I can't remember. It's a cake. <laughs> I can't remember what it was. Is this it how bad. it feels to have your hopes and oh, dreams? Oh, the box has changed color. Yes. Swap color, yeah. yeah oh. So does person the person. Swap color. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like this is karmatic retribution, honestly. Ah. Hey, look at that. That's fun. Bum, ba, da, ba, ba, da, ba. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not... Clear on how it happened, but it's good that it happened. He's a magician the whole time. See, all of it was a big magic trick. That's not bad at all. Yeah. Mutal's album. This is an animation, Mutal. What? Yeah, Moodle. Yeah, Moodle. Oh, it, it is being animated. Yeah, Moodle. What is a mushroom man? <laughs> I don't recognize this at all. Oh my god. So uh, that's a good sign. Oh, I know boy. what this becomes. <laughs> <laughs> Do you? Because I see it and I don't. <laughs> I still don't. Like a, that's not good. It's not a good sign. <laughs> oh. oh okay. I like, how the, I like how the motion lines move every second. <laughs> All of a sudden they're I'm just falling. in free fall. Yay! Yay! Yes. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's like yeah. their heads are being held on wires and they're just really fucking shitty that they got decapitated. Yeah. I tried so hard to copy. <laughs> that was a gun, too. No. Well, the the no. idea of this remains. Oh. Is that, was that like Chekhov's gun or something? What is that? That's like a Wim's gun. I ran out of time. I couldn't put the it, shotgun in. It, it's Chekhov's stun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good job, Metal. Good job, Metal. Thanks. Bye bye really gun. Wait, yep. It's yep. getting real small yep. up there. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Moving the father away. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm downloading the GIF of this one. Oh. Never. Oh. Oh, hey. never mind. <laughs> Someone in the chat said meme is where art goes to die. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Look. How could you? It's true. <laughs> Uh, Jeremy, why did you bring it closer again? Yeah, <laughs> I felt like I wanted to see what was happening. Okay, but it could have gone even further until it became a little He's, dot. You just completely that enhance. You disrespected the vision, Fringy. Computer, yeah, you didn't, you didn't continue my artistic vision. <laughs> you click on this gif, let me watch it. My snatch cystic incision. Ooh, ooh, <clears throat> dream weaver. Oh, is that... All right. Yeah, just it gets a little close real quick. It's like, no, the cameraman was just a little sleepy, but he caught up. All <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, wake up. Got it. <laughs> I'm sorry for what happens to this. Oh, uh, I, 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 I tried. Oh my goodness. I totally ran out of time on this one. I remember. I don't remember this at all. Yeah. I'm still a little bit unfamiliar with this, honestly. Druids, but that's okay. Interesting. It became poke. Fucking okay. Instead of eating this. 
started playing Pokemon. <laughs> what? Uh-oh. I ran oh. out of time. <laughs> 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 yep. Yeah. I like that yep. Fringy like <laughs> brings okay. some of these drawings a little bit back to life. Well, I figured that that was there yeah. was something there originally, other than just some weird squiggly lines. Well, metal brother. Yeah, I thought that was a pool. A pool. How? It was a swimming pool. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That was a swimming. <laughs> that was a swimming pool. That, you. I don't know if that helps your case at all. Yes. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> a swimming pool. Oh, oh, it's like it's you. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I'm so happy about it. Oh, look at his little right. butt chins. Like, I got them all. Yay. <laughs> I don't recognize this. So I don't oh, no, I, don't lost the, I know. He's lost the gems. <clears throat> <What? laughs> <laughs> Hello. Oh, goodness. Yep. Yeah, that's yeah. the natural thing. <laughs> yep. Oh, that, that goes me. <laughs> I think I took a different color. I think it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Close enough. Something was lost <laughs> along the way, I feel. We're it becomes that, that hey, is. listen from, uh, from Zelda, you know? Hey, listen. What they now need to vision. do is they should just rename this game mode Dementia. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Uh, they should, they should add a game mode where, where it slowly becomes longer and longer in the second round. Well, oh, the cum does this, not survive. This survives pretty well, though. Come, Jay, <laughs> what a fitting fucking transition that is. <laughs> yeah, oh, God, the legs is. are just getting longer. Oh, well, the seven, seven became, became a five. five. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> what a trap. Oh, you're not allowed to call me that. I'll do it again. <laughs> again? Good. Even meme got this the one. The numbers are just pissing Good. Fringy off. What is it about them? Fringy, Fringy <laughs> numbers. Oh. <laughs> what do the numbers mean? <laughs> Fringy they almost I made it. There go. Oh, that's God. the one. You I, one I don't. Cool, I don't recognize lost. this at all. You, I, I think I should take Not credit bad. for this one. Em, I feel like you draw this every time, no time but I'd be wrong in assuming this. Learn to draw different. Say that again. Oh, I know what this one becomes. Em, do you draw this every time? I've seen that chicken about that's three times now. <laughs> the chicken never survives. <laughs> so I do draw it pretty. Frequently. What do you mean? The chicken's <laughs> fine. Look at it. Oh, it never survives. Well, that's the one I got. No. Uh. <laughs> Just use the square tool or something. Come on. Yeah, but you oh see, my goodness. I was not thinking. Oh, wow. God, oh, Edmund. Okay. <laughs> something went wrong with the fill tool. I couldn't, like, I couldn't draw well, the other easy. thing where it was. <laughs> <laughs> well. Oh, my God. That one worked out. He just became brown. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. That's fucking beautiful. Uh, well, that's one word for it. Oh, boy. You're like, pootiful. Oh, noise. <laughs> oh, that was great. <laughs> I'm so happy that I was here for this moment. Pretty good. I think, I think this chicken might, might be the perfect explanation of this game mode. <laughs> it just becomes fucking brown. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, There's nothing like... there. It's just a single <laughs> color block. <laughs> brown. It's not even the same it brown. brown. It's my brown, your it's brown. Different brown. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love it. <laughs> oh. It is funny, um, the brown is just consuming every detail and everything. <laughs> Dude, it's super interesting, because it... <laughs> first it goes for, like, the dividing lines, and it turns the clock into a window. 
so good. The old guy couldn't get out there in time, but he got sucked in. <laughs> you know, it's like one of those really, it's like a really depressing one of those videos where you take a photo for every day of the year and your life just keeps getting worse and worse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just funny, all of his feet just keep getting reduced. It's just like <laughs> <laughs> the it's expressions. So <laughs> it's less powerful as they go along, you know? Uh, that's <laughs> beautiful. Yeah. Twas. Um, What's going on? Twig. The brown. We'll we do another do normal. It. Another one? Well, should we try anything else, or are they all sucky compared? I mean, we could do another uh, round of one of the ones we just played. I, I feel like nothing normal could be fun. What's, what's oh, everyone boy. feeling? How's everyone feeling? What's, what are they feeling about I'm, which I'm, mode? I'm, I'm game. No, which mode? Sure, why not? No, which mode? Uh, we can do a normal one. Who pee in my pants? I don't know if okay. who in my pants is the mode. Oh, uh... Not yet. What's more of a like style? Uh, just one sentence, that sounds lame. Uh, drawings oh. and sentences are like hidden during the game? Nah. So on Twitter, the hashtag Australia has fallen is trending. Nice. Oh. Oh. All right, well. Sorry, Fringy. I, I didn't Twitter realize I was wasn't here for that. You began what, what? as prisoners and you'll end as prisoners. <laughs> Fringy, you can hang out over here if things get too hot. I don't know what's going on. And the first fucking picture is, a, is this picture of Bugs Bunny. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Very pleasant. Mm. Um. Well, yeah. So I, I guess so. The modes we really pick between are going to be normal knockoff and animation. And that's it, right? Speedrun's always fun if you. But we do have meme here, so it just becomes uh, nothing. <laughs> it's not animation it again. Will I don't know. I need to get animation. It will become brown. Everything will just. Very well. I'm feeling another. Uh, Nominal it is. Always become brown. Yeah. God oh, damn it. <laughs> See, at least with this mode, there's there's the opportunity for the next person to recover. <laughs> um. Mine's quite philosophical, I would say. No, wait. I'm gonna try something else. He fat become brown. Yeah. <laughs> it's poopy um, everywhere. Instead of cum yum, it's ca it's brown. Detroit become cow. brown. Brown yum. Brown <laughs> pound. No. Brown lines matter. <laughs> oh, this is okay. This is an intense one. Oh my god, this one. Yeah, this is like a ton of stuff on this. What? Who? What? What does this mean? How could you not know? Does it have a word you don't recognize? Yes, triangles. I don't know what what that means. Oh, okay. Give them little freckles. I'm starting to sober up. It's depressing. Oh, I know that feeling. Gross. That's the feeling of the sweet nectar of life telling you to wake up. Fuck off, old man. But what about the sweet cream in my jeans telling me to evacuate my spleen? Yeah, that's fine too, you know. Okay, you can hang out with them. Good night, moon. Good night, moon! Wait, that is right. All oh, right. There we go. Thank goodness I have a bit of time on this because I kind of fucked up a couple times in a way. Now to draw a no nominal human head. That's not what I'm doing. Uh, Drawing basic shapes is just really hard now. Not that I was great at it to begin with. I think my brain like is falling apart. My brain is like, yeah. 
I can't <laughs> take it anymore. All right, I just want to sleep. I just want to die. Take the the confusion wanna in my mind. Where sleep seeks. Why did you even sleep me into this? Because he sleeps me into this. With him over I there. I like the, the, that your your this. masterful abilities don't degrade in this time, Fringy. What about me? He 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 slipped me into this. Well, that one over there slipped me into this. Schleem. Lump. Boim. Ah, fuck. Ah. <clears throat> ah. <clears throat> what if a Mr. Meese <laughs> was created to try and make the MCU good again? That's gonna take witchcraft. Not the- FUCK! Okay. <laughs> Okay. And this one's very simple. I, I, I understand what's happening in the image. Um, it's nice. Yes. Yeah, so uh, mine. Did you say that? I was unsure about mine, honestly. I was like, Can I, how do I describe this exactly? But then I had an idea and it worked out. Hmm. What? What? This is just a sentence. Yeah, they all are. <laughs> <laughs> this is just a sentence. I was wondering where my music's gone. I didn't put it on loop. My bad. <coughs> there you oh go. no, that's not the humane color. Um, I think we need a nice red. Brown. Reds and browns, very common when drawing things like this. Are you, well, are that's you highly blood, concerning. Blood, blood and shit. What? Blood and shit. Why would, wow. Blood and shit drawing. You just, you just blood, jumped blood to shit. some. That's just, wow. Blood, blood and shit. Blood and shit. Blood and shitty. Blood, blood and shitty. Titty. Hey, shitty I've got an titty. idea. Massive breasts. Nice. Um, how long until we can engage that plan? The, looking at... Seven minutes. Very well. Engage it ahead of time. <coughs> no. Well, you're a Debbie Downer. I'm a Debbie Doer. Well, how about you try being I... a Debbie Donter? No. Right, I feel like I did the best re possible rendition I could have given of, of the prompt that I got, which I didn't understand at all. I guess I'll make the moon. Yeah, may as well throw a moon in, I'd say, yeah. I tried to draw TV static and it went super well. <laughs> did you draw the ring girl? Yeah. Fuck! Huh. It's nice and simple. I'm so glad there was enough characters for this sentence. I feel the same <laughs> way. Um, if you write more than 50 characters about one single drawing, you need to get a life. How, how about I just die? What the fuck what is the this? Fuck? How am I supposed to draw this? Well, no, right. you haven't got you my people... prompt. My prompt was nice and simple, so you, you're all, you're all <laughs> nuts. You people have problems. That's what we've established with this. Yes. Well, yeah. That's not new news. New 
nude news. What? That was a thing, wasn't it? Nude news or something where people were naked doing news or something? That's a thing, right? That was a thing. I remember that. Strange like, idea. It, it, it never worked, like, right? Like, that didn't kick off or anything. Did report stuff like uh, genuine, like, um, fucking terrorist attacks and shit? That's why it was, like, reported on. It's well, like, they eventually shut if down. See, if you want to see someone talking about the fucking tragic events where lots of people died naked, you can. I'm glad there's a market for everything. That's the beauty of the modern well, world. There's a market to add, like, titties and vajungas to everything. True. Yes. I don't exactly know how to draw quantum entanglement, so I'm just, I'm guessing, <laughs> you know, I'm I'm doing my best here. Well, didn't you- Oh my god, my first prompt somehow survived! You've seen, what? um, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantum right? entanglement survived. Yeah, because my first thing was about entropy. I mean, I have seen uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp, but, um, I, that doesn't mean I remember literally anything about it. Well, they teach you all about quantum and, and mechanics. Fuck off, Wombo. What? <laughs> So the truth is getting suppressed by the leftist again. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Typical uh, left. Anarcho. Anarchist. Uh, I, I Anarcho communist. Not highly descriptive labels that people get bundled with. That's not bread. What's Lefty bread mighty, color? That's helpful. That's useful. Oh, that's poopy You're color. Shit and blood again. <laughs> Carlton. Sh oh, shit and coom. You know, I haven't drawn a single penis this game. I'm so proud. Oh, I could draw one now. No. Um. <laughs> I would like to see a show about Kyle and his keyboard, if the keyboard was sentient. I think what the keyboard would know, being like tapped into the internet. It would be like Ultron, That's but way truth. better. <laughs> Just decided to suppress the truth. It's not hard to read that much better than Ultron. More like Ultron gay. Do you remember that part of the film the where it, he's like, You locked me out. Oh yeah? You take my world, I'll take yours. It's like, oh god. Hmm. So lame. What? Yeah. What? <laughs> I'm gonna- fuck you, I'm making this character happy, despite the horrific thing you've described happening to them. Oh no. They're having a little smile <laughs> on their face. Is that- is that somehow worse, to make them happy about the horrific thing, though? I don't know, maybe. Maybe. Um... Just to, if you could redo any one character in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, who do you think it would be? Scarlet Witch and... Hmm... Hulk? I guess Hulk or Thor, maybe. Captain Marvel. Uh, I are guess we starting I guess from the way scratch or fixing. I was about to say, I guess wrong. if if it is starting from scratch, then at that point you just want to grab the person who's in them as much of it as possible who wasn't used very well. Which Hulk is kind of that guy. Or yeah. Hawkeye. He was, used, he was used all right at the beginning, I think. Hulk. Yeah. Um. Well, not at the like beginning. The Avengers, but like in the, yeah. yeah. One of the uh the problem with the Hulk is they couldn't actually make like a solo film so they had to kind of cram his story into the other ones but like this i mean you don't have to have a solo film to be an awesome character though right no no you can have no your solo it's film like and be ruined it's like all of his all of his development needed to be done as kind of like a, almost a side character i mean they did a, a decent you know like quite a bit of him or quite a bit of the character at least because yeah, i was gonna in, say uh, a it... thor movie Ignoring um, but, Natasha, no, sorry, ignoring Black Widow, she was a better character overall than Hulk was, and she had the same position as him without a solo movie at that point. Like, it's just a matter of who's who's making them, I guess. Hawkeye's basically just been underused. Like, you could do something interesting with him, but he's, he's like basically just been sidelined. He's, he's, and he's, yeah, he's just he's kind in. of like... He's just kind of there. Oh my god, Rhodey's getting his show, isn't he? He is getting a show, yeah. yeah. So is Hawkeye. I'm gonna sure ruin it'll be him all too. about Hawkeye. It's gonna be great. 
I mean, Don Cheadle, like he was nominated for like that award for Falcon and Winter Soldier. Like, yeah, he is. I, I like, can't yeah. believe that. He was on screen for what, like 45 Five seconds. seconds? That's how good he is. That's how good he I is. I love that oh, man. He, oh. he responded to that. Like, I don't know either, but thanks. I I really hope Rags gets this one. Because I feel like he could bring this prompt to his dick. I feel like yes, he could hey, do this one dick. pretty well as well. I'm proud of my textual descriptions this time. Yeah, Wait, that. what? Jeremy Renner's too uncharismatic to focus on Hawkeye. What does that mean? He's plenty charismatic if you give him the right performance. Yeah, like he's, he's yeah, like, a lot of He was never gold. given a chance, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, he's basically in the Avengers movies. He's in Thor, and is that it? Like, and he's not even in, in Infinity War either. So, yeah, it was they fucked him up. Well, they fucked up a lot of people, including but not limited to people like Drax. Like, how did you do that? Oh yeah. Yeah, he's nothing like he is in the comics at all. Like he's. Oh, I just he's, meant they might as well related to Thanos. Uh, uh. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, I, I mean, they might as well have just made up a new character at that point. Like, if you're going to, I mean, if you're going to change the character so significantly, then why not just make something new? And like one of the things, like with all the MC new movies and stuff, um, like yeah, okay, it's it's fine that you're like retelling a lot of the old stories and stuff like that, but. I mean, I, I personally would like to see some stuff that's original as opposed to just, oh, we're just going to retell this story that's already happened in the comics. I mean, yeah, there is kind of like nostalgia bait, like, oh, hey, I remember seeing that. And yeah, I, uh, I don't feel like it, that many but... people have nostalgia for comics, surely. Like compared to a general movie going audience that it, it... Surely well, selling that, people on selling movies on nostalgia bait for comics isn't going to be a winning strategy because I mean that that kind of even proves it more than then like why not just uh, why not just make something new rather than I mean obviously it's the easy way out to just retell the story but well, if nobody's but if but if like a significant amount of people aren't going to even care about the old story then why not make something new well like, I, I don't know it's like it's like Far From Home, for example, how close is that as an adaptation of, like, an actual story that happened in comics? That actually probably is probably the most original, I would say. I mean, I don't think it was particularly good. So maybe they should stick well, with the remakes. better than Winter Soldier. Well, the character yes. definitely <laughs> is pretty good. <laughs> like you just freak just wants to remind people of that whenever it comes <laughs> up. <laughs> hey, don't, don't worry, forget. I still remember. Everybody thought it was so obvious that Winter Soldier was better. As far as I'm concerned, at the best, it's debatable. And at worst, oh, sorry, at worst, it's debatable. And at best, in my favor, <laughs> Far From Home is just obviously better. Winter Soldier, Iron Man 2, um, Dark World, a lot of those, like, I don't even really remember them. They just kind of all get memory hold. Like, it just... Some of them are definitely that way for me. Well, like, I was going to say, we're not even... Anything about Dark World, I can't... Ant-Man and the Wasp should go into that section. Even Captain Marvel, I think, the should incredible... go into that. Yeah. The Incredible I, I Hulk. Captain Marvel is we talked about it too much. Like, yeah. it's, it's so... It's so... Do you mind forgettable. for a second while I use the loop? <sighs> Sorry, I just... Oh, alright. Yeah, we, 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 we can just discuss, you know... Thank you very much. What if... Yeah. Um, Marvel's like it's What even, If... It's, Good. It's not even like a question of whether like it's good or bad. It's just like I, I like I don't even remember major plot parts from a bunch of those movies. Um like Iron Man 2, I can remember a couple of things. I know they kind of retcon Actually, that's another thing that they've been doing too. Like they retconned um the little kid. That's what that's what it was. I think it was what Iron Man 2, I think. They retconned the little kid in Iron Man 2 to be Peter Parker. And now with the Shang Chi movie, they're retconning it so that uh, Shang Chi's father is the one that was responsible for getting Tony Stark captured at the beginning or something. And like they're I thought it was they're Obadiah. like going back. 
No, like if you listen to Kevin Feige, he said that um, I don't even know who, the the Mandarin, like the real Mandarin, um, the Ten Rings organization was responsible for getting Tony Stark captured at the beginning. It's like they're kind of it's kind of like the same thing they did with the Black Widow movie, where they're taking all the the Phase Four stuff and they're ham fistedly just kind of retconning it into the earlier, better movies in order to kind of make them more relevant. And it's kind of like what you were talking about, how when they have these new characters, they introduce them, and they can't introduce them as a new or original character or anything like that. They have to build it off of the previous stuff that was better. And it's like, oh, well, you like this movie, or you like this character, therefore you should like this as well, because, haha, look, they're all connected kind of thing. Um, the retcon of making the little kid that Tony saves Peter, I don't really think that consequentially is, is like anything but like kind of neat as a detail because the idea is that Peter was inspired by what Tony did in that world. Whether or not that kid was Peter doesn't change that being a, a thing that would have happened. Like I just, I don't know, I just see it as like, oh that's kind of cute. Meanwhile, being like it wasn't Obadiah that organized Tony Stark's capture is actually oh, the Mandarin. I'd be right. like, that's not cool. That's lame. Why are you doing this? Stop it. Like, uh, consequentially, I guess. Anyway, if Rags is back, let us have a look at our incredible invention. Cream cream mini. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, let's hmm. be fun. Interesting. I don't what, recognize what? it at all. <laughs> Where's the other laser? Even one zone flesh is a complicated profession. Mm. Oh, yeah. God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> that looks hard. I don't I think know what it is. Guy eating his own I, think, I, think, I think this is the... Does this turn into a... What? Oh, <laughs> man, never mind. Oh, I, I know, know what this is. Okay, I die. Yeah. Bleeding to death from intestinal cancer. Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> Vomit. <laughs> <laughs> Guy bleeding from stomach wound. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Oh, it's got <laughs> teeth. Oh my god, it's teeth. Like a oh. mouth. <laughs> oh <my> <laughs> <laughs> Just to remind you, we start with Walter White eats ham, but we ended up <laughs> with teeth belly. <laughs> my oh, god, why is that line? It's supposed to be ribs. Yeah. Teeth belly. Teeth belly. It's like the the guy from uh from uh. What's it called? Oh my god, I'm drawing a blank. The the horror movie in the Antarctic. Oh my god. Oh, the thing. The thing. Dang. Yeah. I'm Teeth so very belly tired. Man. <laughs> oh, okay. Teeth belly man. Yes. What is <laughs> that? <laughs> Onion man has a mild and pleasant <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> this is on top of the sheets. Coconut Colin waking from a wonderful Coconut sleep. Coconut Colin. <laughs> oh, oh, look at him. Oh, oh. A comfy potato oh. with his blanket. <laughs> He's a potato now. Oh. Yay. Right. Okay. Not bad. Kind of surviving. Comfy and happy potato. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how does it feel to potentially have the most consistent album here? Close yeah, enough. Uh, I like that one. <laughs> Show us you hate women without saying you hate women. <laughs> oh no. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's good. Chubbs like complains that. to the sky. <laughs> the films he scorns tomorrow. Duh. What the <laughs> fuck? Yeah. Oh my god, oh Chubbs, what Chubbs. are you doing? Now that's he didn't Chubbs. want to continue climbing, for his fat was too fat. <laughs> what is fat was too fat? <laughs> Such a tiny head. Fat Ernie fell off the ladder and couldn't get back up. Ballooning as Donald's man falls off the ladder. <laughs> Rags got it! And Rags got it! I knew you could pull it off! <laughs> McDonald's y enough, right? Like Ronald? Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like Marge See, Simpson was... mixed with Ronald, I guess. <laughs> yeah, he's so a chubby happy. boy, too. Look how rotund he is. Yeah. Entropy increases to one. 
Mm. All right. Okay. The path to the big bang. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> oh. 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 Yeah. oh, that is Damn, amazing. The yellow brick road leads only to quantum entanglement. <laughs> Jesus, that's what a quantum entanglement. <laughs> <laughs> Here to see the fairy, the wonderful fairy of Oz. What? Oh what? my good. Bringy! Wow, Bringy. <laughs> discovers what? the dead fairy. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I, I love my head. album so much. Nice. Oh, holy shit. Look at that. Hmm. I think this one. A rotary goes... phone ringing on a person's head while he looks up. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Wait, that was meant I to be a phone. I, 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 I don't recognize this. Heat sheet with oh. many a yeet. What the? Wow. Okay. What the? <laughs> that sheet is Man into it. About it smiling carpet. <laughs> 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 that smelling <laughs> carpet. <laughs> The sentient book didn't enjoy his lot in life. <laughs> I realized I probably shouldn't have drawn a rolled up carpet. But... <laughs> a little frowny uh, face. A rolled up carpet is just a stick to these people. A sneeze blows away two people enjoying burgers on this a bench. Burgers. Burgers. Looks like he's sucking them in. Bench dwelling sandwich eaters are smelled. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I know where that goes. Oh, I like Stanky this one. hobo on a bench that found a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> that was a big sandwich. The yeah, smelly man happy. visits his therapist, who is a sandwich. <laughs> 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 Sandwich commits die to avoid snow. <laughs> Jumping off the <laughs> Oh, those last two images kind of tell a story. Oh. <laughs> the sm yeah, the smelliness story. just kept coming. <laughs> They're like, almost everyone did it with green lines as well. I wait, love wait, it. wait. The sandwich survived. It's just, it's right <laughs> through me. <laughs> Oh, fuck, yeah. We did a drawing of a sandwich! And yeah. we all knew it was a sandwich! <laughs> wow! Yeah, the we drew an object and we recognized it. The, sa oh, the sandwich yeah, and the green awesome. stink lines all survived. I like that. That's incredible. Triangles are boxing as the whole world watches. Watches. Oh, oh I kind of missed it. this one. Two triangles talking next oh, to an fuck. earth with a giant eyeball. <clears throat> Oh, oh I know where sure. this goes. <laughs> the devil eyes the earth from space eager to destroy it. <laughs> space devil gives the world fuck me eyes. With his massive penis cock. Why? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, God. Oh. oh my God! <laughs> Holy shit, Mauler! I mean, I was, oh I was God. told. <laughs> Holy shit, Mauler! I was ordered to. The, them's the rules. What? What would you have oh me do? Oh my God! <laughs> What a wild start with triangles, and you know what? It just ended up there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you know. A dog wearing pants. Okay. <laughs> All right. We can do this, I think. Uh, <laughs> there you go. Sure. My tits. Wolf man. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh oh, it was it was like the simplest thing. A dog wearing pants. How does it? Oh my god! And his keyboard went on grand How? adventures. How does it derail so quickly? <laughs> I gave up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. 
The term <laughs> meme blender is catching on in the chat. <laughs> meme blender. I love it. Yes, that's what happens. It goes uh, through the meme blender. What did you do? The wolf what bad, is obviously, is what he did. Look at this half man, half squid dog. <laughs> it looks more like an elephant dog. <laughs> elephant dog. <laughs> oh he my god. Boy. He's a monstrosity. I don't, like... Do you think that's really what simple. werewolves are? <laughs> Monstrosities. <laughs> I was thinking like it's a stylized movie poster where it would be like, like Venom, yeah. Yeah. Huh? yeah. Uh, try to explain oh it. God. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> oh no, that's not a scarf. It's a snake. Oh. Oh. That that survived at least. <laughs> yeah, I think. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, okay. I think it's Goof Largo does. being strangled. Goof Largo. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that. that's definitely wicked. Yeah. Man being crushed by Big Snake. Well, this could go multiple ways. Oh. <laughs> that would be one of the ways it could go. The snake yeah. legs couldn't take it anymore. The recognized his suit and chose to hang himself. <laughs> This is a story too, you know. It's, yeah, if you look at it, uh, it tells a, a very coherent story. He kills the so guy, and then he, he kills the guy, and then feels bad. Oh my god, he, he he kills himself the same way he killed the man. It it, it rhymes. <laughs> oh, yeah, it rhymes. It rhymes. It That's rhymes. incredible. <laughs> the guilt, beautiful the penis. Guilt. <laughs> oh. That's, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Aggressive. Well, Monty Boner yeah. Monty performs her latest single. <laughs> Boner Monty. <laughs> Hello, Monty. Oh. oh, I know where this goes, and it's nothing even. A singer <laughs> performs on stage to an audience made of light. <laughs> <laughs> I would have gone. Oh, I know to where this goes. Crowd of gold I might have messed up. Brian, 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 Brian. I might have messed this up. This is not your army. It's my army. What job did it's you? It's my army. Well, you know what? The rectangle, the, the oh, triangles no. disapp disappeared in the other one, and they reappeared this here. Went, this went more wholesome. Yeah, because it, yeah. you know, yeah. it's so weird. Yeah, because it's like, it's explicitly about a penis, and that doesn't last longer than one image. Right? Incredible. Ah. Epic. Oh. Hey, chat, don't blame me for the Nacho Army. I got the last one. You know what I want to <laughs> do is is should we should we give a, a hard a hard ass go to the movie mode, which is oh Jesus uh, no cool. no yes okay. let's do it let's do it let's do it let's do it let's no, do it I, oh please. man movie is animation but longer right yeah, yeah. it's really yeah. long but well, anime twice the uh, turns <laughs> to be honest with you what I actually want is normal times two. So the clock is frozen until everyone presses done. That's not that's not a big uh, deal. That's just you know. But don't they do they not have like what about crowd? No. Faster mode with fewer turns. No you can like set custom stuff. Play with just uh, ding. So do turns all. Oh, times two hundred turns. There you go. Two no. hundred. Oh, 200%. Okay. You change between tabs, you lose previous alterations. Uh, oh, do I have to... What? Okay, so... Oh, okay, so custom settings, normal. Writing, drawing, that's the flow. Turns 2000, scoreboard, and secrecy. Choose whether drawings and centers will be hidden. Why would, they, why would you hide them? Wouldn't that ruin it? Mm -hmm. And how is there a scoreboard at the end of the game? How does that work? I guess... Uh, I think the player's right. Oh. I'm gonna put yeah. that on for the memes or what? No. Nah. No. Uh, Let the chat rate. Very unpopular. Yeah. Okay. Chatter. I'm ambivalent. I'm. Uh. Hmm. No. So what, what, mode is this? what what mode are we doing? I'm sorry. 
This is a normal mode. mode. The times normal. Two. So you have double the, the turns. The stories will go on for longer now. Hmm. Meaning, yeah. God knows what we're gonna get at the end. Do you think you get your own back at some point? Yes, I would think that's how. It yeah, works. it would have to be right. Yeah. Do you think you could tell if you get it back? Well, that's gonna be a crawling. <laughs> It was at this point that I realized I don't know how to draw a dog. What do you know how to draw? <laughs> hey. um, I can draw some Star Trek stuff-ish. I can draw, like, very basic symbols. <laughs> well, that's something, eh? Oh, shit. Right, I could see how this could be interpreted as something that's not, but you know what? I'm committing. Oh, fuck. I, I, there's an entirely different dimension to this I did not consider. And what dimension Third is dimension. that? Oh, gray trousers are just so boring. Or brown trousers, maybe? Oh, that that'd wake. Give him a nose. Oh Jesus! I did blackface. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? The one eighth of me that's Fijian is offended. I, I just I'm just imagining the fucking scenario where someone like it finds out about blackface like, accusations against themselves and they're like, oh right, you know, I forgot I forgot completely that I never had. Oh oh fuck! I did blackface. I'm so sorry. Like that's I didn't the mean reaction. It. Weird. <clears throat> oh fuck, I did blackface. Are you the president of Canada? Yes. No, I'm not done yet, game. Please, have mercy. Uh, okay. No. Something like that. Uh, uh. Oh no, that's all wrong. <clears throat> Close enough. Man, that was a close call. Who <laughs> are you laughing at? My drawing's gonna make no sense to some. I mean, yeah, that seems about descriptive of what we're seeing here, so, right. hybrid of animals. <laughs> Has everyone been doing fucking animals? Like, I, this is the, like the, I had to draw animal hybrids. I got another animal hybrid. Now Jay's drawing an animal hybrid. What is happening? Look, we, we like to do themes here. You got the animal hybrid that you just drew, I guess. Maybe. I've, no, wait, I've I drew gotten... it a couple of turns ago, mate. Um, I'm confused now. Hmm. Also, how am I meant to draw this? And I guess that's a rabbit's tail. Man, I finished my drawing really early. Now what do I do? Hum. I don't want to hum. Did you say cum? Oh, yes. Yes. hum. Um, Reem jeans. I feel like I've done a good job. I don't with believe the material I was given. I'm gonna draw a little fishy. I'll do it. It's a trap. Look, guys, best fishy. 
No. Neutral King Shark's penises. Oh, oh penis yes! <laughs> now I'm gonna draw some bushes. You found out my fetish. King Shark penis? Man, this is no, such a... No, penis art. is. Plural. Yeah, it doesn't really oh, yeah, work for him if it's only the penis. one. King Shark penis. King Shark penis. Like, I'm using penis as, like, the collective noun, I guess. So, like, it's like... So, you know, if, if, if I said, like, you know, um, Asian penis... You'd, you'd assume I was talking about, like, the general sense of Asian penis and not a specific Asian penis. So, like, the way that I'm talking about, like, King Shark penis, it's like I'm talking about generally the concept of King Shark penis rather than one of his penises specifically. Hmm. Do, do we follow? No. I think so. Nine, 80%. 80%. You nearly said 90, but then you were like, nah, that didn't make any sense, so 80 yeah, you know, I was, I, you know, ninety. I just felt like it was too high for the certainty. Eighty was about right. That's probably why you lowered it. To be fair. Yeah. <laughs> um. Oh. Chat. What is that? How do I describe this? Is it dig? I forgot. Is it D <laughs> dig trio or dug trio? Whichever it's the do, tr do, do trio. Whichever the correct one is, imagine it was that. Garold. Okay. Why is that no, all like? Dark blue. By, by, by the way, I've seen people do like transparency. Oh, that's how you do it. Okay, I'm I'm smart. Whoa, you can do so much with the transparency setting. This is cool. Or is it? Da na da na da na na. Fish, fishity, fish, fishity, fish, fishity. No. When we get to round like ten, people are going to be start saying like, "Oh, I recognize this drawing. I I know where this has come from." Or maybe they won't, because it'll just be so bizarre. Already happened to me. <clears throat> wait, no, wait. Surely you've not got the same one twice yet. I'm pretty sure I did, unless someone drew the exact same thing again. You know, a copy and paste feature would be nice. Liar. You know, that was quite Liar. an arc trying to figure out who was humming that because it sounded like about three different people. Man, if only you could see the yellow, the green things around our faces. I am three different people. Oh, yeah, gosh. but the thing is, I was looking at every person that it wasn't, and it was really well, disturbing. That, that, that was your mistake, that was really. Mistake, yeah. That was. Yeah. with my drawing mess. No! Where'd I no, fuck, fuck you? <clears throat> yeah, I think I think he's beautiful who I just drew and I, I, would, I would appreciate I no I criticism. Did, uh, I did a real banger, not gonna lie. I think I did a real banger. Oh no, what's happened? Ooh, 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 ooh. Don't do it. I creamed, I creamed, I creamed, I creamed, and all the cream <laughs> is cool. Yeah. What do I start? Very creamy and coomy. And creamy and coomy. <laughs> <laughs> I like, I like what you have done here, Mister Person, who has written this. 
I see I see your game. There's green man, so obviously I'm turning it into Frungle. Oh. I'm Did you surprised. ask permission? <laughs> um, no. Fuck you. Wow. Fuck off. Wow. Fucking kill yourself. Ow. The lucky Fringy's not here. Yeah, damn right. Die immediately. My, for, for some reason, my brain went, I, I want to say die. No, that's too harsh. I'll change it to kill yourself. And that was the immediate <laughs> thing my brain did, and I couldn't you stop, couldn't it. stop like, it. Brain, that's worse. Brain, stop. Brain, stop. That's that's not the good juice. <clears throat> you know, in hindsight, that's probably not wine. In that oh, oh I think this was my original prompt. I've just realized. How could you possibly One know? One of the words, if it's not my, one of the words survived from my prompt, so I'm thinking maybe it is. Well, I have not gotten any abominations yet, so I know it's not my prompt yet. Maybe someone, maybe someone saved yours, meme. Rescued it from huh. the pits of Carcoon. Hmm, but there are very specific elements to mine. Carcoon. Didn't want to say it. <laughs> <laughs> God, this looks so it's much like well. the prompt that I surprise even myself. Who is Grundy? Born on a Monday. This Grundy is trending on Twitter. Grundy? Solomon Grundy. Oh, it's fucking AFL shit. Go away. Wow. Fucking AFL. All... Uh, Australian football league. All... That's not a real thing. Well, oh. AFL, yeah. All fi all fun, all fun lesbian. Nice. <laughs> I'm starting to yeah. like Fringy's brain damage theory. That's that was a super chat. <clears throat> oh, I forgot to draw half the image. <laughs> oh no! Oh, you forgot half of it. Damn. <laughs> like, I just completely forgot to draw one of the objects that's described in the prompt. <laughs> well, draw it now, quickly. I am. I am drawing it very fast. Oh god. Ooh. Um I wanna see how many O's I can fit in. Dank juice. Yeah, it could be goo, yeah. A dank and juice. Hey. <laughs> the fuck is wrong with you? The fuck is wrong with you? It, well, how how you, do you draw this? How could you blame the prompt when it could be the... It was the image. What are you doing? I described the image perfectly, yeah. idiot. <laughs> oh, yeah, what's wrong with you? Take it to the image drawer. How about that? Well, did you just write a really fucked up prompt? Is that what you're defending this so hard, huh? No, what? No, what? Uh, that's ridiculous, and you're a fool and uh, a charlatan. Are you being defensive again? What? You're being defensive. Nailed it. It's okay to be wrong. I like how my yeah. drawings are just becoming increasingly lazy. <laughs> I just don't know what to do with this one because I don't understand half of it, so I'm going to draw the half I do understand. <laughs> this this is I am lost, so I give up. I'm just gonna draw it like this. If you want to cream paradise, simply look around and coom it. Thanks for the advice. Yeah. Anything you want to screw it. Want to change the world. There's nothing creamy. Nothing creamy? I surely there are some no, creamy things. Yeah. yeah. No. Cream is a lie invented by Nazi communists. I knew it. Nazis. This is the worst kind of communists. Damn. Exactly. 
Oh, we got rid of them in Nam. What about communists? <laughs> now, you know what we were doing with those Iron Man 2 posters? We're now doing that with history. Excellent. <laughs> oh goody, or already halfway through. <laughs> oh wow. Half. Oh right, the entire thing. Yeah. Um Oh, oh. poor Fringy. Fringy, I'm sorry this had to happen to you. Oh, Actually, no. how many of these are gonna end up as Fringy just via the rules of Fring Entropy? Yeah, it seems like Fring Entropy. Um, a lot. Hmm. Free, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I've definitely made the worst interpretation of what's happening in this drawing, but oh. uh, I think, I think it's pretty clear that, that is what's happening. So, right. Fair enough. Well, that's what's important. Really. I could have saved you, but I didn't. That's what well, we're going to go with. Well, the one I got just looked like someone stapled Fringy's face onto an existing drawing, like. Oh, well, I gotta put Fringy in there. That seems pretty easy to draw. Yeah. It's, it, clear, it specifically specifies that they are drawn, like, badly, so fuck you, I'm, I'm doing this real well. You've gotten the evolution of my prompt. Wait, you, there was a prompt that said you have to draw it badly? No, 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 the bad drawing is implied Ooh. in my first prompt. Oh. Oh, I've fucked everything. Yeah, that soccer ball looks better. <laughs> oh, I, I know which one you're doing. So do well, I. My one, I'm like, I don't know what people are going to do with this. But, you know. Nice to have to have loads of time left to do all of the extra finishing touches. Like, like, um, like getting rid of the little white lines that are created by anti-aliasing in the fill tool. I like I like having time to get rid of those to make the drawing really pop, you know. I hate I, it when I, the drawing I like pops. To make it, I like to make it poop. I'm gonna fucking kill you, Molo. Why would you do that on a <laughs> Saturday? You make long videos. Get yeah, a fucking a life. No hard work on the Sabbath. Yeah. You can't be doing killing. Oh, uh, uh, killing isn't hard for me. I'm more. very good at it. Oh, well, that's. I'm gonna make it real. I'm gonna make it so hard for you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was more Mahler. <laughs> you have no idea how hard Mahler's gonna make you. <laughs> make it for you? Gosh. <laughs> oh fuck, I've, I've not drawn like half of this oh, picture. No. Give me time, well, J. The mistake there was not drawing half of the picture. I think that's what you need to do next time. There we go, I fixed it. Yeah, my picture is done. I did so well. Well done. I'm just fi I'm just finishing all of the fine little details on mine right now. It's Sunday, you know Wombo. What? That's only in parts of the world. It's Monday where I am. Monday now, yeah. Oh, poor cat. What is this creature? I don't know. Wait a minute. How have I gotten a balloon twice? Well, because you're gonna get every prompt twice, because twice it's the two doing two two rounds. But it's impossible for me to get this prompt twice because I can't get two. Yeah. Pro I can't get the prompt two times in a row. Because oh, the, but the... you can and you will do it. <clears throat> and this doesn't have anything to do with the second half of the last prompt. Fuck me. Believe to achieve. Leave it to Go cheese. Leave cheese. your <laughs> leave your cheese. What the hell oh, is I've this got, prompt? I've just got the balloon ones. <laughs> what is this prompt? What the fuck? If it's mine, my defense is I was too busy bitching about the drawing to write it properly. <laughs> if it's not mine, eh. <laughs> I guess that would be a deck. Okay. You're a neck. I've oh, been I waiting for you to say that. that. Thank you. Prompt. I ran out. <laughs> oh, <no>. Space smaller. 
Oops. You know what I want to play? No. I want to play fucking champ top. Wow, how lame. I'm just remembering like some of the highlights, like in in enlightened circular atheist and Glel Glelg. <laughs> Glelg. <laughs> Do you imagine me playing that game? That would not be. That would not end well. Wait, uh, is the chat still talking about? No, wait. Actually, the uh, chat is on a delay. If I had not have it open the whole time. You know, honestly, I think this last prompt is actually where I was born to draw, in a way. Wow. Random shapes, random ass shapes, squiggles, sh squiggle, ugly. You <laughs> ugly. Must see when it comes. And draw ugly. <laughs> I will point it out when it comes. Oh, I'm coming. Not you, it. Uh -huh. Get it right, Jesus. Yeah, Jesus. Jesus H. Clark. Zack Snyder's The Bible. Could you fucking imagine that film? Yes. It would last <laughs> longer. It would last longer than the heat death of the universe. I want it now because he would spend the rest of his life making it, meaning he would never make any other film. God, I'd want to see the discourse about that film so fucking bad. <laughs> What? Um. I feel like I've given these guys good names. Like these, this is what they should be called. A British uh, naming is uh, half the battle. Yeah. GI Joe. Big old stretch. I want everyone the way in done. the chat. I want everyone in the chat to know that um, when I started the stream, I was wearing some some shorts, and my legs got cold. But next to my desk, there were, um, I, I wanted to you know warm up my legs, but I didn't want to leave and get like pants or anything to replace my shorts. So what I did was um, there was a jumper just on my desk, so I picked it up and I've got I've had that on my legs. Like I'm wearing the jumper on my legs, and I have been for most of the stream. Very nice. You wouldn't lie to us, would you? That is the truth. I wouldn't lie to you about that. Mm. I don't think I like that qualification. Yeah, I'm I'm thinking kick at this point. Mm. It's the right thing to do. That seems like Creepy a good way to celebrate key. the 150th anniversary of the show. You kick you? I mean, I think the fans want it. It's a bit fan servicey, if you ask me. I haven't come across the same prompt twice. Once. Well, that's because the prompts change in between each round. Yeah, but I haven't Fucking even seen idiot. the resemblance. <laughs> I haven't even seen the resemblance. I, I've just got my second... I've, I've seen the balloons twice and soccer balls I've twice. I've seen balloons so many times. Yeah, but you Pretty see, I think... How many times have you seen, have you balloons? seen yourself? Once, I think. Oh, oh wow. That's, okay, that everybody strange. turn the next drawing into Fringy. No. I'm gonna talk, draw, draw, turn this current drawing into fringy. <laughs> I'm already got a fringy that I'm dealing with. Fringy is going to become the only object that I have not drawn yet. Why did you just objectify fringy? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Fuck him. Angry go is there. Kind of floating on the bed. This doesn't work. Gosh, why does everything have to adhere to physics? So lame. No wait. Yeah. Perfection. You know, initially I only drew one noodle, and then at the last minute I decided, no, many noodles are needed. Oh, 
Oh, oh here we go. Totally a continuation I, of one I've seen before. This is definitely a continuation of another one. really fucking me up here. I Why? just added more characters than I needed because I wanted to use them. Ooh. Take them back. <laughs> Bronze? These words aren't even words. <laughs> you got mine! Now it's time to draw the best jetpack ever. Oh, you got mine? I'm gonna make a brand new design, the kind of thing that someone's probably gonna pay me to put in a movie, I would say. Oh wait, this is a continuation of something else I drew! Maybe. All I know is that my... Even by my standards, this is getting pathetic. Oh, <laughs> that's that's bad. Bethesda, -ic. I don't know. I'm tired, and drunk. Leave Bethesda out of this. They didn't do nothing. No, uh, that's the problem. Yeah. Okay, it'll be gray, I reckon. Brown straps. A lighter gray for the thrusters. Oh, darker gray. Are you gonna make it. it hard for me again, Matt Mola? I'm making it so hard. Like, this is just hard to the core, you might say. The day he was born, nurses all gathered round, gazing by wonder at the long they had found. Bringy, you've, I've, I've written about and drawn you doing some very strange things today. Oh, boy. Oh, this music is suitable. I'm gonna very slowly erase this so that everyone will see what it was. Good enough. Ah. Uh. I'm gonna give Jim some hair. I'm gonna do. You know what? I'm proud of this drawing. Fuck you. Damn. No, fuck I'm, you. I think it's pretty I will, good. I will bet you eat a deke. Doik. Deutschland. Deutschland Uber Alice. <laughs> oh, my oh my god, I feel like I've seen this somewhere else before. Hmm. You're so hyper focused. I'm trying to make <laughs> this as amazing as possible. Also, I'm really tired. <laughs> I need every ounce of concentration in order to make uh, this art just pop. No! Oh, oh, fuck. Wow. God damn it. <laughs> what the fuck? That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what you got. That sounds fun. Metal, what is yours about? I don't want to say. <laughs> I think you got mine. Leave this one alone, cause I can tell right away that I want back to the Brown? Uh, nah, I'll we'll have to go orange. You know, just for old time's sake. Such a fucking talented artist, oh my god. Thank you. Liar. I'm gonna boom. Stop. But the transparency tool has opened up so many avenues. Oh, that was blackface. No. 
Um, <laughs> transparency tool, that is an avenue. Opened up so many avenues for I, me. Black face is the pathway to many abilities. Some are considered to be unnatural. Is it possible to learn this power? Shows. Not from a whitey. Oh. <laughs> Not from a cracker, young Jedi. <laughs> <laughs> Not from a cracker. Bum, 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 bum. Add a balloon to this drawing because it, it's it's thematically in keeping, and you know it's we've had a lot of balloons, so I feel like we need more. Maybe I should draw a balloon. Yeah, I've stolen your idea again, Jay. How's that feel? Fucking die. Maybe I will. You can't How just would you all like die that? all the time, Jay? Stop telling everyone to die. <laughs> if I had my way, you'd all be dead. No. no. Oh boy. Are you sure yeah, about that? You stop right there. Oh, oh my God. God. Finally, I'm excited. let's see if this was oh. worth it because that was way longer. It was like two times longer. Whoa! Think of all the time we until we get to sleep. Henry completed his taxes. Oh, that's great! I, oh, I know I where have, this is going already. I have no <laughs> idea where this is. I, I know where it goes. I got this one pretty easily. Man guy. <laughs> man, man guy. Oh, no. <laughs> Man, guy, how did taxes Man, survive this? Asleep after filling out his tax that is forms. Oh my God, that's Relatable amazing! These taxes are surviving. I, I, ever, I never, I never saw anything. A realistic taxes, result so. of being exposed to taxes. <laughs> oh no! Oh, wow! A wholesome picture of someone cleaning the jam on the back. <laughs> <laughs> it was time to drown the alien. This is where the came from. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, how do you, how do you drown make that jump? Squidward in a I knew tunnel. someone would say Squidward. <laughs> oh, oh, God. God. Oh, God. This, I think this survives the long hole. <laughs> 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 The Grey Goose drawings the Great Game Drawings. <laughs> drawings. <laughs> what? Wow. All right. The non friendly green character man observes the ghost. The letters are hard after a point. Hmm. Mm. Boo. Mm. <laughs> oh, well, that, there you go. That's that story. All right. Yeah. Well, I'm not sure what to make of it. Worse. Yeah. Could have gone worse. Oh, my God. When they you open chat after a while and it just all updates at once. Mm -hmm. Lake was too big. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> slowly towards a bond. Very slowly. Bond. From taxes to a drowning. <laughs> <man. laughs> <laughs> Old man watching fish at park. Oh, it's I'm always sorry, interesting everyone. when you watch these things and you go, I have no idea where this is gonna go yet. Well, I, I don't That's an old man. <laughs> He's looking at the cute fishies. <laughs> oh. I forgot what old men look like. Okay. Yay. Staring Jim talks to fish telepathically. <laughs> 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 the man sent the fish to the sea. Uh, okay. All right. <laughs> what is that? Come back to the yellow man with no neck. No, I want to be. No neck. <laughs> <laughs> Terrifying. Man chasing yellow noodle person. <laughs> noodle person. <laughs> Good. Oh, oh, Jesus. <laughs> Jimmy trying to hug yellow dress lady. Thank you, Mark Sunny. Kid said the clown. Wow. <laughs> wow. wow. I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> Balloon this clown. <laughs> So many interpretations. Yeah. Act natural. No. no. Mm. Suckle my peen and die. <laughs> that seems natural. Okay. Sweaty Huey stews for Yui. 
Less than oh. three. Less than three. <laughs> what? What is? <laughs> oh, is that the, the shum bucket? Yeah. The shum bucket. <laughs> the shum bucket. Oh no. The shum. <laughs> Oh, God. Bloodshot eyes stare at shum buckets with a green foul smell. That's a little brown there as well. Oh my God! Oh no! He left the semen in the bin. Frown. It was you! Frown. It was you! What the fuck are you <laughs> doing with that? It looks like you handled it. His tadpole child. Oh, that's what that was! Fighting man, terrible. Incredible. Glell cuts as Flunton grows in rage. Glell. <laughs> Flunton. <laughs> oh, Flunton. That is an angry Flunton. The Scarlet Bald Ghost farts on the same obvious stuff. <laughs> Alright, alright. The old stuff is Scarlet Bald Ghost. <laughs> Public indecency in the Mushroom Kingdom. <laughs> 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 very good. Very good. Mm. I'm very curious how mine ended up because I never saw my prompt come back at all. Maybe the oh, game yeah, removed yeah. it. Meme Blender at work. That's my prompt as well. Oh no! So it did happen twice. Fuck. Green face Gerald making a smooth. Gerald? <laughs> <laughs> Green oh. body too. Green when Gorgonaut makes an apple milkshake. Gorgonaut. Apple <laughs> milkshake? <Ugh. laughs> Green man makes green apple juice in a blender. Tart. Tart. <laughs> totally natural. Friend G puts a green arm. apple into a bin. I'm pretty sure this apple comes out of the bin at some point. I'm sure that bin has a butthole. <laughs> Sphinx Fringy levitates his green yeah. apple from dirty Sphinx. trash. Sphinx. 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 The Sphinx. The Sphinx. Fringy finds the giant test chicken apple of God. I'm so happy this is where mine went. Fringy uses portals to view his shiny bum out <laughs> 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 Yeah, I was also very proud of the free portal drawing. I didn't even think that the frigs would be so funny. That's <laughs> so good. <laughs> so before you start the next one, Jay, someone posted this on my server, and it and, I, and it made me think of you. Let me see. Let's, oh, oh lord. Yeah. I'm yeah. Making come. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Is that Pikachu? Uh, did Pikachu draw that? No, I don't know. Uh, this is a random meme someone posted on my server. Oh, okay. <laughs> a crawling sleep. Oh. Of course. Yeah, this should be easy. <laughs> oh, wow. It looks like, you know, someone tried to make yeah, a human sentence and, and they kind of stopped with the first person. Pretending to be a dog. You just denied the right, stream its existence. What the oh, there's a dream. What the fuck? <laughs> Why is it got the Ten horn? Commandments? <laughs> the tree of butter horse! <laughs> 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 oh, oh, yes! The tree of Pokemon. Oh, you put it back to normal. Wow! You can identify Pokemon by their asses. Dubbio, all three sentient hot dogs emerging. Wow, good. Yes. That counts. A trio <laughs> of distorted tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> and now we go. Of any of your duck trios. <laughs> and now... <laughs> three different For the one tomatoes. I was born to draw. Oh boy. Yeah. Oh, oh. Those are your, to your, to your tomatoes are fucked. Brent, like, you shouldn't eat them anymore. Film. 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 <laughs> oh, oh my god. 
<laughs> I like bread too. Bread guy. He's all shy. He's all shy. Girl potato. Potatoes <laughs> 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 here. I ran out of time on that one. Well, misogyny. Right? <laughs> you raised raise women? women like that. Yeah, I know. Oh. I'm the worst. Wait, did that I one really like your little shy potato drawing. Thank you. Yeah, I, thought I had some time. I thought I'd add some flavor no, it... to the drawing. Make one of them. Just she's just shy, you know. His buddy. Some... Yeah. That's I'd why he hangs out with Charles and I'd, Flint. I'd watch Filp. the show about these three, you know. Yeah, shy Brent, and then there's Charles and Philp, and <laughs> <laughs> shy Brent. <laughs> Brent gets actually quite upset if you don't pronounce the P. Uh, the, uh, sorry, the S. There's no P in Brent. Uh, Brent. Uh, <laughs> my name's Brent. Remember to pronounce the P. Because nothing goes together like this E and F. Brent and film. Brent. Charles and film. <laughs> film is great. A fish father teaches his son how to fly. Why? Okay. <laughs> Shot us from Brooklyn test out their impressive rocket car. <laughs> Whoa! Um, I think this survives. Shark go go in his go go rocket cargo. Yeah! Okay, nice. Okay. <laughs> rocket propelled shark wagon. I like that idea. That's a band. Oh, Whoa! God. <laughs> That's so cool. Mm -hmm. Rocket shark go zoom. <laughs> I was hoping it would go zoom. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> Rocket shark. Yes! yes! Still maintaining. Rocket shark do 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 do. Rocket shark do 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 do. Trash do, do. can shark out. missile is ready to punch oh, enemies of the sea. Not allowed, meme. I'm sorry. No, you. <laughs> <laughs> Rocket can burn and out his fuel out there alone. Oh, that's sad. It, it oh, lasts just so shock. So long. The jetpack flies. Yeah, it by went through itself. for so long. No longer is it strapped to Jim. No, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> the Renewable Craft launches. The crowd weeps in horror. What? Horror. <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 We lost the shark, but we oh got Jim. <laughs> hey, the oh, shark Jim. Up Jim. Fly, there you go. Uh. Jeremy Jellyfish Hands was finally ready to play soccer. <laughs> oh, I know where this goes. Nice. There's some jellyfish animals. Man looking at a soccer ball with satisfied no. grin. Well, it's a jellyfish of God. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Smiley boy plays soccer at night. <laughs> Aww. Aww. Very lovely. Devoted young soccer player yeah, practices. Like <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 A header for the goal. Oh, okay. It's going to yeah. be for you. Yeah, okay. I didn't oh. know what a header was. <laughs> A soccer ball lays outside a net full of potential. Yeah. Well, All right. Soccer ball next to goal. <laughs> Are we gonna get trapped in soccer ball next to goal? Spider <laughs> web <laughs> maybe. Soccer ball goes into net. <laughs> hey, it made it. What? <laughs> oh, bring <laughs> ball. Fringies oh no, I boy. know how this ends! <laughs> <laughs> Fring ball. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> oh. Oh, and a balloon instead. Nice. Little balloons. Alright. I like that it shows us the penis slowly. Cat meows at a broken lamp. <laughs> Hmm. Cat has broken the lamp. It's Oka. It's Oka. It's Oka. Oka, no! <laughs> Cat is so heartbroken that his favorite lamp killed himself. <laughs> Can break lamp. Sad. 
Yeah. Cat. A cat crying because a model plane is working perfectly. <laughs> oh, plane. What? Oh, this no, is what the fight is like. What? Oh. How did what? this happen? How is that a model plane? plane? <laughs> 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 this is <laughs> I assure you, this was not my fault this time. Oh, no, this was Evan! The cat cries about the plane. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> As the towers fell. <laughs> Batman witnessing Clark's heroism. <laughs> Blackface Superman blames Kalel for letting his dad die. Wow. Oh, someone got that it was a Darmok reference. I'm very happy. Chaka. Man, that went so many ways. That lamp. By, you know? uh, yes. Yeah. My cat well. yeah, suddenly. Hybrids, yeah. Sorry. The cat suddenly became racist. <laughs> it did. <laughs> it did. <laughs> the meme blender. <laughs> oh, here's the second run. Oh, oh no, I, I get it. Hmm. Meme blender destroys a bird drawing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. We got the same image twice. Yeah. Greenface Gerald adding a pic of a blue bird to his smoothie. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, this is where the that comes from. Green, but not fringy. Guy drank wine. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that works, yeah. Green man drowns his sorrows in a meatball martini. <laughs> 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 I knew that would end up as the idea. Fringy cries in bed as he eats shit from a wine glass. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Oh, oh, so the shit didn't make it in, I guess. Sadie I forgot the Fringy is drinking some wine in bed. <laughs> you didn't make him oh. sad enough. <laughs> Fringy having some wine in bed. I like that it went from being specifically, like, specified as not Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, my. Drinking some wine. oh, long beaked! Long beaked! I didn't- I misread that! I just thought- I, I just wrote it as long beaked. I don't remember anything Badly anymore. drawn Fringy prepares to consume the blood chalice. <laughs> <laughs> that- that is representative. It's very simplistic, is, you know? Yeah. Straightforward. <laughs> I like how it went from specifically not fringy, like it was specified, this is not fringy, to fringy. <laughs> yeah. <Yep. laughs> of course. There's it so many fringies it. drinking wine it's in the bed. The dry sand effect. Oh, someone described it perfectly, meme trippy. Squid dog eats a candy. Okay. Squid dog. <laughs> oh my god. That's, that's squid <laughs> weasel the right there. Rat was distracted by the balloon. <laughs> <laughs> Weasel! seem to mind. Oh! a red head looking at a red balloon. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, okay. Oh, it's like oh, Futurama. Oh, oh, nice. It's like a Decapitated rags with a balloon. <laughs> oh, this is gonna turn bloody, isn't it? Died. <laughs> what I, the I, fuck? Turned, <laughs> turned it dark real fast. Frout hates <laughs> balloons. Frout. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you turned it to frout. <laughs> Pop tart with a bite, and it is mad at three balloons. Oh, Pop tart with a bite. <laughs> <laughs> How is that a pop? Angry half eaten cookie, dismissive balloon <laughs> onlookers. <laughs> Ooh, all right. All right, yeah. But, uh, Angry okay. potato marching toward two confused balloons. <laughs> so many balloons. <laughs> Boy, <laughs> I love that. Nazi potato. <laughs> that one's great, Rags. That's a Nazi <laughs> potato right there. My specialty. <laughs> very I good mean, at they do appear to be very confused balloons. And that is a determined uh, he is potato. One angry potato. Yeah. And it was goose stepping his way to the to those balloons. <laughs> I need to look at uh, 
weasel squid again. <laughs> We have the weasel! weasel Holy dog. shit, that thing's fucking great! I can't believe we actually came back to, like, squid dog, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I love that. What you have done here? This is a mood. Oh. That was the thing, by the way, I'm pretty sure that was the one where, when I said jellyfish rat, Jay was like, how am I supposed to draw a jellyfish rat? Like, what, what does that even yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah. I feel like I got there, though, eventually. Yeah, I, well, I feel like both you and Meme's attempts ah. at jellyfish rat are pretty good. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Boy. And so, oh. probably concludes our I latest all... session of yeah. this out. game, yeah. Mm. I still have the last game we played open, and I'm the only one left in the lobby. Oh. How does it feel? <laughs> so sad. Lonely. Oh my god, you can play this with up to 30 players? Yeah. Oh my goodness. I don't have, thir I don't have 29 friends. You could let <laughs> chat in. Oh god, no. Why would anyone do that? Get us For back. the sake of letting the world burn. I think, I think what we should do is set up like three streams of ten people each, and uh, have a thirty-player game of Gothic Phone. Wow! Wow! One phone to rule them. I all. would have so much rewatch value. <laughs> yeah, because there's like so many intricate complexities going on, you know. Wow. Yeah. Um. Also, I will be right back. Going to the bog room, as they call it. I will right, also be they? right back. I have animals to feed. Okay, I let's go to video to... to play with no commentary. Uh, I get it. I'm right back. Man, everybody's like abandoning, and it's like, oh, Fringy. I'm still here. So I'm right. still, we're, me and Metal yeah, no, are still here for I you, know. Fringy. I know. Yeah. You, you just you die and you wake up, and it's just me and Metal staring at you. Matt, <laughs> I'll hey, we'll always be with you, Fringy. <laughs> that feels like a really scary sight to just wake up in the middle of the night and see. We're your well, eternal no, companions in the afterlife. Very well, the thing is, is it our is it our avatars looking at you, or is it our real faces looking at avatars, you? Avatars, I think, would be the that's that's what it's yeah. gonna be. Okay, that's well, that's a, that's a crazier, scarier sort of <laughs> like a big crying Kratos staring over me. God, <laughs> like, <laughs> nightmare fuel. <laughs> that's absolute nightmare fuel, dude. So much at a Jane method replacing Mala and Rex. Yes. Yeah. Mala and Rex are fired. By uh, by EFAP 400, it's going to be um, the team of Fringy, Metal, and me. <laughs> <laughs> and it's going to be a distinctly better show. Because we're better. Fuck you. But still going to be on Mala's channel, though. Yeah. We're just gonna it. We're just going to slag him off the whole time. Naturally. I would provide more like commentary, but I, I'm so tired. How's your brain doing, <laughs> so, Fringy? So, are we. Oh, go ahead. Oh, if you close your eyes, do you get closed eye hallucinations? Oh, I'd say the, the bigger thing is it's like the floor seems like a tempting alternative just to, like, oh, just let me sit down on the floor for a bit. <laughs> and, that'll, and, that'll, and that'll be it for the next can, 10 hours. You can sit down oh, on the yeah. floor, Fringy. No one's, could, no one's saying could. you can't. No, nah, this could. is very you much a matter of, of trust. I don't know if, about it's the whole thing of like when you, you know, tired and then you're like, oh, I'm just going to sit down on this bed here. And then you wake up 12 hours later. <laughs> Rest my eyes. Uh, so are we going to watch the Suicide Squad video now or? There Wait, a... what? There was, there was supposed to be a joke, but no one reacted. I didn't I gonna... get it. But oh, Mel, it was that. already you covered, so that's just confusing. I mean, yeah, that was the joke, because we that didn't joke do it work. when I was here. That joke doesn't talk about work. Fuck you! Go back to your blip blob room. I would like to discuss the Cena Pina. I think that would make the, the Cena sense. Pina. Cena Pina. That penis? Seriously, that Grace Randolph review, that's like... I would never watch anything by her ever again after that shit, holy fuck. Why would oh, yeah. Really? Just mega cringe the whole way through. I still gotta watch that. She, Reaction. I'm not watching the whole thing. She's like on the topic of Starro, and she's like, okay, so Starro is problematic. 
<laughs> Why? <laughs> no, I'm so confused by that. Just genuinely. Elro is problematic. Okay. And, Why? Uh, and the choice to make Polka Dot Man's mother abusive was misogynist. The, what? It's look, No, no, you... no. It's the fact that people didn't like uh, his mother was misogynistic. Was uh, it? Yeah, she was saying, I thought she was saying that, um, you know, I get that what she did was bad, but I still feel like it's misogynistic to portray, because you, you, um, women, whatever they do, will be dismissed by male characters, and that's misogyny. So you've got, you can't be having that here. I know, I that's get that what she was, did was bad, but they're still dismissing a woman. Um, it's like, um, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, look, that represents a mood. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. love it. I was yeah. a shit. I didn't. I didn't did do you remember a to watch big frump. I just did a normal, regular stream of happiness. Rumble. Did you remember Rumble. to watch diarrhea? Um. No. No, but I could see why you may have thought that. That's fair. Did uh, you guys do that Grace video? We long? did. It was painful. Yeah, what video? I think it wasn't oh, I the one who recommended that one? I feel <laughs> like I, I... Somebody, somebody recommended it at some point. They should be punished. I think it was me. I'm gonna be the one punished, I think. Blame yeah, my brother. I feel like who, you earned the it. one who brought yeah. it to my attention. I will direct all your hate mail to him. Wait, should we should we look at the EFAP results of the survey now? Since we we only have Frinks. two and a half oh, wait, hours left, I think, of the stream, so yeah, we can do that. Two and a half hours, man. Only. Only. That's it? Really? Oh, yeah. Um, how, do you three? Iron... how do you view results? I'm going to go get some coffee. <laughs> good <laughs> good idea. I'm, that... I'm kind of just in my second wind. Is there uh, options to simply view the results? View the results. The results. Wait, seriously, it's two and a half oh, hours God. and then we're done? That's that's 24 hours? Really? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Interesting. How much longer? Yeah. Until I can sleep. <laughs> two and a half hours. Oh, that's not we were too just bad. talking about that. Yeah. That's not you, too bad. you only just got back. You was doing the things. See previous responses. Edit your response. Where's the results page? Oh. Thank you, Thunder. I think you have to take the survey, or at least I, I did, that is to say. Well, I, I did take it, you. as far as... Oh, well, someone has linked the results in the chat. Okay. Alright, well, wait. Fringy's not here yet. We'll wait for him to come back, and then we'll we'll, we'll discuss what the e the people of EFAP have decided is the truth. Okay. We'll wait to pop that cherry. Now, don't look ahead. You'll ruin everything. In the meanwhile, we have Ploshies. I forgot to even... Did we even uh -huh. mention them in the second half? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't know. Look I'm not plushies. used to shilling stuff. That's the plushies. thing. Plushies, look. I don't even think to do it. Plushies. You're never going to get a plushies. million dollar mansion if you don't learn to shill better. So, for those in chat who <laughs> do not know, Rags and I made plushies and they're adorable. Yeah. And when you buy them, right? if you guys together, haven't seen these, like, these are yeah. amazing. There's going to be people in the chat right now who are like, what are these? What? Yeah, Ooh. and if you buy both, you get 10% off both. They're cuddly yeah, little they're characters. You keep them comfy and warm while you're watching movies, or while doing anything, really. And they, um, mm -hmm. they'll, they'll, yeah, they'll, they'll, you know, they'll comment here and there. They have opinions to share, but nothing, you know, nothing that would be intrusive. Like, you know, <laughs> just saying, you know, they're friendly. They'll just, they'll uh -huh. just, just, you'll mind your own business and one will whisper, Die. Oh, that's so harsh. Mm -hmm. No, he's talking okay, to metal. You. He's saying D. Yes. Now, the which D? one is which one has sold more? Is it the rags or the mauler? The bot. The. I believe it is the rags. The rags oh is God. outselling the mauler, man. And you know, That's it's such incredible. a close thing, right? That like crazy. a few people in chat could actually sway it one way or the other by choosing to to buy a mauler or a rags. Are you turning this into a competition thing? Why would sell that, more? That, that is coming? a. I wouldn't Good. do such a thing. That would be so horrifying. Perfect. You'd you'd be keeping them away from each other by buying singles. They can't discuss movies mm -hmm. and stuff. That'd be fucked up. Why would you do that? Well, I mean, that just means that the Rags fans are more selfish, right? 
because they're only buying rags. Unless they're buying loads of rags so they can give them to family members because they're all cuddly. You know, you, oh. you don't know. Oh. Or that's yeah. true. My my Makes plush the or, gift. or my plush is so wonderful and cute and totes adorbs that even mm -hmm. people who don't know who I am are seeing that and they're going, you know what? That's something I could use in my house. Yeah, that's I'm getting that's one of those. That's true. It's Meanwhile, it has appeal. I would see mine and be like, the fuck ah. is that? Ugh. I ain't putting that in my house. <laughs> <laughs> I like yeah. it. I'll have to release the second generation would be me angry. The tentacles like pointing forward. But strike. Oh. It was revenge. Um Muller, yours it seems to be like more complicated in in like the design. Is there like a limit to that? Because like with rags, I mean it's it's a more kind of simplistic design, but yours has the tentacles and the the gas. So you're saying rags is very simple. No, I'm I'm asking like it, like was Fuck there rags? A, was there basic. like a uh, rags like is a like a basic? The company yeah. that's making them are they like yeah you can make it as complicated as you want or was there like Thing, restrictions uh, and stuff? There's probably going to be a point where they're like stop asking for more random shit. You know we can't yeah. do it. But um, add another plushie onto my plushie and another one. <laughs> Well, funnily enough, I, I, was, I was having a look around because I was confused. They, they've, I think it's their first, like, big plushie they've actually sold now. Um, let's see if we can find it. It's like a, it's some kind of video game reference, I think. Um, but it's like, it's like a, it's a more expensive, larger one. It's like, oh my god. Maybe the campaign stopped. Where it is. Wait, what about this Chunker one? No, not that one. Chunker? Yeah, look at this guy. Oh, he's the same price. Uh -huh. He just looks a little strong. A little, a little, it's a big plushie. They're all. It's, it's a really good sight, you know. All these little, these little plush people. I'm sure all these creators are very happy with all of their results. To be honest, they're they're, they're getting around, you know. That did you just kind of like give them a basic idea and then they come up with? The, I gave them the references and things, and then they submitted like a a, a rough one. And then I said, you know, this, that, and the other thing, and they made it look amazing. I'm very, very happy with how it looks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That looks great. Chicken. I actually used to, um, I used to give away uh, handmade plushies from when I was live streaming. They were really awful, like really oh. low quality. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So basically, so uh, long story short, my cats are called the cat blobs, and basically I had uh twitch uh, little emotes that were just like basically like circular round cats and uh just for the heck of it i thought you know it would be funny if i made like a plushie out of this so i actually had my sewing machine and i put together like an actual plushie and for some okay. stupid reason people actually wanted them so i started like every now and again i would have a live stream where it was just me sewing these really awful looking cat uh cat blob plushies and I would give them away to, to viewers and stuff. I still have a couple and they're all over my Instagram and stuff. Uh, but yeah, they're like like I think they're negative quality compared to some of the stuff that you you guys are selling right now. Yeah, you always get, obviously gonna have concern over that. It's just like how long do they last what they made of and stuff, but um, they they gave us a sample each, and I was quite impressed with the, the one I got. I was like, oh my god, this ain't poopy, you know? Yeah, they look super neat. Yeah. Oh, and Fringy's back. Means... Uh, I've been Fringy's back for a little back. bit. I've just been <laughs> silently mulling over all of the... I, uh, I still need to grab my plushie, actually. That's, that's a good reminder. Well, uh, as was to happen last year, there's been a, uh, a, a survey, which it's still linked in the chat, uh, or descriptions. You can still do it, but I imagine the results aren't going to be changing too much at this point. Um, but don't be like Grace, and fill it out honestly. <laughs> yeah! Oh, cucks. That one of the worst videos you've covered on AFAP, do you think? I mean, it's got to be right. It is. It is pretty bad. It's definitely in the so bottom. Often. It's definitely bottom tier. Um, I mean, I don't say that that often, do I? Okay, is that what I say? I is... swear, I, I'm here so much this year, and this is the worst video we've ever covered on AFAP. I don't have an American accent. It's, what was it's that? Kind of, 
the, it's probably not the worst. I, I do think it's in the bottom half, though. Yeah, it, got it was just really that. time consuming and like yeah, it, it was. was really vapid. There was a lot. We added more to the conversation than she did. It was more of like a, a talking point and some point of frustration. But we so. were desperate for commentary. <laughs> Give us something. <laughs> and then she started giving us stuff, and we were like, "No, stop! Please have mercy." What was um? <laughs> what was, was her change my mind? Because you said that it was like an incredibly unpopular review. What was her basic like takeaway that was unpopular? All of it, man. Like throughout, there was there was big sections of all of it. So one of the things her comment section really picked up on was she was being critical of the fact that the characters were doing evil things or morally dubious things. Like she was like, "That's bad." I was like, oh, uh, yeah, but they're villains. It feels like the premise, but yeah, well, mm. that's exactly what people in the comments were saying. Same with like John Cena as Peacemaker. They're like, "You're not supposed to like him necessarily," so that's kind of the point. It's just like, yeah, weird take from her. And yeah, it's worth remembering, by the way, she failed on, like, all the aspects, whereas someone like a high top or a brown table, they usually have slick editing, and oftentimes some stuff where you're like, oh, you know, this is bad. This was, like, really poo, and oftentimes just <laughs> baffling, like, why would you have put that there, and why did you do that? Um, I mean, I'm going to use that overlay, because it's beautiful. You like, are, I, I can see that, why. It's yeah, that's how very all good. my videos are going to be now. Yeah. Um... So yeah, anyway, if um if we're all here, bring you are here, right? Yeah, it's I just am. Like a temporary mute, right? Yeah. Oh no. Bring you? Yes. Oh I my god. Very very excellent. big coffee. So. Oh my god. So question yeah. number one that they had to answer was which were your favorite EFAP episodes of year three? And so the, it's multiple choice, which means you know whichever one ended up getting voted for. It was the first coverage of Hassan Piker with Sitch and Adam. That is apparently the favorite episode of wow. the year. Wow. I can mm. see why. That was a really fun one. It was hilarious. It was. Oh, yes. And then, uh, I guess, second, going down by a significant margin at that point, is the uh, complete breakdown of Falcon and the Winter Soldier. If you guys remember that one. That was like 10 hours of... Interesting. Oh, shit, oh, that yeah. TV show was. God, that took a while. <laughs> like... <laughs> <laughs> they all that one might out. be because it changed a lot of people's minds i think people knew that loki was like bad like the second they watched it there were a lot of people who thought that like falcon and winter soldier was good and we were kind of like the outliers on that one so well i mean maybe yeah it could have been the cast could have, i'm not 100 percent sure why it would be that one over like one division and loki but i guess um there's something special about that episode you know we got um, around so nostalgia critics top eleven dumbest moments with Count Dankula. Mm -hmm. That one, I, I that if anyone votes for a Count Dankula episode, like, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Then we that got um, and unfun. Yeah, and then we got like not too far away. It's like three of the top rated episodes, are three of the latest ones. Interesting. I think that's because it's in people's I minds. There's recency bias involved. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm sure yeah. probably a little bit. Yeah. What is the lowest voted episode? You've got 1.2. The mean facts. 0 0.5. You can't sort this. Falls. Darkness Falls has 0 0.5 only. That's because no one fucking, like, watched it, I feel. <laughs> like, as in... <laughs> it makes sense the lowest vote would be a mean fact, it. yeah. It's like, yeah, yeah. It's, it's... I think it was like this short Darkness Falls meme, then Super Chats, like, everything. Yeah. Oh, fine. You you want to so clearly drama with other creators? What you guys want? Wow. Yeah. Disgusting. Kill Hassan. <laughs> so next we got well, which yeah. are your favorite types of EFAP side content? And uh, coming in at number one joint position, holy shit, was EFAP movies and Batwoman reactions. Hey, yeah, what a that makes sense. I guess that makes sense. I am shocked. I like that the DCU movie arc is is close. Like catching up as well. Just like, yeah, that that one's a let's that's getting a new installment soon enough. Um, mm. and got EFAB gaming part the audience. Goodell. The audience is with Jay about trailer reactions. Not a fan. Oh, Bye. I see. When's the last time we did a trailer reaction? It's been a while. I think it was Snyder Cut. Mm, actually, Snyder Cut. Oh. Yeah, all right. Um, who are your favorite new EFAP guests of the year? And Meme Repository has won. Woo! Wow. Whoa. Congrats. Handle. Congratulations. Thank you. With Count Dankula coming second, and Capital Opinions oh, wow. coming third. Wow. 
Oh shit, that's Ooh, me. Wow. Look at that. Two of the people oh, wow. in the top three are here right now. Wow, yeah, people actually them. voted for me? <laughs> Who got the lowest votes? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Karina McDaniels. Was, did that count as a guest? Who? I guess so. I Isn't guess, that the person yeah. you brought on to like, talk like a, about their video? That's like the first episode of the year, yeah. Um, and it was like, like, it turns out a lot of what they said wasn't true, right? Like, that, that's what ended up happening? I don't know. It was a weird experience. Yeah, I think they just backpedaled on basically mm. everything. It was just like, oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, that, my God. You guys voted Twin Perfect was a better guest than a monk? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very disappointed with that. A lot of people might not. I don't know. That's Maybe they don't. Sad. Maybe they just From, like, to the see Resident see Evil Village again? Yeah, yeah, that's what he came up for that. I, I guess... They yeah, he was, he was great. There's a bit of a temptation to have Twin Perfect because of the tism, I guess. <laughs> but no. Yeah, it might be more but no. value with the whole, like, Slug Ross thing, I guess, or I don't know. Yeah, guys, we, we, you don't want that again. Jesus. <laughs> um, What are the best new memes of year three of EFAP? So, oh, boy. Let's see. Number one is... Hassan and his chicken nuggies getting from his mom. <laughs> oh, yes. What am I supposed to do? Recently, Die? <laughs> chicken nuggies. Yeah, I was going to say, they're practically locked in, both the Hassan memes. What am I supposed to do? Die and I need a chicken nuggies from my mom. Oh, God. Just, yeah. Then we, uh... But if you exclude Hassan, what, what is the top meme? The gun can shoot through anything, Desert Eagle. Desert oh, Eagle. Stuart. Followed by Squat. Yeah. Squat. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah. Squat. See, yeah. Squat still has some fans. Excellent. And then I think Big Splash drops of that. Squat. What is the least popular meme? So 0 um, 0.8, Bram, 0 0.3. Oh, no, wait. Um, I can't even see it. Acid, 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 acid egg, egg chicken, chicken molar. molar. I don't, I don't, I don't remember, remember what one. acid egg chicken molar is. It's so memorable. <laughs> so. <laughs> I like, it's just Frab. For what the. <laughs> what's Frab? The one above. <laughs> <laughs> Very well. <laughs> oh, Fram. Wow, Bulls Above Wang and No didn't get votes? How does that work? Why would No be... No's not a new meme for this year. Oh, were these... Oh, there's Balls lots of... Wang. I think I these are, Balls I think these are just Wang, disqualified, yeah. maybe? <laughs> where's, uh... Out of curiosity, where's my goo? Uh, uh Fringy goo. Uh, oh, it is... Uh, oh, it's actually pretty high. 21 points. Yeah, Fringy goo's pretty high. Yeah. yeah. It's, 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 I'm it's smashed sad that out. Red um, only has 130 votes. It's smashed out naked, Fringy. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Luton oh look, look at this. This um, is a meme. Fringy promoted to host Battle Snubs. <laughs> That's a considered a meme. 10.9% <laughs> <laughs> of votes, damn. Uh, I just right. want to show you the, the, the site that I have just found. Naked Fringy. <laughs> This guy just, 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 just to, to derail slightly. This guy just completely casually looking at me is what I have just. Oh, the image is taking a second to upload. That's going to be there in a sec. Just, I believe you. Just so you can appreciate this game working as intended. Oh, <laughs> that's amazing. It's, it's going to take a second, so con continue, continue. Oh, Don't let so me derail for too the, long. The, um, the floompy ones, the ones that have no votes, apparently they're made by other people, so they like dropped in as options, I guess. Oh, yep. okay. Oh, like um, they didn't my version. option is there. I'm so happy. The next one. Which of these hot takes do you personally find the most disagreeable? And number one, which honestly doesn't surprise me really, is PSA Sitch. The prequel trilogy is worse than the sequel trilogy. Mm. Mm. I don't think any, but I haven't come across anybody else who says that. Oh, I'm super interested in the, the hottest take. Let's see. Um, oh yeah, it's the, it's the Atlas, right? Man, how... Winter Soldier is kind of spicy, but it's not that spicy. I don't see how... Oh, no way. I well, mean, yes. the sequel trilogy completely destroyed everything. I mean, the... Yeah, I, I'm, just... su I'm surprised Sitch had that take. I think we all were. Uh, yeah. Um, especially because Sitch has done a big breakdown of Tross. You know, like, you know, especially how shitty this. Angular Steins Gate. Uh, but yeah, Jay comes second with Space Bulls is boring and unfunny. Yeah, that's a terrible take. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's a horrific <laughs> opinion. Yeah, yeah, that's um, pretty shocking. And then almost, almost caught up to Jay is Armored Skeptics. Captain America: Civil War is boring and bad. <gasps> I mean, boring is especially surprising, but, um, hey, you know. Hmm. Anna the Night Before Christmas is boring. 
Yeah. What are the drops? Really, that one's that's bizarre. And uh, what is the coldest take? The Boys season two is awful. That wasn't cold when it was said. Like <laughs> I still remember. No. That. But it's cold now. Tons of pushback. Oh no, I remember getting lots of heat for saying that it was awful. Yeah, we we had to deal with a good few hours of chat being very upset with new people and I, I assume mm. regularly. Actually well. that's I think that's the that was the the that was the episode that I had with you that I was on with you. Guys. That was your first episode. Yeah. yeah. How about that? Memories. The Bible's poorly written. <laughs> which of these hot is, takes? Um, <laughs> which is on a farm on here? Oh, as a meme? Um, yeah. Oh. Uh. Is that 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 would have been this year? Yeah. I think so. Got Ludendorff enough, so it's definitely got to be. Earth here. is barely habitable. <laughs> oh, maybe they just forgot it. I like Earth is barely habitable. <laughs> The Vringy stream meme. Um, just to kind of throw this in there um, on the boys, season three, some of the actors have gone and said that uh, season three is going to specifically address toxic masculinity. So if you're wondering how season three is going to go, that should give you a pretty good idea. Well, they will do it amazingly. Well, I mean, uh, but again, well, like, season so two is breaking was bad, but. Time. Season two was shit the whole time. It wasn't shit by episode seven. It was. It was already bad before that mm -hmm. just um, a reminder all right <laughs> i kind of blanked on the the i thought that this was going to be of the year but i guess these are all time because I, I came fourth with the avatar take <laughs> was that an issue <laughs> well i think this is of all time this particular question oh, which of these hot takes i was curious where my avatar ones were and i was like i guess not here and i was like oh no no it is here because yeah the prequels... still lying about australia <laughs> 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 so, which are the most controversial hot takes? And I have won oh. significantly with Avatar. Who came second? Right. Got Southpaw, Spider-Man Two, and close third is Snyder Cut is worse than Jot. God damn it! It's true though. It should not be controversial. controversial. What was that? Sorry, Frank. I think. Oh no! Fourth place is the prequels, and then fifth place is Winter Soldier. Yeah. No, it's a liver, That's kind of surprising, I mean, actually. And once again, Boy Season 2 is the least controversial. Huh. But it was a for a new hot take for chat. Well, I, it was for a time, though. I Well, I guess were, like, you could argue that this season. is what it is now. How are they considered I now? Guess so. yeah. I guess mm. so. It's just interesting, that's all. So you got, how does EFAB Year 3 compare to previous right. years? And, um... How does this work? One bar. Stars. Huh? One through five stars, right? So, like, is it five? One bar. Five? But yes. It's a weird a way to. Yeah. What's What's up, Jay? What's going on? I was gonna. I was want to ask. Can I Can I contribute a new hot take for chat real quick? Do it. Oh sure. And then not elaborate on it. Futurama mm. is fine to good. Oh, uh, we talked about mm. this on on my stream. Uh, occasionally excellent, but it is not excellent throughout. It's fine I to do. good throughout. I disagree. I I think you said that Futurama is overrated. <laughs> I believe it is underrated. Well, um, I, well, I we we that. we do agree with this. We're just using the words differently. Um, Maybe we are. But when I say I, it's um, overrated, I I mean like by people who have seen it, whereas you say that it's underappreciated because not enough people have seen it. And I, I, like I agree with the, you there. I I do. I wonder if underappreciated and underrated in this context <laughs> are interchangeable. Well, I mean, we're if, both saying different things, and I think that yeah, I enough. think that we're both right about them. So, well, I don't think that you're right in saying that Futurama is like, oh, it's not, it's occasionally excellent, mostly just fine. I disagree. I think Futurama is is pretty great. At least we're mostly talking about. Well, oh, yeah, that's one. that's the consensus. So this is something that if I ever want to actually make people agree with me on, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have yeah, to go out and break break, out, break down an episode and go here are the problems and here are wow. the strengths. It's, and I cannot be bothered to ever do that. That's so. Yeah, it's kind of the same for me with BoJack. It's like I don't, I don't really feel compelled to like talk about it. Okay, someone anymore. called you the wrongest of wrong. How does it make you feel? <laughs> I mean, that Fine. person is the rightest of right, though. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. What's this? What's this image, by the way? This is how you playing Cyberpunk, I presume, and this happened. Yeah, I'm playing Cyberpunk, and there's just a car going through the street upside down. <laughs> 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 you could imagine the developers like, yeah, it's Cyberpunk, right? You know? Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, Why cool. wasn't that Flash. in the E3 demo? 
<laughs> I just I went up to the side of the car and he looked at me like what? <laughs> Stop judging me, asshole. Um. Uh. Right. So this, Wait, I, this one through how five much thing. Out of five? Yeah. What? Well, so one star to five stars. Where would you? Yeah, that's it? an odd metric. For is that what question. it is? Well, I don't it, know that, how it compares. Wait, that might not be what it is. Can can someone boot up the um, the survey itself? See what the question was. So worse is on the left side. Better is on the right side. Apparently. Okay. Oh, okay. So so the most people said it got better, and then second most said it was about the same. As, as as last year, I don't. There's, there's not a lot we can do with that, but interesting, interesting nonetheless. So, yeah. how, how many of Year Three EFAP mm. episodes did you watch or listen to so far? And the the biggest chunk is forty one to forty eight. Second awesome. biggest chunk is all forty nine. So yeah, about half the people who uh, did this survey have seen most of the episodes of EFAP, which well, that's a lot of EFAP, you know. That's, that's impressive. Happen away. Yeah. I am impressed. I don't even think I've done that much. I've got no time to listen to I've, I've, I really watch an EFAP, you know, personally. Yeah, they've, they've seen a lot more <laughs> than me, and I'm, I'm on EFAP sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Same for me. <laughs> um, do you prefer to catch EFAP live or VOD? And the biggest chunk is either, no preference, then live, and then VOD. And then only watch VOD. That's interesting. There are people who will only watch the VOD. Maybe there's specific circumstances because of that, I don't know. Yeah. Work time There's zones, more people who will only, yeah. watch, who will only watch live, though. That's, that's weird, right? Hmm, there are people who prefer the VOD, which I find interesting. So we got, if you purposefully skip uh, EFAP mean, episodes, which of the following reasons contribute to you doing so? And the top result is covering a topic I'm not interested in. That I mean, makes that sense, yeah. Right. Yeah, <laughs> I haven't yet consumed the media that's disgusting, <laughs> and I want to avoid spoilers. That also makes sense. It's a debate. Yeah. That's the thing. <laughs> 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 oh, look at that meme fap getting completely shot out as well. It's meme fap. Oh, fuck you uh, guys. Yeah, <laughs> that's where I shine. <laughs> hey, that's what I started. You people I need actively respect. dislike one or more guests. Okay. <laughs> I'm, sure, <laughs> I'm sure that's not referring to anybody here. No, no, of course. Present company excluded. Yeah. Uh, I'm covering, it's covering an overdone topic. And none of the guests are interesting. Damn. Oh. Ooh, showing yeah, an annoying funny. creator. That's a funny one. Like, I can't watch the watch <laughs> this person. They're so fucking weird. Oh, it's movie Bob. Fuck. It's, it's, too, it's, it's too short. <laughs> it's too short. <laughs> Only five hours? Okay. I'm not watching that. But <laughs> <laughs> um, In the past year, have you gone out of your way to consume a piece of primary media, movie, game, show, whatever, because of EFAP? And 79% said yes. Well, that's neat. Good. Good. This is also true for me because you guys have forced me to watch things I didn't want to watch. Yay! <laughs> that's a healthy <laughs> dynamic. <laughs> um, do you ever watch the video essays or other YouTube content that's featured on EFAP in their original context? You know, once or twice, sometimes they're the most popular, and then uh, never is a, is a significant chunk. But um... Yeah, and I guess then this applies. The achievers. This kind of applies to the more so the, the praises, I imagine, than it's like, I doubt anyone who hadn't seen High Top before our coverage I, um, was jumping onto that. Yeah. Uh, who was it? Um, you did it recently. You had someone on who. Uh, Madvocate? He did like all. Uh, I, I can't remember. His, he did the uh, the Flash TV series, Why Flash is Stupid. Yeah, that was Madvocate. Yeah. I went and, and checked out uh, a bunch of his content after seeing him on EVAP. <laughs> Um, has EFAP coverage ever convinced you you were wrong about a piece of media? Um, you got, yes, it convinced me if something being bad was even worse or something good was great. And yes, it made me flip my mind. It's a huge chunk for both of them. And then, uh, no, and I don't know. Follow suit afterward. Um, how old are you? So our biggest chunk is between 21 and 25, which just hmm, makes sense. Okay. Um, surprise me at all. Next up is 16 to 20. Next up is 26 to 30. Next is 31 to 40. I like that our 31 to 40 and 40 dynamic is bigger. Both of them are bigger than uh, the under 16s. Under yeah, 16s probably really shouldn't be watching thing. this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, 
You shouldn't be. Get out. Uh, when did you start following EFAP? Most popular result is between 2 and 17. That's specific. A long time ago. Interesting, though. Um, this one's a little more yeah. spread out, though. It's kind of like people have discovered it at different times along the years. Yeah, so. I guess we have a kind of an equal slice for most eras. Um, up around to, that, like, 20% realm, basically. Yeah, as soon as we reach around 70 to 100, I just said reach around, yeah. And then... <laughs> I was about to say. <laughs> oh. Peter down, yeah. <laughs> How many YouTubes are you subscribed to that you discovered through EFAP? Most common answer is 3 to 5. And six to ten. Mm -hmm. We'll rest. Um, you currently subscribe to any YouTubers whose videos have been covered negatively? Yes, but only ones who became guests, like Jay, Tonal, and Bariati. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, um, thanks. Yeah. Yes, including the ones who didn't become guests, and no, is uh, kind of sharing a similar chunk there. Have you unsubbed from a YouTuber due to EFAP coverage and uh, mm -hmm. reducing standing in your eyes? We got got quite a bit of yeses, but more so noes. All of those yeses are Mark Brown. I'm sure of it. Because <laughs> yeah, people that? think people think he does good videos until they look at them. Oh, listen to them! <laughs> really look at them. <laughs> it's so bad. Um, who would you like to see as a new EFAB guest? So number one is Matthew Matosis. I don't think that's ever going to happen, but we'd love it. We got, oh yeah, that'd be great. Ahoy is number two again. That would be, that would be, that would be oh, please, please. You got Young Ripper, number three, who we were actually on um, Friday Night Lights yeah. with Young Ripper. I think people are very interested in Young Ripper talking to us because he basically sits on the polar opposite of our position on adaptation. Like, to the oh, point where okay. he would say, Same. if the characters don't look like they do in the comics, then he's out. It's like... Ooh. I would, I would uh, largely agree with that position. Uh -oh. Like if you're going if you're going to take a character from the comics, you should make it like a character from the comics. If you want to do something different, then just make something new. Nah, does it does it I, automatically I, make I, it bad though if they don't take everything that they were? Um, I mean, I, I think I think it depends on on how much you're doing. Like if you're if you're truncating parts of the story just to you know in order to to make it fit into a you know, a, a two-hour movie, then obviously that's stuff that needs to be done. But if you're changing it deliberately for some other reason, and it doesn't even necessarily have to be, you know, woke-related type stuff. It could be for any number of things. But if you're making deliberate changes to the character, then it's not the character anymore, and you might as well have just done something new. So what do you think of Joker? Uh, which the like the 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 Joker Joker with uh, uh what's his name um, Joaquin Phoenix yeah like the the standalone yeah um so with the Joker there are a bunch of different versions of the character so I, I mean so which well, one of so one? it's so one of those at some point had to be an adaptation that changed stuff right well the difference so Joker's kind of an an odd character because. He doesn't he? actually have an official origin. Like, there's no uh, recognized canon origin for the Joker, and part of it is the fact that he's a completely non-reliable, you know, source, a non-reliable narrator type situation. So you can do different things, um, but with that, I mean, a lot of the stuff that they had in in the um, uh, in that movie are i believe that is very close to one of the actual one of the versions of the origin for the character so yeah you have the red hood guy who falls into the vat but there were also other versions of the joker that have been told in the comics and again it's none of them are canon because you don't know that's kind of the that's kind of the thing about the character and um it's it's almost played to the point where even he doesn't know what his actual origin is so with that movie, I mean, it's you can't really say that it's it's a different take on the character because it's still the character. It's just you don't know which origin is the real one. Well, it's definitely a different take on the character because of his age relevant uh, relative to Batman. Yeah. OK, so you. Are, all, yeah, that definitely is. That is. It's the logic then that Joker has one standard and everything else has because the standards change now. No, no, I'm not saying that. Um, I'm not saying that the the 
the standards should change or anything like that. So yeah, having having him be significantly older than Bruce Wayne doesn't really work. No, and I I would I, say that that you do you, do you think that's a statement that you would like actually stand behind or if if you're work? going if you're going to so. I don't have a problem with them not doing the Red Hood falling in the vat of acid thing. Because again, the, with the comics, he doesn't have a specific origin. So I don't have a problem with that. I don't have a problem with him being a comedian. In fact, I think one of his origins is a comedian. Um, but if they're going to make it so that he's way older than Bruce Wayne and that he like you know interacted with him when he was a kid and stuff, then yeah, that's dumb and it doesn't make sense. It does um, make sense. It's a different. Why doesn't it make sense? It seems to make total sense because I saw the movie and it all seemed to make perfect sense. Oh, also, by the way, because someone in chat was saying, "Well, like I get mad when when Batwoman makes changes." Like, yeah, I hate it, but like well, yeah, that's okay. That's 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 the difference. I hate so, it, but as well, for like, the issues with the it's a point of preference. Themselves, well, it would just be a matter of. I hate it personally, but whether or not it's good or bad is entirely reliant on what is in Batwoman. <laughs> What's in that show? Like, um... there is some. There is one thing that I feel like a lot of you guys tend to overlook when talking about adaptation arguments, uh, and that is you can look at a change um, because because what you have is essentially the original. You know, the, the the adaptation can be whatever it wants to be and still be a good story. But when um, the, the the original still exists, is essentially meta information on the original. So, like, if you um, change something, that can be seen as a comment on the original work. Um, it can be seen as there there is a, there is always going to be motivation to change something. So, let's say you see fucking I don't know. Um, oh, I had a really great example. Oh, let's see. Let's say you've got um, the Suicide Squad. Uh, but you've not same story, same plot, but it's a Marvel property, and instead of Peacemaker, he's called Captain America. Suddenly, you see all of his. It's the same script, but suddenly Peacemaker's actions can be seen as like comments on this uh, on this existing hero. I don't understand um, the issue, though. What was the issue? Well, I guess the issue would be so you've taken this guy who's famous for fighting Nazis, and you've criticized him essentially for being too violent. And okay. uh, I would say that it's okay to to violently fight Nazis in a war. So I guess you can you can if you take an existing character and you criticize them for something, you 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 just you display them through a very different lens. Um, it can be seen as you know a comment on the original work. Yeah, that's well, fine. Uh, oh, but I guess well, yeah, yeah, it's fine. It doesn't. It doesn't. Point, though, no, I, I, like I'm curious. Adaptation. How does that how does that change anything about the way we do everything? Well, essentially, because. Um, the fact that it's an adaptation changes stuff about it because it adds meta knowledge that changes your interpretation of the work itself. So the problem with meta knowledge is everyone has different amounts of it. Yes. That's true. Meanwhile, the, the content as, as it stands within the, the, the content itself, that's access from everybody who's seen the content. I feel like well, all, all content really... depends on meta knowledge to an extent. Like you need to to, to watch Suicide Squad, you need the uh, like the meta knowledge of like what a gun is. Like that's still meta knowledge. Yeah, but that's easy for you to discover if you were to require it. Like if someone said, "I don't know what this machine is. It's nonsense. It's firing metal really fast." We'd all be like, "Oh, those are yeah, those are these things." Meanwhile, those if it's an adaptation time. and someone says, "Why is why is this guy called Captain America?" Is that possibly a comment on some other maybe existing thing that I don't know about? And someone would be like, "I mean, yeah, you can find out if you want to, but that changes nothing about the story in that scenario." It changes nothing about the story, but it's still like. I mean, you no. Know, if if you've got something yeah, that comments on a real world event, that's um, exactly that's still what a point you're of criticism. What you're highlighting it's applies from the adaptation argument. I think. Yeah, well, that's, meta arguments have never. We've never. So, like cultural impacts, you have to consider them in meta. Well, no, that's that's different. That's um. This isn't a meta argument. This is um an argument that requires meta knowledge to understand. Well, um, so, yeah, but so so what you're saying is like, uh, Suicide Squad has this to say on Captain America. Meanwhile, yeah. w wouldn't it be valid to just be like, you, you can put that on there if you want to? This is the thing. Well, I mean, if... that's always, um, when a film has something to say about something, it's always up a matter of, of, of how explicit it is within the text. Uh, 
or you know if it's entirely well, yeah. up to someone's I, interpretation there there's a there's a little slider there let's 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 go with the most overt they actually literally have characters discussing captain america as a character in that movie and how shit he is as a hero and then you'd yeah. be like so you'd have to have the meta knowledge of captain america to be able to do anything with that i still don't understand what the problem is well as in i'm not saying it's a um it's a problem but it can be assessed in its own without um it's not simply the adaptation argument anymore. It's this this work is by making changes a comment on the original work, uh, and that that is that is that is a separate argument from it is different from the uh, the thing it's being adapted from, and therefore it's bad. That's Wait, a new sorry. argument on top of that. Do we do do we nest if if something is changed? Does that necessarily mean that it's a commentary on the original? Well, no, no. But it, it, I, I think I guess, there are definitely scenarios where it can be. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I guess it would be the idea of it's not necessarily would be the important distinction. I mean, a parody is the most obvious example of that, right? Where you've got something, you've got an adaptation of an original work that's changed in very deliberate ways to mock it. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, I, I, I guess I, I'm, I'm looking to get the lines connected because it's like the adapt whether or not it was faithful has nothing to do with the quality of the story and so you're suggesting well it would if it were to be directly referencing it and you could judge it as how effective it was able to do the judgment is that what you're if it's, saying if, yeah, it's not how faithful how faithful it is in and of itself isn't a, uh, isn't really a problem as far as i'm concerned but when you've got uh, something that's being changed as a comment a la in a parody then uh, then you can start to have problems or points of praise depending on what it's done um, so I'm trying to generate an example just so I can make sure I understand. So if, if they said something like Cap is, is a piece of shit and he kills innocent people and you'd be like, well, that's flawed in that we know meta knowledge Cap doesn't do that. Yeah. So like, if you like, um, I don't know, if, if you had like someone parody Captain America, like punching Hitler in the face by saying, I think that's, you're taking that a little bit far, you know, like you don't really need to be violent towards the guy, you know, he, he made some you know, you've got a, you've got a something where you're like, I'm not sure I agree with those comments. I think that you know, violence was uh, justified in taking out Hitler. Uh, that's the sort of, uh, that's the sort of thing. Mole that can to, happen. Mole is trying to protect Homecoming for Fringy. He doesn't need my help defending that movie. <laughs> He'll be fine. Mm. Spider Man, uh, Spider Man Homecoming is like a great film in its own right. So it doesn't really the adaptation thing is irrelevant to me. Because that's the, that's the issue, that, and especially when it comes to comic book stuff, this idea that there's like an established known Spider-Man character, I, I just, I don't buy that. There's there's too many different versions. Over the course of 60 years, like, it's going to be really difficult to maintain a consistent through line for any particular character, especially when you have like Spectacular Spider-Man or like Ultimate Spider-Man and then all of the different Spider-Men from the different Spider-Verses and just like... Yeah, but those aren't, those aren't Spider-Men though. Peter Parker is Spider-Man. Oh, the other ones are multiple not. versions of Peter. There's Miles multiple Morales versions isn't of Spider-Man. No, that, Miles Morales is Miles Morales. Nobody refers he, to him as Spider-Man. He's Spider-Man, as far he as literally I'm concerned. He's called like, Spider-Man in the Spider -Man, movie. But, but as for... Here we go. <laughs> Which Even, Peter is the real Spider-Man? Well, the problem is that like people would say, well, main continuity 616, and it's like... Sure, but I don't when... know what that means. Oh, so like in the Marvel <laughs> comics, like there's a universe that's six one six. That's like the main continuity where most stuff takes place. Okay. Um, but again, even if you said that, it's like, well, when? The thing you know, is, well, when, so all so all the even meters aren't really Spider Man. Well, so many I... of the fucking arguments anyway for like why why uh, Homecoming is um doesn't capture the original spirit of the character or, like, dependent on really flawed logic. Um, so, out of interest for the, 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 uh, prior thing, you know the whole, like, thing about guns? So, where someone's like, I'm using, um, a, a particular gun, they fire it and it fires a rocket, and Rags is like, that fucking gun does not fire a rocket, what the hell? And it, like, goes against completely what they're appealing to for you to understand how it works mechanically, if you were interested, let's say. Um, I'm not sure I would even consider it, um, I think you said this, so I'm not sure if we, it might just be a semantic thing of me understanding exactly what you were saying. But like, if someone makes a reference to a piece of media, and the meta-knowledge requires us to know what that piece of media is if we want to understand exactly what the character is saying, and they're inaccurate, then that just sounds like an in-text flaw that we would, we would be able to determine, much like the gun being inaccurate. Or um, a particular, I don't know, thing, unless they're, they're overtly changing it, I guess. Like with sci-fi or whatever. 
it would be in well, text, but it still requires a, a knowledge of the original and what it's being adapted from to understand. Um, if they're appealing to it, like as rock, like in the same way that technically every story, as you said, appeals to this, like our understanding of like houses, streets, and just basic everything and how it works, like it's going to have to adhere to um, the, the, un the understanding of reality as we know it in order to benefit from that, but at the same time, if it breaks away from it, like Looper having telekinesis, <coughs> like it introduces it immediately to let us know that it's mostly the same here, except there's this, and you're like, okay, I understand. Um, I like that your go-to is Looper. It's because I, I, I remember thinking about that. Like, I was like, I can't, I, I think I've said this on EFA before, I was like, I look forward to seeing how they're gonna use, because telekinesis is just this thing that's in this world, and I felt like it was a fucking waste. Like, they barely use it. It's more so about the Loopers yeah. and time travel. Um, but yeah, uh, it's no surprise. We, I think our audience is kind of split in the middle on the whole, uh, is adapt the faithfulness of adaptation relevant to how well written a thing is? And the, um, the arguments for me that, well, so, uh, uh, blame out of, out of curiosity, you'd have to conclude yep. Civil War is bad, right? The film? Um, I, I, So as as a standalone film, or, or like just looking at it by itself, um, it, it was decent. Um, but yeah, I was I was annoyed that it like shredded the the actual like the comic how, version well, of the story. Isn't the, isn't the so, comic well, wait, wait, wait. So how do you reconcile sorry. those two thoughts? So this is what I said yesterday, where. Um, you can enjoy a movie even if it's bad or you can enjoy a movie even if there are dumb things included or if there are objectively bad things whether it's you know the audio the cgi whatever you can enjoy a movie even if it has problems so like with the civil war movie i i can i can sit there and i can like it but at the same time i i recognize that a lot of the stuff they did with the story was just fucking dumb and it annoyed the shit out of me why would so, you wait, 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 I, 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 I got a i got a line of question i'm doing hang on to... so okay sure, so yeah. next question so you you basically just said that it is bad but you enjoy it right no i wouldn't say that the movie in its entirety is bad because you know there were there were some pretty good parts in the movie so I, the... i'd say that there are there are parts of it that are bad and parts of it that i didn't like yes and so the parts that you really think are bad are, are more so tied to the faithfulness from the adaptation, I assume? For the most part, I would say, yeah. Okay, so what if um, we're in a world where that is the only Marvel content that exists, is the MCU, there are no comics? Does the film become good? If you were to, to put it in a vacuum? Yeah. Um... I would say that there are still some issues with the story, um, but otherwise, yeah. But okay. we don't live in a vacuum, and and the pre-existing canon is there. Well, um, so I mean, you would have to, you would have to. Well, it's, it's kind not of, canon, though, is it? Because it's a different. Yes, it is. It is it's different. It's different continuity. It's not canon it's to the MCU. It's not canon to the MCU. Yeah. Well, again, this kind of goes back to the the you know what I was saying. Uh, previously about you know telling stories and retelling stories and, and making original stuff so if you're going to to tell an older story then why not tell it faithfully if, if you're going to just not, not if you're going to though. because Maybe. if you're going because changes? because if you're going to make a lot of changes why not just make something original no i'll point. just i'll i'll use the oh, what if it's better than the source it. material like what if they make well, choices that make more sense than in the source material like because the source material has assassinated characters in the past so what if they tell the story in a way that doesn't assassinate the character does that not yeah like if they adapted better? one more day badly would that not be good hold on <laughs> say that again so that's the famous bad spider-man story right one more day is it yeah. Um, yeah. Where he so, sold his marriage so to the devil. What I'm yeah, saying yeah, yeah, yeah. is, yeah, yeah, and, and by, he made the he made the deal. By the logic you've given us, if they adapted that faithfully, that would mean it's a good film, right? No, it doesn't necessarily it doesn't necessarily mean that, like, because there, I mean, there are tons of comics that, uh, like Riri Williams, for example, they're going to do the origin of her in the MCU. Um, that was just an awful, awful comic, and, and adapting that. 
if it's adapted you like, can, perfectly. If you adapt it, if you adapt it faithfully, it's still going to be an awful, awful movie. So then so, it doesn't. It doesn't matter whether or not it's a good adaptation. Then it matters whether or not it's good or bad in and of itself. Well, you have That's, two different things. So you have you have uh, is it is it a faithful adaptation and is, is the story not relevant because and is the story we, good to begin with? But that's not relevant, clearly, because if, like, you adapt something that's bad, and then that means that what you made is bad anyway, then it's like, well, adaptation's not the issue then here. It's whether or not it's good in and of itself. Well, if that it's a bad to... story, then why would... I wouldn't want to adapt it. That's if it, if the original the is If the original is bad, then I would not adapt it. If the original is well, good, then I would adapt sure, it that's, faithfully. That's, that's beside the point, though. It would be like... It, it's, it's well, what if there's crazy. a spark there? Well, and of course, sure, like, sure. what if what if you have a bad story and you're like, I can make changes to make it good. We've got a template here that could work, but I want to change it and and make it better than what it was. That would be making changes in the same way that somebody would be making changes to the good source material in a way that makes you question why they would do it. But, like, there's a lot of reasons why you would... How is it a false equivalency? What I would you, I would um, ignore chat for this for any focus on yeah. your audience. <laughs> what, what if you what if you what if you adapt Hill House like not the books the like literally make it remake the show, uh, but you change the ending and you make it all internally consistent with how the ghosts work. Uh, surely, surely that's not a bad thing to do. Surely that's a good thing to do. I wouldn't be able to comment because I'm not familiar okay. with that particular. I'm um, out of curiosity. Oh, okay, so, okay, so okay, so hypothetical show where the characters are great and most of the story is really great but there are some ghosts in the story and they don't the way they work doesn't make any sense and like the last 10 minutes of the show like shit on every on like everything tonally would the would it be good to adapt that show but to fix those few issues in the year adaptation or would it be better to make because it's still a good show would it be better to adapt the show again faithfully um, but, and keep the issues intact as they are So you're taking a, a, an existing TV show, which had a shitty ending, and then adapting it into an, another TV show? Is that what you're saying? Uh, I mean, or we could adapt it into, I mean, we could do like a, let's say we're, we're adapting it into a graphic novel. Let's, uh, let's do it the other way okay. around. Um, is, it, is, it, is, it then, is it then a bad decision to change the ending uh, and take everything that's excellent about that show, but to change the ending and, and the, like, the ghosts? See, and, and this is base, the, the base of my argument. It's no longer the same thing anymore. So, like, if you're... I don't know. Like, my entire argument boils down to if, if, it's, if it's a good story, then it's worth adapting faithfully. If it's a bad story, then it's not worth adapting, and you should just okay. make something original. I, I would say that Civil War, it's... the comic, is bad. Um, and that they may the change. Go there yet. We'll make, well, we can we can come back to that later, but that's what I think anyway. And also, if like, is would it that would preclude them from ever being able to adapt that story at least for like the next thirty years until they have all of the characters that were available in the comics to to do it. But like, I don't like that idea that they can't even <clears throat> touch the concept of Civil War because they don't have enough characters yet. And they'd probably lose some of the characters along the way because the yeah, actors would age out. Contracts and stuff. Yeah, I mean there are, there are a lot of stories within Marvel that require way too many characters to really tell in a you know in a in a faithful way. Two hour movie. Movie. Also, you've got to make changes for the medium, or else they're all off limits at that point, or most of them anyway. Like a lot of stories would become off limits. Yeah, I don't really. Like, I would that. love a faithful Sinestro core war adaptation, but I understand what a logistical nightmare that would be to get all those superheroes for that ending conflict there. So I would understand if there would need to be concessions made for that. For um, example, what's like what's like a, a famous good Spider-Man comic? Just like is it got like a special name sort of thing? Anyone? Uh, um, let me. If this be my like, destiny. Uh... What was that? Sorry. If this be my destiny, that's the one where he's like trapped under the rubble. It's like it's okay. in Spider-Man Homecoming. The whole he's like stuck. He's like, Help, so you know that type of thing. So the MCU adapt uh, one more day, and they don't take basically anything that the fans fucking despised in it, and they make a whole new story. And and you uh, blame you watch it and you're like, holy fuck, this is great. 
none of it's from the comics, and it's not adapted faithfully from One More Day, but fuck it, because that, that comic was shit. It's just a really fucking amazing film. And then I go, uh, Blame, I actually tricked you. The film you just watched is actually an adaptation of whatever the one that Evan just said is. <laughs> and, and it has nothing to do with what's in that comic. They just made up a, their own story that you thought was great, but the second you find out it's adapted from a different comic, does the story then become shit? So I think this is part of the argument that uh, that I think Jay made the, yesterday, where most people, the viewership, don't even realize that these are being stories from the past, um, and therefore the comics and the previous canon doesn't really matter for the larger audience. Um, for me, like if if I'm aware that this is how the comic is supposed to go, um, and I and I watch it, well, what the scenario that you're giving, anyways, kind of seems like it would almost be not an ad adaptation it feels more like it would be an original story than an adaptation well they call because it if it's unrecognized they call it the same name i mean you can, and they have all the I same mean, character just, names if you can use the same this just the same name the same title doesn't mean it's the same story though but again it, it, you're and can we not apply that to like regardless very, I, I thought you said that like if you change it too much what's the point in even adapting it in the first place like, yeah this could that's be an example of that right where you've changed it so much that what's the point yeah so if 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 it's if the story has been changed so significantly that it no longer resembles one more or one bad day then um why even use that name it seems like a stupid idea to that's, use that's the a, name. that's a wonderful again, question but it's not really the point. I'm asking you if it makes the story bad if they've used that name. I think it would be a stupid decision, yeah, to use would the same bad, name though? for something that was a pre-existing. Does it make, make the story it bad? Well, if the story is completely unrelated to the original, then no, it doesn't necessarily mean that what the story is going to be bad in the movie. What if it's mostly unrelated to the it original? It would be that someone, right. someone came up with a... decided to use the, the old name just as, like, nostalgia bait. But what if it was mostly different, but kind of similar, and it was great? Mostly different, but kind of similar? Like, it's, it, is, it bears enough similarities to the original that you can tell that it was based on the original, but it is pretty sub significantly different. Yeah, that's like Civil War, but really. It's right. Yeah, like, Civil War would be the example. Is it bad because it's different... I don't think it's necessarily bad that it's different. Then I think that I think that you... I think my okay. point my point being is that if you're going to if you're going to to do an adaptation to a good story, then you should make a faithful adaptation. Why? Otherwise, make something original. Well, wait, but you said because, you, you shouldn't be faithful if it's a bad I, story, I see, right? So here's here's the thing. I, I see it largely as as kind of. Um, is is like uh the the current year modern hollywood just kind of being lazy and and just redoing stuff that has been successful in the past for the sole purpose of uh of the branding and of the name and stuff and being able to reuse that and oh hey i remember spider-man hey oh hey i remember ghostbusters whatever it happens to be so like I view it more as kind of like laziness, where again, if you're going to make an adaptation of a previous story, then then don't then just make it faithful. If it's a good story, then tell it faithfully. If it's not, not a more, good, well, wait, laziness is it not more lazy to just copy the original than to like take it as a template and then create something that's very different? No, because what's happening is if if you're making it as a faithful adaptation, then everybody knows that it's a faithful adaptation, right? Like, there's no, um, there's right. no kind of, um, there's no well, no. kind of deception going on so where, like, no. this is, you know, a totally different version type thing. But what we see with a lot of these other, uh, kind of, like, remakes, reboots kind of thing, basically, they're taking existing stuff, so they don't have to go through the, the effort and the work of building up the characters or building up the story. They just take something that's already existed and they just kind of add some a little bit of extra stuff to it and that to me seems lazy because you're not going about the the entire process of creating that original story the original characters and that sort of stuff and if you're just doing like a remake or uh, like a, a a faithful adaptation um then you know like if you're doing a faithful adaptation of you know one of uh uh 
uh, Ed, Edgar Allan Poe stories or, or, or something like that, then nobody nobody's going to think you know that's it's lazy because you're basically trying to to recreate a faithful adaptation of something that's come before, and, um, and it's kind of the same thing with like the comics and and, and that. But if again, if you want to do an adaptation, and I, I, I sound like a broken record, I'm going to keep saying this. If you make an adaptation of something that came before, it should be faithful. And if you're not going to be faithful, then just right. make something so, new. Make something guess, original. The problem what if is you want to take like 80%? Of, well, well, I mean, I guess, first of all, there's a lot of like, should for your intentions for doing something narratively, which I don't think is reliable as a metric for deciding whether something is good or bad. I don't think that we can rely on people's motives or like, well, why would you make this decision? It's like, does that matter when it comes to what the content it's, what the content is at the end of the day? Um, and I, I guess it's just, I don't see how it can be reliable to say it's substantially different. Therefore it's bad slash you never should have tried it in the first place. But if it's a bad story in the first place, you should never try to make any changes or fixes to make it better in a different medium. Or like it needs to be a sufficiently, if it's sufficiently different enough, then it can be its own original thing. It feels like there's like a lot of extra yeah, elements that are getting thrown on top that make it incredibly confusing to figure out what our standards are. Like again... If, if if it was a bad story to begin with, then I I just don't see a reason to try to Do you to not think it. that there can be a bad story that has great ideas that could just be tweaked with, like, rewriting? You you take something that is, like, potentially narratively rich, but was just executed poorly? I mean, it's possible, but again, if you have the ability, if you have the skill to, to make that good story... What if you like this idea? Just... I mean, again... I'll, make something original what if you like you this idea i mean you can like it and you can do whatever I'm, you know kind of fan I'm saying what you if want. you like this idea specifically you're like this idea is really cool somebody's tried it but i want to try it and and give it a shot and see if i can make it better is that just stupid or wrong so I guess the idea. No, we're trying I mean to it, it. It depends on it depends on like how narrow the idea is. If if you're talking like just um, uh, if you're talking about like a certain kind of of story using a a particular plot device or something, um, you know, like what if time travel worked in this particular way? Um, you could take that and and use that in any other. Uh, original content but if you're talking about something that's really really narrow like um this character from this movie said this other thing instead of the original lines at, at that point I, I i don't see i it, it seems like a waste i would just say don't don't remake it don't try to redo it just make something original so so right. romeo and juliet as a film should start with a chorus that speaks in rhyme. Isn't adapting yeah. something intended to translate the story, not slav slavishly, you know, copy it word for word. I, I don't understand your, your point of view at all. Not at all. Especially considering that like, you're basically changing the form of media for which like the ideas are conveyed, like a book, which is essentially what a comic book is. It's pictures meets words and like illustrations to convey meaning and characters like that's going to be a little bit different when you're filming things rather than like still images so things might might not translate particularly well when you're filming it and you might need to take creative liberties i think it's like it's hard to make something just page accurate like i, I have already problems said with that Zach though watchmen in terms of that type of thing yeah and i already said that so, i said when you're so, taking something from one medium and moving it into another you're necessarily going to have to make changes but you're you going to like have them. to make no, I didn't. I, when, that was one of the first things I said. I said, if you're taking a very large story or, or if you're taking something from one medium, you're obviously going to have to make changes. If you're trying to cram it into a 90 minute movie, there are going to be changes. You're going to have to cut things like that's inevitable. Um, does that make it bad? Or perhaps or you have to summarize is that, a, is that 
like acceptable compromises. So you can you can you can cut out certain things. You can cut out, um, you know, uh, unnecessary side plots and that sort of thing in order to uh, adapt something for a movie that has well, a that specific. Very faithful at all. It is well, it is faithful I as long say... as you're telling as long as you're telling the 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 story in the in the manner in which it was meant to be told, and you're using uh, the the same Need characters with the same basic manner in which uh, it was meant to be told. Can we, can we, because how do we differentiate between decisions to remove or add content or amend content based on creative decisions versus practical limitations? And what if they go hand in hand? How then do you assess whether the changes make it bad or are okay? I mean, a lot of that is going to end up probably being subject, uh, subjective, depending on the viewer, whether you you personally believe it's faithful or not. I mean, there are going to be certain side plots that I might think are necessary and you think that are not necessary. So unfortunately, some of that is going to be subjective. Like, the, there's no way around that. You can't because, like, for example, you know, if you were to tell... Uh, like the Lord of the Rings movies are already unbelievably long. If they were going to be word for word faithful to the books, they they would have been you know three times as long as they currently are. So um, yes, there are going to be things that need to be cut in order to well, adapt would, it to a different medium. Like I, I, would, I didn't I didn't say that that makes it automatically bad. I said that there are going to be things that you necessarily need to remove in order to adapt so it. So like Civil but, War getting rid of all of these crazy comic book characters that there's no way that they could have possibly gotten actors for enough screen time for? Is that okay? Yeah, but they or... also but they also changed a lot of other stuff about Civil War as well. Like, so okay, what, what about changing it something entirely? Let's say you take World War Z, okay. which is a series of very short stories, and you turn that into a single story that goes through the whole thing. You're telling the story, uh, and obviously the World War Z film itself forget that but let's say that you're changing <laughs> it like that you know you're now telling the same story in the same universe that gets through the same points you would rather have short little vignettes of, of film the the oh, changing no i of, didn't say that i didn't say that at all but that would and be a that, pretty significant change from the base material and you'd no, be creating all new characters so why not just create something outside of world war z entirely that's do something the original reverse. That's the reverse of what I just said, though. Like I said, I if you that. take if you take a book that is that is incredibly long, and you need to adapt it into a movie, then you're necessarily going to need to cut stuff out. And if you're taking a, a series of short are, stories wait, and you're wait, trying wait, to make, are you are you're trying you necessarily to make, going to have to cut something out. Depends on how long or short the book is and how long or short the film is, right? Like if I decide to make three films out of one book, I could have all the content in there. That's a decision I could make. You talk, like the Hobbit? Well, I mean, they added well, extra no, content. Was... Let's, no, let's not use. Let's not talk. Let's go hypothetical. Like we, because you were talking about how it's like, well, we can't judge harshly an adaptation where we need to cut stuff because of runtime or, or technical limitations. Would that mean that, like, for instance, if you had uh, three films that were an adaptation of one book and nothing was cut? That like that is necessarily better than the one where it's one film and stuff just needs to be cut. No, it wouldn't necessarily be better because there are lots of other variables and factors that you would need to consider. That sounds like we're adding a lot of extra baggage when we could just be like, well, how good is this as as its own thing? Like it seems like we're making it incredibly complicated. I mean, my argument has been pretty simple from the the get go i don't think is, it's simple i don't i don't think, think it's well, if um, you if you have if you have a good story you should adapt it faithfully if it's not a good story then don't bother and make something original what like, do you that's okay, simple, so you uh, hypothetically should, here those those what? things seem completely arbitrary to me as standards yeah, yeah and why, and, why and should... people people in chat want me to bring this one up as well like i'm sure you're aware the famous example is the shining film considered one of the greatest films of all time is a piss poor adaptation that stephen king hates Mm -hmm. How do we reconcile these two yeah. things? Surely everybody should agree that it's a shit film because it adapted it unfaithfully. Unfortunately, I can't really comment too well, much because I you, never actually read You don't the have books, to. You don't have to have seen know. it. I'm telling you that it is a batshit wrong adaptation. The, the, the author of the book hates it. So with that information, you would now argue mm -hmm. to me, yes, the Shining film is shit. 
right? I would like to see a faithful adaptation is what I would like to see. I think there was. It was a mini series that Stephen yeah. King had a lot more involvement in and everyone hated it. Yeah. Rather maligned. Exactly. It's 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 a hard book to adapt because of like the way that Stephen this King isn't... writes things. Like he relies a lot on internal monologue. That's like or and, yeah, like the, the dialogue I, between characters with the what I what I want so. Is for hard. you to say yes, it is a bad film, and and that's fine. That's fine. That's, I understand your standards at that point. I just I wouldn't adopt them myself. That's all. Yeah, because like The Shining is a fucking incredible film, and the idea that it's... it came from a different book that it should have been faithful to, I think, is way too arbitrary to crush that kind of artwork. Especially when, like, my argument that I go to as someone who loves both the, the Shining book and the movie is that they're, like, telling different stories with essentially different themes and different ideas that they're trying to convey. So it's kind of like two different experiences, even though they use the same setting, the same type of characters, they just take changes that result in, like, a different experience. So it's just a different approach to essentially the same story. Well, it I sounds to me like you... it's almost it sounds to me like it's almost not even the same story. If you're making such significant changes, then well, it's kind of it's kind it, of it, it, it kind of it kind of, of it. it kind it of reminds it's, me it's, it's like what what uh, Mahler said about, you know, one bad day thing. Like if you're just if you're simply using the, the title for a different story, then well, there's like, a couple he, things here. For one, it, it draws it has a lot of the same characters same setting so Dra if you draws were all to the book to fans write... well don't forget it draws all the book fans in so it's, yes, it's, it's that, gonna be betraying them it, it can't exist solely on its own the shining movie because part what of part of what it does is it inverts a lot of things that happen in the book so certain characters that survive like the house burns down in the book and then it survives in the movie like there there are things that are inverted on purpose where um, what's her name? Wendy is kind of strong and independent in the book, but she's sort of meek and, you know, the ab abused wife in the novel. He's kind of like, I mean, in the movie, he's kind of flipped things around on purpose, kind of done an inverted version of the book. It's yeah. not something that can exist without the source material. I'd say one of the most significant changes is like Jack's alcoholism. That's like one of the key points of conflict instead of the book is that he's basically trying to stave off alcoholism because he gave it up. And then that's eventually what leads to the, the finale with him getting drunk basically through the, the hotel's like influence. But it's basically like substituted for like pure insanity because of like cabin fever in the movie. So it's just kind of two different approaches to creating conflict for the third act. Is uh, is it an, a, a worse adaptation because all the children don't fuck at the end? <laughs> <laughs> That's you know uh, that Park was another good example too. That's I'm a curious of the they, answer. They, they, they firebomb the island at the end of the book. The T Rex drowns in a river. I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, and like that of... film is fucking incredible. Like I, I don't. What it? So I guess the the point when it yeah, comes I'm, to I'm curious about the, your I... answer for that for for the movie it. Yeah. Oh, I didn't like it. No, well, that's no, no. not the, that's the not the question, question. The question the question that Jay asks you. You do have a habit what, of not answering questions. What what was the question? So in the original oh, the, book, the thing with um, the thing with the kids? Yeah, yeah. No. Uh my argument would be it's a bad story, so don't adapt it. So there shouldn't be it adaptations then. I no, uh, again, uh, and I I've said this like a dozen times already. If it's a good story and it's worth adapting, then you should adapt it faithfully. If it's a bad story, then don't adapt it and make something original. But, but this well, is so a good the, story so should, with should a bad there, scene. Should there or that... shouldn't there be yeah, you just, adaptations then? You just implied that it the, the book is bad. Is that what you're saying? Like which which category does it fall into is my question then. Um I've never uh, so I can't, I can't fully comment on the book it I've read parts of it well, uh, okay, but I, I honestly I honestly say, haven't read it cover to cover let's but, just say then just for the sake of argument that it is a you read it it's a flawless horror but then it ends with loads of children fucking <laughs> like that's <laughs> let's just say hypothetic because that that is that's what's necessary for the argument that it's a great horror but that it ends with a scene that you really wouldn't want to include in that one everyone I would argue that um, it's not that great a book then. Like, I can't, I'm not just going to, that? I'm not going to just 
exclude a significant plot element towards the end of the book and say, yeah, it's great, except for, you know, how everything ended. Like, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't be able to say that. I would yes, judge, I would would judge it. Why. I would judge it as a whole. And I would say that, um, no, it's like it's it's you know it has some good parts and but it's overall I I, I wouldn't I wouldn't want to adapt it. So essentially, you can't so that... tell that same good story again without either ripping off it or, well, yeah, you you can't. So you you're now limited from telling the story of the evil clown uh, and you know well just all of the specifics that are great. You can't tell the story anymore unless you either want to. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. That's the that's the world we're saying. We can't 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 write this story where uh, uh, might make these films of it, but without the weird shit. Again, like, why not just make something original? Like, it's because well, it so is. I, a, I, I don't. I don't understand. I don't, under, I don't understand what this. Um, what this well, I can give you a is we can give you a motivation. Um, pre-existing stories. Yeah, I can, like I don't understand the this plan yeah, motivation. So they they bad. want to use the IP to be able to give the story a wider breadth, a better chance at existing. That's no, the reason. That. What if it's literally your favorite story, but you don't like the child sex? Well, like, <laughs> the point I'm trying to make, Jay, is that the motivation is literally fucking irrelevant. It doesn't matter why they did that's it. True. Like, that's, adaptational that's, that's quality that's and point, writing yeah. quality are in two separate pens. Like, they're both conversations you can have, but, like... Have to, I, I, would, have I would hard take that it's not even fair to call... I, I, would, I would like the argument that it's not even really fair to call, call it adaptation quality, just adaptation faithfulness. I don't think oh, it's... Oh, yeah, that's what I mean. I don't think it's fair to call that quality. If someone said that's terrible, Morlet, I'm not judging the morality of the decision. I'm strictly talking about the story. What did it end up being? Well, I mean, but there... Because I saw well, some. I don't think it's terrible say, to do that. Well, I gotta say though, like, it's pretty. I'm. I slept for like three hours last night and have been awake for twenty four hours. It's really like bizarre to see someone in chat say like, "Oh, so by Jay and Fringy standards, TLJ is a masterpiece for what they did to Luke." No, it's like, are we? That's a, I, that's a direct I kinda, continuation. Yeah, well, well, in, in so, well, so if. If, so if there was the a new easy... Star Wars film that came oh, out, no, with no, we don't even need to go that far. We uh, the fundamental thing is, I never said anything about whether or not it's good for that particular story to be different. I said it should be judged for what it is. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. How does that change anything in relation to whether or not these specific stories are good or bad because they're not okay. faithful? So you, this is just the fucking argument. Oh, I can't separate the thing I like from the thing that is um, using the same name and IP, but not the same continuity. The reason that Luke is bad is not because it's different from. It's, it's not just bad because it's different. It's bad because it contradicts the same continuity with which it is in. It is contained. It is. It is. Literally, that is you your released, argument. If you it's not my TLJ, argument. I'm telling you, you, it's released, not my argument. If you released TLJ, um, and it was called. Uh, Star Wars Episode Four: A New Hope remake. Then you cannot criticize Luke for being out of character, because he's a new character at that point. He is a new character based on an old character, and you may uh, you may not understand why the changes were made. Mm. But he is not. You you can't criticize him for being out of character when he is a literally a a a different person. He's a manifestation well, of the no, same person, I'll, but he's a I'll... different person. In the I'll, same I'll way do, that I'll do you, Parker is a different person. Like I said, I'll do you one better. The point that's being made is that regardless of whether it's a good adaptation or a bad adaptation, it should be assessed for what it is, independent of what it's based on. And of course, it's not analogous because TLJ is a sequel not an in the same continuity. So what happens before matters later because it's in the same timeline as opposed to two stories that don't take place in the same continuity. So, this is yeah, entirely same, consistent. You can't have a fucking continuity error between two things that don't exist in the same continuity. It's impossible. Like, moving goalposts around, this is the position. This like is fucking, the position. It's like, it's like someone It's like someone tells a story, it's like someone fucking writes uh, a... It's, it's like fucking going into Amazing Spider-Man and going, uh, Gwen Stacy, um, she's dead. Why? You can't tell a story about her. She died. She's dead in the comics. That's really stupid that you would write Gwen Stacy to be alive. 
That's a really bad argument against Amazing Spider-Man. And it's weird because oh, we, we've held this position since EFEP started. It's ad adaptation versus sequel. These two things are entirely also, different categories. Well, yeah, this, this is just... This is just essentially, at that, point, at that point, it's just an admission that the thing you're angry with about is that something changed. That's... Yeah. Not that something contradicts. Which can admittedly be incredibly annoying, particularly if they change something for the worse. Yep. Yeah, of course. If, you, if you're if you're attached anyway. to something being a certain way, and then it changes, yeah. you know, I, it's it's completely can, understandable absolutely. to be upset about that. Yeah, I can but at the same time, that. it's not an issue. It's like, uh, it's not. It, if that's your sole criticism, then you're reing. Like, uh, uh, faithfulness is not analogous to quality. They are in two separate pens. They don't mm -hmm. yeah. talk to we each other. Like same, sometimes, we can have a, well, again, yeah, we, we can, can have a conversation about faithfulness. Terrible. We can have that conversation about whether or not it's faithful, but like there needs to be a separation because otherwise you're just going to run into problems like The Shining, where it's like, oh, you have to say that this film is bad because it's not the same as the book. I, just, yeah, I don't like that. Like, and I also don't like the idea of telling people you're only allowed to adapt something if you have this specific intention in mind. This is the only intention that you're allowed to have. You can't think that a story that wasn't executed well could be tweaked and changes could be made, including substantial changes that could make it better, or that you simply are just interested in exploring a different angle with it. I'd... Yeah, that just feels stupid. But And again, uh, so what happens is, unfortunately, we've held this position forever. We've had arguments about this since early EFAP, but we get r lots of new fans because, uh, for example, with the sequels, Game of Thrones or whatever else, people come and go, yeah. we talk about the inconsistencies in the characters within that timeline, and a lot of people assume that we have we carry that argument over to adaptation, but we've never done it, ever. We think the Patriot's pretty good. It's a terrible adaptation of history. Mm, yeah, damn. That is not the Swamp Fox at all. Oh, the Patriot is like a really bad. I did a report on him in eighth grade, Francis Marion. Yeah, he's a super cool guy, man. The Social Network is another example because it's not a faithful telling of what actually happened, but it's a good movie. Well, oh, all I mean, another example, Steve Jobs. There's no way that at the beginning of a major press event for three launches that incredibly important events in Steve's life happened within the span of like 40 minutes. That, that like never all, happened. All the key dialogue, they even lampshade it like where he said it's like everyone got drunk and like told me what they really thought right before the meetings. It's like it's it's so that they can have everything at the key product launches, even oh. though a lot and would have happened between the time jumps. And of course, it's worthwhile to criticize like if like if we want to talk about, you know, whether or not it's misrepresenting what happened. It's like that's a conversation, but that's a different conversation to whether or not it's working as its own story. It has to be a different conversation. And like to extend an olive branch to you, like I am a comic book fan myself. I love a lot of comic book stories, but you know, um, obviously as my standards have like evolved and changed, I reread those stories and I go, oh, I still really like this um, story, but oh, if I were to adapt it, I really want to change this dialogue because a lot of this dialogue doesn't really hold up, even if the story itself I still find quite rich. And I think there is a benefit to looking at you know these stories not as this is set in stone this is what it needs to be and it's then looking at it as, as okay this is a really um great attempt at a first draft let's see how we can take it from a good story or maybe a bad story with great ideas and turn it into a great story and that's the beauty of what an adaptation can do and i think the only reason i would talk about faithfulness is if the story is really bad um in the adaptation and i'm going where the fuck did we go wrong along the way was it the fact that the original story was bad or is it the fact that they mangled the ideas and then we can get into you know why are these mangled ideas bad on their own and how did they become these mangled ideas that can be very interesting but again we got to keep the conversation of what is the quality of the script itself on its own and what it, and what is the faithfulness of it to the source material uh, kind of separate in, in that regard uh yeah yeah so you can obviously there are you can have two different types of quality for both uh the original story the adaptation uh, the faithfulness i mean these are all different factors different variables that you can consider whether they're good or bad but again i i don't i do not see uh i don't see a reason to to go and try to rehash 
stuff that's already been done. And if you're making significant changes to a character, it's not the character anymore. It's something new, just wearing a, a wearing a, a mask or, or, or a face a skin suit of the original character. So if you're not going to do that, then again, I, I why okay, I've got I've actually got another question just, for you in that just regard. What if make that, okay. something original? Okay, even if it's, uh, okay. even if it's okay. the same character, you can make an original story. Okay, I, I, but I've just got a, I've got a question for you in that regard. So comic books are an ongoing medium that often come out around. The, I, they continue to go on after adaptations have come and gone. But what happens off? What often happens is that adaptations become better regarded than their comic book predecessors, and then the comics retcon the backstories from the an, uh, from the adaptations into the main line continuity. So, what happens in those situations? Like, what what would your opinion be there like as far as adaptation so basi goes at that basically point. like what dc does all the time with their crisis reboots where yeah. you know the origin of this character gets changed this and that um so i, I don't i don't really particularly like the constant reboots I, it's um, oh yeah i'm not saying they're good i'm just saying that it, it becomes messy after it becomes quite messy yeah um, and, and i understand uh, but at um there's there's going to be like a a kind of primary version of a character i suppose um and that like when people think of you know when people think of of superman they think of clark Clank, uh clark kent landing and getting picked up by the kents and whatnot they don't think of red sun superman sort of deal um so there's like a primary version of characters and that's what if I do one... think of Red Sun? <laughs> I don't know, man. What if that's uh... what if that's just... well? I'll tell you something because when I uh, when I was a kid, I I grew up on um, a, quite a niche adaptation of Batman. I grew up on the two thousand and four animated series, and to me, that was go to. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. And for me, the go to Joker was fucking Rasta Joker. Like that was. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. Him. This is going to be different for different people. This is an entirely like there's a there's a most popular one, but that's not the same as definitive, and no one can claim that the one that is most popular is is definitive. I think. Oh, well, uh, sure. In an individual sense. people, individual people are going to have their favorites to be sure, but that that doesn't that doesn't really matter. What if um, it's an improvement on the well, original? Sure, no, surely the surely it is a. Surely it is. It does matter because the whole argument is uh, if there's a definitive one, that that's the one that people think of first, and that's not that's not unanimous. No, but um, we're talking about like you're talking like uh, you're talking about like the overwhelming majority of people versus like a couple. And maybe, that's true. maybe, maybe, maybe be, that is true for like. You have to be able to make that distinction. You can't just say, okay, well, this one dude who likes you know the. Uh, the the back issue fucking number 38 of whatever where you know superman shows in for one panel uh where he's actually a plumber instead of uh you know instead of a a reporter like the one dude who thinks that should be canon no you can't you can't look at that and say okay we're going to take this as canon no it doesn't work like that there's going to be a primary version of every character because it's just dumb. You you, you can't you that's, cannot. That's you not cannot, an argument. That's not an you argument. Cannot, you cannot. Uh, you cannot. Um, uh, build something well, around every single possible niche version that every random person. There needs to be specifically the companies are supposed to do this. The companies that are making the character are supposed to have some consistency, like a through line for the character, um, and they're largely supposed to be responsible for presenting what is supposed to be the primary version of a character. And that is what should be used. Now, if, if you want to do these alternate versions and, and whatnot, that's fine, but don't treat it like it's, like it's the real thing because it's not like, and, and as I said earlier, as I said earlier with, as I said earlier, you know, like with Miles Morales, he's not Spider-Man. He's Miles Morales. Okay. Or he he's Miles Morales. No, he is, is not Spider-Man. Peter is Parker is the one and only Spider-Man. Is his comic called Miles Morales? Spider -Man Spider -Man on the Steve Rogers. Steve Rogers is the one and only Captain America. Uh, Clark Kent is the one and only Superman. There, you can have what? alternate versions, but there's always going to be a one primary original character 
that is the one. Like that is the one that you go. Oh, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna poke a hole in your logic right here. Wally Batman West was the Flash for 20 years, um, and took over for Barry Allen for 20 years. A lot of people consider Wally West the one true Flash. Um, so how does that what work? About in Green this? Lanterns and like Hal Jordan, and then there's people. Who oh yeah, Jordan everyone has their Green Lantern. Ones, like yeah. that's actually well, now, very. Now you're talking. Debatable. Now you're talking not necessarily about adaptations. Now you're talking about. Uh, characters having titles and mantles, and but you just said yeah, Miles Morales was not. And what about Miles Morales was Bruce Wayne? What about okay? So you've got you've got very different versions of Bruce Wayne, both from original comics. Um, there are older versions of of, uh, of Batman that you know doesn't doesn't original Batman use guns and and is fundamentally very like okay. So let's just say um, as well. Um, where is the line? So let's say. Uh, it's a very let's say it's not just some niche version of the character that we're talking about here. Let's say there's a there's a, a the same character portrayed in a different way is considered the main version by like forty percent of people. Like, how where is the line where it starts where it stops being oh that's just dumb don't that's not the real version. Where's when is it oh well I guess there might be something to that. I guess that's a version we can adapt. When when does it become because to me it seems entirely arbitrary. Um, so I would like to listen to some porn. I don't know about you people, but I would really like to listen to some erotica at the moment. <laughs> yeah. I always uh, yeah, got the impression down. that part of Spider-Man's point is that he should inspire everybody and anyone can be Spider-Man. Uh, that's why I, I found Miles Morales' story quite compelling, and I thought it was really neat when he finally almost earned the mantle. Um, I've said before, and I'll say it again, I think John Walker earned the Captain America mantle. See, and, uh, like, I like the character of John Walker in the in the show. I, uh, I thought that he absolutely is uh, the, the more qualified person to take that mantle. But if you ask me who is Captain America, it's still Steve Rogers. It what, was, what if someone, and it always someone will be. someone came on when Bucky Barnes was Captain America, though? What if he, that was their Captain America? But it doesn't matter because where where Why did uh, where because how did he okay how did Bucky Barnes become Captain America? Let me ask you that. Yeah, but this is like no, we, no, 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 uh, no. Um, how did how did Bucky too. Barnes how did Bucky Barnes become I know how Captain he became America. Captain America? He inherited he the mantle, it? but exactly I, so. What, but what, have, but then he's not mean? the one true Captain America at that point. The point is, is that even if you join the story when Bucky Barnes is Captain America, as part of his story as part of when he gets the mantle of captain america he gets it from steve rogers uh he inherits the mantle and so there's still there's still like the the very obvious like even if you join with bucky barnes or or uh what's his name sam wilson or whoever because there's been like a dozen different people that have okay. held the mantle you can always follow it back to okay who is the main version of Captain America? Who is the one that the started it? Who is, who, who is the guy? Wait, 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 wait. Because you said main, but what you're talking about is first. That's, a, mm -hmm. that's an important distinction. Yeah. Because yeah. what happens if you have somebody who, who ends up being that person for longer or who more people start to Well, yeah, what if 95% of people said Captain that America. Bucky is the true Why Captain America? I use Wally West as the example. A lot of people consider yeah, Wally West so, actually. Okay, yeah. so main was bad wording. The original is still so the original. So Jay Garrick should be one, the Flash man. then, and Alan Scott should be Green Lantern. And they're the only ones. They're the prime. They're the best. So Jay Garrick and Alan Scott should be the one true Flash and Green Lantern. You stand if by you're that? talking about, if you're talking about, like who who is this character, then. It goes to yeah the the original the primary. Why? So Why? okay, so we oh should be having Jay and Garrick. Again, and then, then you're Jones talking Scott you're talking story. about uh, again you're talking about passing of a mantle. So like uh, I'm really it's, confused. It's... I guess the question would be why is that the way that it works? Well, I I would just be curious if you kept to you because again this this goes. <laughs> Again, this uh, this goes back to what I was saying. So I don't I don't necessarily like 
the the whole passing of a mantle thing i, I think it's it's i actually kind of, love it so that might be a difference with um, us I, I just I, I just think it's kind of i think it's kind of lazy um because lazy? again rather than rather than taking the time to build up an original character you're just kind of piggybacking they are on the character they're building up no they're original. not it's no, the they're not. All the legacy, exactly. like it's a wonderful <laughs> thing where they get to pass on their legacy to the so, next so Bucky generation. Barnes I, I already, understand for that. Example, Bucky Barnes is already a very that. well established character, um, and yeah. to pass on the mantle to him is simply a symbolic gesture that shows his progression and, and his relationship with Steve. Yes, and it's still a completely original character. And to see what he does. Well, anyway, Vox says the... thank you for yeah, joining. He's an, that. he's an original character, and he's and he's so the, Bucky has, Barnes. He's has, not Captain America. Uh, well, he is carrying. You, you got you got some you got someone new to introduce. So let's let's pause for a second. If ninety five percent of people said they believe Bucky Barnes is Captain America and they all read the comics and loved them, would you eventually concede that you'd be wrong because the population has outnumbered you? No. So then it's who's first, not it what is who's first. Yeah, it's just who's first. Children, <laughs> children, children! What EFAP is this? A hundred and fifty, <laughs> and here we are, brother against brother. Fighting. Where is the memes? Where is the love? Honestly, come on, people. We've had loads of memes, old man. Here. Where are you for those? It really tingles my chucks. <laughs> I almost spat out my food. Holy shit! Like... <laughs> 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 yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fucking hell. Oh, we're gonna do some fucking, all right? Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say we haven't gone through these survey uh, results yet. There was a time yet. when I was put on EFAP, you know, to discuss Star Wars and all that crap. Now everyone just expects me to bring the smut. I mean, I will, I will deliver, of course. <laughs> um, well, I just say I gotta finish the survey results. I don't know how many more there are. Oh but, yeah, that's well. right. There's only uh, like uh, This all came I'll, I'll from. Go make a cup of tea. Well, again, not starting there, but if Young Ripper was to come on, that's what they want us to discuss, and we would have a repeat of what we just had. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, you'd have to. Bring Do some you really want that audience? argument? Yeah, we oh, um, have to bring arguments. Arguments. People also want Razor Fist. That, that, would, that would be interesting. We're on board. Um, Seth Zintash, uh, uh, Tech, Tech, uh, which Zintash. is someone, I believe, Rags, you're aware of them, right, as a creator? Him? Yes, I am. Yeah. He is yeah, uh, it's, very it's good. Yeah, he's gaming. Very... Um, Clownfish TV, I know of that name, thanks to the stuff with I Kevin Smith, yeah. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Possum Reviews. I think we watched a Possum Reviews video in relation to all the reaction stuff. Um, I think Possum Reviews did a, did a video, or it could have been someone else, I think it was Diesel Patches, I can't quite remember. Um, Nick Rikita, which we're definitely going to get around to at some point. Procrast Titara, I've heard a lot of uh, uh, requests for that one as well. Um, got Joe Cat V, Misanthropony, Manga Carmen, Solar Sands, Turkey Tom, Rucka Rucka Ali, Nicholas Diorio, Just Stop, and Dick Masterson. Potentials, all of them. Who knows what will happen in the future? Um, I'm, I'm way more interested in like the random people that people have just suggested as that you know one or two people have said. Hassan's chair. Oh, we'll, <laughs> we'll we'll grab Hassan's chair for sure. Um, I find so, it really interesting that Ryan George is there is there as if he would ever come on here. Oh, <laughs> I thought he was great, a huge fan. What the fuck? Um, I Jay, I doubt that. You should be interested in this one. Is Spot a good meme? Yes. Well, the overwhelming Fuck answer is actually yes. Uh, or at least the, the majority answer. Correct. Spot is the yeah. original spot to hold the spot mantle. Yes. <laughs> well, you got, um, I'm a nuanced little centrist boy. It comes in at 27%, 28%. <laughs> with 13% with of the audience saying, bad meme. So I, I feel like the bad meme people are out, outnumbered at this point. So spot, you know, he's, he's still going strong, potentially. Mm -hmm. I'm just looking at all of these one-off suggestions. Jay's hand. Mola, that's you. You played my hand, remember? <laughs> oh, yeah. You did. You had a cameo in my video voicing my hand. <laughs> um, <Nice>. Okay. <laughs> should Fringy that reveal... That video's called YouTube Doesn't Understand What No Means, if anyone's curious. Go have a look. Uh... Um, should Fringy reveal the secrets of his Fringy Gouda rags so he can know whether it's safe to store in his fridge with the snow? Most common or popular answer is no. A plague doctor has the right to keep his professional secrets. Yeah. Yep. Um, second most popular is yes. Sure, yeah, he can, he can keep it secret if he wants. 
Well, it's just not getting in your fridge, right? That's the that's the deal. Yeah, just an, that's, yeah, as long as it's it not is. in your fridge, you don't have a problem, and I don't have a problem, so it's okay. Um, but thirty three percent of people said Rags needs to know the properties of the Fringy Goo. Uh, it's it's no, I I, I don't Do as it stands, know? but I mean okay, not at okay. the moment. No, not maybe they meant he, maybe they meant he needs it if it's to go in his fridge. Maybe. Well, um, which I, I well, I was about to say that's fair, but I don't know if I agree with that. Well, we could have another long debate if you want. No. <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. Um, and the other answer is I have no idea what this question's about, which is fair. No, you should be ashamed of yourself. Ooh, look at this. So, yeah. who would win in a fight? Grizzly bear or tiger? I, I hope they're aware that that's supposed uh, to be Siberian tiger. I yes. believe, right? And it's supposed to be a Kodiak Wait, bear. Is, 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 is that just a random question, or is that from an EFAB I'm not aware that's, of? That's, that's a that long discussion, right, yeah. that one. But yeah. 75, oh, okay. 77.5% believe the grizzly bear wins. Yeah, I mean, they 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 probably are right. <laughs> like, I would imagine. You just, you no, were mainly... I, I either could take it. Whoever gets the first strike in takes it. I I keep... I do insist that, like, if, if the strike. tiger gets the first strike, it has a really good chance. But if it doesn't, then the, the bear's got it. Like, that's mm. that's kind of how it works in this well, situation. Whichever creature has the first strike, really, is, is has the best chance, easily. Well, so, the reason why I bring it up is that the the... The bear doesn't need to get the first strike, it just needs to survive the first strike, at which point it wins, just by default. That's because a lot of people want us to take into account that bears are tanky as hell. Um, tigers Massive. less so. Well, and also, apparently they just have better endurance than, uh, than tigers. Tigers are really good for a short amount of time. But um, If it was a black bear, I think it would be a... Oh, if it's a black bear, I think it's a black bear. Oh. Grizzlies can kill moose. So that's. I mean, I know yeah, a moose is me. a moose is not me. a moose is me. not a, a predator, but I think uh, you know moose is one of the most dangerous animals. Uh, uh, is that true? Predator. Yeah. <laughs> really? Huh? Yeah, they are. They're extreme. Yeah, in in some areas, they're treated as being more dangerous than even the bears, um, because like uh, um, when they get angry, they they ah. they have no fear of almost anything. They will charge right. at you, and they will try to kill you. And they are extremely, it. extremely dangerous. That seems to be like the they, like they're, they're animal, have... isn't it? Like, the ones that aren't afraid of humans are the ones you need to be worried about. Like, polar bears aren't afraid of humans. Well, I mean, mm. yeah. I mean, dragons. but the thing is, is like, moose are not even <laughs> yes, afraid dragons. of predators. Like, they will attack well, predators. Well, they're not afraid of humans. Yeah, but they eat grass, so beta. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, cringe. I don't know if worms are afraid of humans. Someone said, I was, I was there. Someone said I, I was there for that debate. I don't remember that at all. I don't Is even know. Afraid of humans? <laughs> we, I'm, blocked it let out. Let us Adam. kill this debate in the cradle right now. That was not a cradle kill. That was like a teenager That's... who killed. Well, Wait, I'm murdering stepping... it. I'm snapping its neck. I'm throwing the, <laughs> the skeleton in Why? the fucking bin. Are you going to tell that Why to is its it neck? A... Why is it yes. skeleton already? He just killed it. <laughs> I'm gonna tell that to the teenager that bait snaps neck. Tell that to the moose's snap neck. <laughs> as as yeah. Jay just explained, it's meese. The meese's snap meese? neck. Is it meese? So that would be if it was more than one moose. I want it to be meese all the time. If it's more than if it's more than one group of moose, it's meese. Is yeah. that is that true or is that a moose. that sounds like a meme, but is it true? Yes. I made it meese. up, but it could also meese. coincidentally. Well, that's what I was, true. Jay made it up. <laughs> if it's made up, I want credit to go to the Jay for me. It's okay, it's important to me. Do you remember when Twix versus Reese's Pieces was going to be the new Halloween versus Christmas question? And the responses are uh, only now that you brought it up. I didn't know this was a thing, and I remember that. I vaguely remember that. Yeah. I don't even think I remember. I'm 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 fine with them both. Some... I can't remember what I said at the time. I think I would have gone Reese's, with Reese's, I, but I like someone them both. asked me, and I said Reese's pieces are not very common in Germany at the time, so I couldn't really <laughs> comment. But by now, you get all these Reese's pieces, fake or, or the fake ones. Even you get them here uh, everywhere now. So, mm. um, and that and that so. is it because the last question everyone answered. Uh, is Man of Steel a well-written movie? God, if you if you gripes with it or in the writing or special effects, it could probably be better. I think there's a lot of interesting <laughs> stuff in there. It's not the best written movie. Do you guys know Lemmy? Mm -hmm. Pretty good answer. Lemmy. Uh, yeah. And that's it. That is the survey. That was a, that was a long yeah, survey. survey. I can't wait to hear porn. 
Yeah, please pull and pull, 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 pull. Waves have come oh. now on my face. Do it. What? I can't believe they put a whole debate for adaption in this survey. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I read it all out. I did the voice. <laughs> I was going to say, I think they've had every form of coverage now on this anniversary. We did all of the things we've ever done. The memes were covered. Mm -hmm. There was a debate. We did obviously loads of video coverage, lots of regular known guests. And I think the only thing left is porn. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so out of curiosity, Voxus, what is, what is the word length of the one you've got for us today? I'm assuming you have one. Um, let's have a look. Let me get my reading glasses. Um, <laughs> I believe this one, I, I got a special one for you. Oh my. <gasps> Because uh, Chuck has branched out into all sorts of crazy stories, as you know. <laughs> and I've read uh, some of them. For those of you who are not familiar, it's become a bit of a tradition that I just show up on EFAP and read the weirdest gay uh, erotica imaginable, written by a Dr. Chuck Tingle, although his credentials are questionable. Um, <laughs> but he does uh, very strange stories. Uh, recently, he's branched out into doing classic English literature and putting a tingle twist on it. So you've got things like Moby Butt and I have no <laughs> butt and I must pound. So no disability uh, theme there. Moby um, Butt is almost better. It's like it's almost cleaner <laughs> than the original. Uh, uh, I've, I've already Moby read butt. Moby Butt on, on when I've, I, I've started doing streaming as well. Mental. Um, and uh, so he hasn't done many film-related ones, because if you remember last year, we had uh, the Ant-Man and Thanos um, butt sex escapades, an Avengers-themed one. Um, so Ooh. the closest I got was a Godzilla Kong three-way homo sex uh, epic. <laughs> you didn't have to get me anything. 200 me. words of pure man on lizard on Bigfoot action. <laughs> So, for copyright reasons, uh, there is no Godzilla. It's a giant T Rex, and uh, Kong is a, a Bigfoot. Um, but it's the usual tingle uh, related stuff. So, I, I have that. If, if people are interested, I, oh, I don't know. Chat doesn't seem I, very interested. I love Godzilla. <laughs> and I love King Kong. So, I request this wholeheartedly. Okay. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm ready. I have some pizza here. I'm, I'm ready. Yeah. I, I, I'd hold off on the pizza. <laughs> You want an empty stomach? It's, it's, Don't underestimate my powers. He has a bucket. It'll be fine. <laughs> bucket of cum. Ew. Ew. Unprepared. <laughs> All right, then. If there's no objections. <laughs> Does anyone these, things these, these things normally have a bit too much cum in them for me. <laughs> this uh, is my kingdom cum. This, this is going to have double cum. All right. Well, if everyone is situated and ready... Is everyone right. ready in chat? Okay, gather round, and I shall tell you a tale. This is King Dong versus Dongzilla. Rumble in my butthole. Here we go. Is everyone ready? Do this. Get my cup of tea. I mean, what would porn be without a cup of tea? Yeah, I, I find that makes it fancier, you know, a, a Budweiser makes it a bit scummy, but a cup of tea or a fine Chardonnay really goes well with your pornography. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -mm. yeah. Okay, smoke them if you got them. Crack open a can and get ready. <laughs> um, for those of you who are underage as well, you, you might want to cover your ears. A lot of bad language. A lot of bad language. Mm-hmm. Okay. And, uh, and, and for some of the ladies watching as well, this story is so <laughs> sexually potent, you might get pregnant just listening to it. So fair warning, fair warning. Oh, no. Right. Yeah. All right, here we go. I really like hyping this up, building the tension. <laughs> Bit of foreplay. Bit of foreplay. Just don't, you know, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. All right, no fucking around. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, this is serious literature. Either mute your mics or, or be mature about, you know, gay I sex. Refuse. I refuse. Okay. That's not gonna happen. I will be not very mature, sir. I will appreciate the themes. <laughs> yes, yes. Cinematic. All right, here we go. Yeah, and you, you can't adapt this to the big screen, that's for sure. 
Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you could try though. <laughs> as long as it's faithful. It has to be. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I think uh, you might need an IMAX screen. <laughs> Needs 40, to be very 40x with, dildo, with their dildos on the seat. I fucking hate yeah, 40x. Exactly. They just make it even worse for me. Anyway, <laughs> let's begin. <clears throat> okay, here we go. I'm ready. Chapter one. There is only one chapter, so don't worry. Oh. <clears throat> I'm trying my hardest to relax, which is pretty ironic when you think about it. For most people, Taking it easy comes simple enough, and after a long day of work, these folks have no problem collapsing into a comfortable chair and chilling out with a cold glass of chocolate milk. I wish I could do that, but the habit eludes me. Even out here in the middle of nowhere, toes in the sand, as I gaze out across the brilliant blue ocean, I can't seem to stop thinking about work. The whole point of this vacation was to turn my mind off, but it seems my own brain is my favourite pastime. I'm always thinking, always investigating, and no tropical island vacation is going to stop that. You see that lizard, I question, pointing over towards a nearby palm tree? My friend and vacation partner, Miller, lows, lowers her glasses, sitting up a bit as she gazes towards a small patch of lush vegetation. Yeah, what about it, she asks. This island is the only place in the world where that lizard exists, I continue. Those three horns on its head are woefully unique. Sorry, wholly unique. Wonderful. My friend lets out a long sigh and leans back into her chair once more, gazing up at the sun above. She's not interested in the lizard, apparently. Cooper, that sounds like work talk, she retorts. Just observing, I counter. You're a biologist, she continues. Isn't it your job to observe animals that are unique to certain habitats? I hesitate. Yeah, I finally reply. Fine, you're right. It's still a cool lizard. Miller shakes her head. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to look out for you. You said you didn't want any work talk during this trip, so I'm trying to hold you to that for your own good. If you want to tell me about the lizards, then it's fine. The awkward position I've put my friend in is not lost on me. When we set out for this long weekend on the Pacific Ocean, it was specifically framed as a way to turn off our brains and enjoy a few moments of peace. This is wonderful in theory, but the problem I'm quickly encountering is that I don't hate my job. Is it overwhelming and exhausting, and does it take up way too much of my time? Sure. But I don't hate it. To tell you the truth, observing unique changes based on habitat and external stimulus is utterly fascinating, whether or not I'm getting paid for it. Are you sure, I question, double-checking with Miller before I let loose another diatribe about this cute little lizard. Do your worst, she finally replies. Well, that third horn and the extra claws on its back legs are very specific to this location. In fact, you can see similar abnormalities in the birds on the island, even a few species of fish. That's not the interesting part, though. There are plenty of islands that host unique trait variants, but very few of them occur within the last 60 years, I explain. Do you know what happened 60 years ago? Miller shakes her head. What happened? I point towards the glorious oceanscape before us. If you were gazing out there 60 years ago today, your eyes would be melted right out of your head. This was a nuclear test site. The evolution seen on this island is not natural. It's a man-made mutation. Miller yes. nods, her expression gradually shifting into one of vague curiosity. So, some of them have sharp horns or extra claws, what else? I shrug. It could be any number of things. Sometimes creatures develop tails or additional limbs or grow to incredible sizes. You can see where this is going. Mm. The second that I say this, a deep and powerful tremor rumbles through the beach. Miller and I grab a hold of the chairs below us, as though that might somehow stop these powerful quakes. What the hell was that, I blurt? Volcano? 
My friend and I glance back at the island behind us, searching for any signs of smoke above the tropical tree line. There's nothing unusual to be found, but when our gaze returns to the vast ocean, I'm immediately confused. Was that island there before? I wonder aloud. Miller's staring quietly, her mind flooded with similar questions as we struggle to understand this newly formed landmass. We've been enjoying this view for days now, and an entirely new feature is more than a little shocking. The two of us rise to our feet, staring out at the water in shock and confusion. Gradually, however, our emotions transition. Oh, hang on. Uh, sorry, someone distracted me in Discord. <clears throat> Da, da, da. Yes, sorry. Miller's staring, uh, oh, fucking hell. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> sorry. Distracted. <clears throat> Miller's staring quietly, her mind flooded with similar questions as we struggle to understand this newly formed landmass. We've been enjoying this view for days now, and an entirely new feature is more than a little shocking. The two of us rise to our feet, staring out at the water in shock and confusion. Gradually, however, our emotions transition into something more visceral, a deep and powerful fear. The island is moving towards us, and in a matter of seconds it becomes all too clear that this is not an island at all. Oh my god, I blurt, the words falling out of my mouth with a dull thud. My mind is screaming at my body to run, but for some reason I can't force myself to actually perform this simple action. I'm locked in a state of dumbfounded fear as an enormous reptilian creature rises out of the water, a Tyrannosaurus Rex variant that is at least 40 times the normal size. I gaze up at the creature as its shadows, as its shadow envelops, uh, as its shadow envelops me. The enormous beast is holding its head in its hands. Ah, oh, man, the giant lizard groans. I'm so tired. <laughs> How long was I asleep for? The creature staggers a bit, causing my heart to skip a beat as his giant foot flies over me and slams down just a few yards away. He crushes a handful of palm trees under his weight. Uh, I've got to find some morning chocolate milk, the enormous lizard continues with a groggy croak. Gazing up at him, I can't help but find myself both terrified and attracted to this massive T-Rex. On one hand, he seems disorientated enough to do some real damage. He's only taken out a few trees on the beach so far, but there's a city just a mile or two inland, and who knows what could happen if he makes it there before gathering his senses. One wrong step could be fatal. On the other hand, it's not like he's doing this on purpose. The lizard is just confused, and I'm trying not to hold that against him. A species of T-Rex this large could hibernate for decades and have a very difficult time understanding the world around them after waking up. Regardless, there's no denying just how handsome this gigantic T-Rex is, featuring a perfectly sculpted body, a kind smile, and of course, he's tall. I'm also shocked at the incredible size of his member, which swings so low it could destroy a city in its own right. <laughs> the enormous lizard stumbles again, his giant foot swinging over the top of me. Cooper, let's go, my friend cries out, breaking through my trance. Finally, my body springs into action, following the commands of my brain as the two of us take off running. It's hard to predict where the massive creature above us will step, but we do our best to avoid the shadows and steer clear of his giant hanging dong. My friend and I sprint up the beach trail and find ourselves on a long stretch of road. Here, a few cars have already been smashed, flattened like tin cans under the footsteps of the behemoth creature. I'm horrified to think about what might have happened to the people stuck inside these vehicles, but breathe a sigh of relief when I see a couple on the side of the road who narrowly escaped. They're clearly shaken up, but at least they're still alive. It appears the giant lizard has wandered off for a moment, so we stop here to catch our breath and regroup. The moment doesn't last long, however. What the hell, Miller blurts, pointing over my shoulder. I turn around to see that in all the chaos and commotion, a helicopter has landed nearby. The vehicle's blades are still spinning as a man in a suit runs towards us, a deeply concerned look on his face. Cooper Gleams, the man asks. Uh, yeah, I stammer, utterly shocked. I'm Agent Rimbo. 
Your work said that we'd find you here, the man continues. I'm sorry to interrupt your vacation time, but you and your friend need to come with us. I exchange glances with Miller, who shrugs in return. The next thing I know, we're running back towards the helicopter, powerful wind blowing in our faces as we climb aboard the craft. Moments later, it's taking off into the air, blowing back the lush vegetation as it climbs higher and higher. As we lift above the tree line, we're treated to a clear view of this enormous lizard. He's staggering around in another cove, still trying to collect his bearings and leaving a horrific path of destruction in his wake. Dongzilla, Agent Rimbo says, his eyes locked firmly on the monster. Wait, what? I blurt. You know what that thing is? A man in the suit nods. We've known it was down there under the ocean for a while, sleeping, waiting. We didn't know if the T-Rex would ever wake up or what kind of mood he'd be in when he did. Seems we're lucky in some respects. The monster is not angry, just confused. He needs his morning chocolate milk, I retort. I heard him say that. The man in the suit nods. Unfortunately, there's not enough chocolate milk in the world to bring Dongzilla out of a groggy, semi-hibernation state. So, you wait for him to get over it on his own, I question? By then the entire island will be destroyed. There's hundreds of thousands of people in the city. Well, there is one other option, the man in the suit offers. That's why we came to pick you up. Why me, I stammer. I'm just a biologist. You're the biologist, Rain Agent Rimbo replies. You understand these rare species better than anyone. So I want you to be the one who does the talking. When we go to King Dong and ask him to step in. My eyes go wide. King Dong, I repeat back, the world's biggest Bigfoot. That's correct, Agent Rimbo confirms. He's been out of the public eye for a while now, and he's generally pretty grumpy. If we come at this the wrong way, then he's not going to help. We need someone who can talk to King Dong and get him to stop Dongzilla. I take a moment to think about this. Of course I want to help, and the fate of this island hangs in the balance, but I have doubts about my capability. I'm just a nobody in the face of these literal giants. Why would they ever listen to me? Suddenly a familiar hand is on my shoulder. I turn to see Miller sitting next to me, turned in to the powerful emotions that are swimming through my mind. She knows that I'm worried. You've got this, my friend says. My first instinct is to reject these kind words, but before I get a chance to deflect, I alter course. If my friend believes in me, then I should be able to believe in myself. I turn back to Agent Rimbo. Okay, I'll talk to King Dong, I reply. Just in time, he retorts. We're here. I glance up to see we've travelled halfway across the island by now. The helicopter approaches an enormous mountain range, heading directly towards the mouth of a giant cave that's been hollowed out in the side of the rocky cliff face. After a brief moment in the limelight, during the 1980s, King Dong came to this island to retire. Since then, very little has been seen of the enormous Bigfoot, other than a few paparazzi shots of him hitting the links at a nearby golf course. I would have never imagined meeting him in person. Our helicopter lands within the mouth of the cave, and the blades slowly come to a stop. I climb out of the vehicle and gaze up at the vast enormity of this dark cavern, amazed at its sheer size, but also the fact it remains so hidden and tucked away. The ground beneath me starts to rumble, enormous footsteps approaching the group. The others instinctively pull back, hiding near the chopper in case a quick getaway is necessary, but I take the exact opposite approach. I step forward, greeting the creature with as much confidence as I can muster. I was chosen to do this for a reason, and I'll put my faith in that. A gargantuan Bigfoot rounds the corner of the cavern, shaking my aforementioned self-assurance to its very core. Still, I hold strong, refusing to show fear in the face of this massive beast. What's up? King Don questions, a little irritated. You guys setting off more bomb tests out there, or what? Uh, no, I stammer. What do you mean? I was taking a nap, nor that shaking woke me up, the enormous Bigfoot offers. I figured it was you. Actually, there's a giant lizard named Dongzilla who's raising hell, I explain. That's why we're here. Dongzilla seems a little confused after waking up from his hibernation. We figured you could have a talk with him. The enormous Bigfoot gazes down at me, furrowing his brow. And who are you? My name's Cooper, I reply. I'm a biologist. King Dong laughs. A biologist? What am I, some kind of animal? I'm just a Bigfoot. Do you realize how insulting it is to send a biologist? I hadn't really considered that, I reply. I, I suppose you're right. 
The enormous Bigfoot lets out a long sigh. It's fine, it's fine. Listen, I'm not all that happy about you guys coming to my cave and insulting me like this, but the stomping around has got to stop. I'll help you out. The gang immediately erupts in cheers and applause. King Tong lowers his hand down to me. You've got to help, though, he states firmly. I climb up into the massive creature's palm. I thought it was insulting to bring a biologist along. Well, you're a very charming biologist, King Tong replies with a wink. A wave of arousal immediately surges through me. I have to admit, once I got over just how massive this Bigfoot was, I started to recognize his innate attractiveness. He's incredibly handsome, and he wears his confidence well. I just never thought he'd see anything in me. Now I'm starting to think he actually might. The enormous Bigfoot lifts me up and places me on his shoulder. All right, where's this giant lizard? We glance over at Agent Rimbo. He's heading towards the golf course, the agent calls out. King Dong immediately tenses up. Oh, fuck! Let's go! The next thing I know, we're climbing down from the cliffside with incredible speed and grace, then making our way through the jungle. Of course, Thu is probably the worst car... Is, uh, of course, Thu is probably the wrong word. King Dong is so enormous that we actually... We're actually travelling over the trees, their lush green tips barely reaching his knees. Of course, King Dong's massive rod is so large that he might need to worry about banging it along the way. From my position on his shoulder, I can see that the handsome Bigfoot is much more careful than Dongzilla, taking his time and trying his best not to crush anything important beneath his massive feet. I keep expecting these cross-island journeys to take a while, but King Dong is so large that it's only a minute or two before Dongzilla comes into view. The enormous T-Rex is still wobbling back and forth, drawing dangerously close to the island's main city. There he is, I cry out, pointing towards Dongzilla. King Dong sees him, immediately shaking his head from side to side in disappointment. Hey! The Bigfoot calls out. Where the hell's going on over there? This deep rumbling vocalization immediately causes Dongzilla to perk up and glance over in our direction, his expression one of deep ache and confusion. Hey, he's just trying to find some chocolate milk for a pick-me-up, the massive lizard explains. I'm super out of it. Uh, maybe we can be super out of it away from the city, King Dong offers. I'm sure it's hard to get started after hibernating under the ocean for so long, but you've got to be safe. Dongzilla is still swaying from side to side a bit, but the movement of his feet has ceased. He lets out a long sigh, then starts to walk in another direction before King Dong yells out to stop him yet again. Not that way, the massive Bigfoot continues. The golf course is over there. King Dong approaches and places his hand on Dongzilla's shoulder in a gesture of comfort and companionship. Soon enough, we're headed off into the jungle, away from anyone who might accidentally end up beneath the feet of these enormous creatures. King Dong is smartly leading us to a vacant side of the island, tucked away behind another mountainside. Eventually we stop. Listen, there's not enough chocolate milk to perk you up, King Dong explains. You're too big. It's going to take some time, but you'll naturally pull it together. You're right, Dong Zilla replies. Hey, sorry about that. I just wish... There is a fast away. A little morning sex usually does the trick, but... My now ex flew away last week. Flew away? King Dong questions. Dongzilla nods. He was an enormous prehistoric moth. Oh, okay, King Dong replies. Suddenly all three of us plunge into an awkward silence. It appears we're all thinking the same thing, but... Nobody wants to say it out loud. As a biologist, I'm well aware that many behavior patterns trace back to sex. It's one of the main engines that keeps us puttering along through this world. And it's no wonder that after all this time hibernating, the second thing Dongzilla considers doing to perk him up is find a good fuck. Once again, I realize there's a reason I was chosen for this mission. I may not be the size of these behemoth creatures, but I have a huge heart. And an insatiable ass. I think I may be able to help you with that, I offer Dongzilla with a mischievous smile. 
The massive creature may be a little groggy during his pre-chocolate milk morning routine, but he has no pr problem picking up what I'm putting down. Immediately, the giant lizard raises a flirtatious eyebrow. I like the sound of that, he cools. Me too, offers King Dong, chiming in. Not a bad way to start the day. Suddenly, King Dong and Dongzilla are kissing one another passionately, their hands roaming one another's bodies enthusiastically. From my place on King Dong's shoulder, I have no problem running over and joining the fun. The f three of us making out with reckless abandon. We continue like this for a while as the massive creatures learn the topography of one another's bodies, their giant hands starting at each other's chest and abs then making their way lower and lower. While I'm too small to participate, I've got an incredible view as I lean over the edge of King Dong's shoulder. From up here, I can see that cocks have swollen into massive rockets of flesh projecting away from their bodies at full attention. The flaccid, side of ki the flaccid size of King Dong and Dongzilla was already impressive enough, but now that they're fully engorged, I can't take my eyes off them. Their massive cocks bump and grind against one another, playfully sword-fighting in a glorious erotic display. Finally, I just can't take it anymore. I love to watch, but my desire for participation has overwhelmed me completely. Bring me down there, I whisper into King Dong's ear. I want to stroke you off. The enormous Bigfoot reaches up and takes me in his hand, gently lowering me down to their massive rods. I open my arms wide and wrap myself around the creature's member, hanging on tight while he groans loudly. I'm sitting on top of his dick so as not to fall off and plummet to my death. And from here, I can actually reach out and touch Dongzilla's enormous member as well. Unfortunately, I can't pump myself across their lengths very easily. But the massive lizard solves this problem by reaching down and carefully taking me between his fingers. Soon enough, the T-Rex is pumping me across his length. And as though, as though I'm some kind of sentient sex toy... My entire body, a warm sheath for both of them to enjoy. The two giant monsters are groaning loudly, clearly having the time of their lives as the erotic tension builds between them. Of course, they're not the only ones with powerful, erotic feelings blossoming up from deep within. With every pulse of my frame across their shafts, I can feel my cock aching for more. I'm rock hard, pressed against the flesh of their enormous members and sensing the friction across my entire form. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, I start to groan, my rod starting to twitch as I'm flooded with escalating sensation. I can feel the first trembling hints of orgasm as they blossom in the pit of my stomach, spilling out across my body. With every passing second, these carnal feelings grow, filling me completely. I realize now that I could come at any second, and this thought sends a wave of alarm and fear crashing through my consciousness. As wonderful as it sounds, to orgasm right here and now, we've only just begun this hardcore encounter. There's one thing in particular I'd like to try before our sexual roller coaster comes to an end. Wait! I cry out. The massive creature stops, staring down at me. I want you to fuck me in the ass, I demand. At the same time! King Dong and Dongzilla exchange sceptical glances. I'm not sure if you can take it, Dongzilla offers apologetically. As good as that sounds, it might not be in the cards. Oh, I can take it, I reply. Just you wait. Dongzilla shrugs, then reaches down and takes me in his scaly green hand. He carefully holds me upright as the enormous creature lays down onto his back, crashing an entire swathe of forest in his wake. Once in position, he places me on top of his stomach. Behind me, the monster's utterly enormous member waits, rock hard and ready for action. Trembling with excitement, I strip out of my clothing and toss it to the side, my fully nude form exposed to the warm island air. I can see Dongzilla's cock throb with excitement as he gets a good look at my body, and I use this moment to sway my hips from side to side for him, showing off. Once again, I'm good and ready. I climb down onto my hands and knees in the doggy-style position. I begin to back myself up towards the massive lizard's aching member, hesitating when I feel him pushing against the puckered rim of my back door. Now it's time to relax, I think. 
closing my eyes and letting go of any tension that I might still hold from earlier in the day. I take a deep breath and let it out, focusing on the moment, then move backwards a little more. I let out a startled yelp as Dongzilla's cock enters me, stretching my body to its absolute limits. I'm completely full, stuffed to the brim across the reptilian's giant enormous cock. It takes a moment for me to adjust to his size, and during this time, we don't move a muscle. Eventually, however, the two of us start to grind against one another, rocking our bodies as the aching fullness engulfs me. It's not long before Dongzilla and I have found a steady rhythm. The two of us hammering away as the sensation of pleasure spilled through my nervous system. I'm so caught up in the moment that I barely notice King Dong climbing down into position behind me. It's only when his gigantic shadow blocks out the sun that I turn around to see him aligning his rod at the en entrance of my already filled back door. Do it, I snarl. Double fuck my ass with those giant dicks of yours. King Dong doesn't need to be told twice, slamming forward and impaling me across his member in the glorious double anal penetration. King Dong and Dongzilla immediately fall into sync with one another, pushing in and out of my body like a well-oiled machine. This could have easily turned into a competition for King of the Monsters, but the rumble in my butthole is a decidedly team effort. We're all committed to providing each other with most pleasure as possible. Oh my god, oh my god, I start repeating over and over again, the words falling out of my mouth in blissful mantra as the beasts continue slamming into me. As King Dong and Dongzilla hammer away at my prostate, I reach down and grab a hold of my swollen cock. I start to beat myself off in time with their powerful thrusts, the ache within me growing larger and larger until I just can't take it anymore. I throw my head back and let out a frantic howl as hot white jizz erupts from the head of my cock, splattering across... Dongzilla's lime green chest. It appears the massive creatures are on a similar timeline because seconds later they're erupting with orgasms of their own. Oh fuck, I'm gonna come! King Dong cries out. The enormous Bigfoot pushes into me and holds, expelling a massive torrent of spunk. His seed is much more than my ass can take, and soon enough, it's squirting out from the edge of my tightly packed rim. Godzilla comes next, thrusting deep and blasting me full of his own milky payload. The spunk from this giant Bigfoot and enormous T-Rex swirls within me, a creamy cocktail of that spills everywhere when the two of them pull out of my ass. I collapse onto Dongzilla's stomach while King Dong takes a seat next to us, catching his breath. Dongzilla sits up a bit, careful not to knock me off. I feel great, the massive reptile offers. Yeah, uh, sorry about earlier, I wasn't quite myself. Mornings can be like that, I reply empathically. Now that everything's sorted, let's see if we can spend a little time rebuilding what was destroyed. Dongzilla nods. I'd be happy to. You know, I came to this island to focus on something other than work. I think this definitely qualifies, <laughs> I say with a laugh. You're a biologist, King Dong interjects. Sex is a big part of biology. I guess you're right, I concede. The difference is this. Normally I'm thinking about the why, and for a while there, was, there I was just letting it happen. That's called being present, King Dong offers. It's okay to consider the why, of course, but sometimes you just need to enjoy the moment. It's all about balance, Dongzilla chimes in. These parts of our lives don't need to be at odds with each other. It might be your first instinct to see them as two sides of a battle, but they can also exist in harmony. You might be surprised at how nice it is. Like King Dong and Dongzilla, I reply with a smile. Some say that love is the soul of books. And what better way to show a little love than... Oh, sorry. I'm going to see the next story. <laughs> that was it. That was it. That was it. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was hot. So is that, wow. Is, wow. That, is that a part of a saga, then? With all these big movie monsters? Zooming? Like, is this and... the monster cinematic universe? Yeah. I mean, they've... It was a good story. It was a good story, but it was a bad adaptation. I would agree with that. <laughs> Fucking hell. Shut up. I don't remember any of that shit happening, but where's Rodan? I need him. Rodan. Rodan. Oh. I want to see what Rodan does with the. Uh... 
Dongzilla spank down. You're getting a... I like that it tried to have a lesson that we all could learn at the end. That was nice. I, like I said, I was in it for the themes. Like, yes, there are <laughs> other portions that some people may find disturbing, but I, I, you know, I'm gunning for what I appreciate the most about family. Mm. That's what's so powerful about it. The wholesome um, tale of connection, I think. Yes, I on. think you need that after all the infighting over adaptations. See? Yeah. You should all be present. And just enjoy things. Let's not, let, let's not get bogged down with the details. It's EFAP 150. Let's have fun. Mm. Well, I mean, well, speaking of which, we've fun. still got to kill. Murder, if you will. Another 20 to 30-ish minutes. So I oh, figure we could, we could see some... We got, I, got, I got a few more... A few more EFAP meme videos. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, um, you know, if, if, if ever, everyone's either, I don't know if everyone's still here or if they're just blown away by that story. You got a bit of a standing ovation right. from chat there. They were clapping. They were very, they thought it was incredible work, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I want to <laughs> there's a There's a compli there's lots of reactions in chat. I wouldn't want to summarize them, uh, <sighs> you know, incorrectly. Mm -hmm. Passionate. Well, what was the was first reaction? First, I, I, um, yeah, I think I think <laughs> the original, I, the prime reaction. It could have been the Varus face of disgust, but it could also have been the the Coom face. Reaction. Have you seen the Coom emoji? Um, where it's like a sweating oh, okay. emoji. I don't know what it's called. Jay, you would know. Oh, oh, you mean uh, the sweat? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I don't remember. Up. It's not. It's not just no, not that. Though it's it's like a red emo. It's it's a emoji that's like clearly got like almost like a heat rash. Chat, just post it. it, and then be like, there it is. Um, oh, oh, oh. You mean like normal? They'll be sweating, <laughs> would it not? What is that one called? Is it Kuma? <laughs> Overheating. Heat? Maybe. Overheating because it looks like he's boiling up. Yeah, that was, something's funny. Autoerotic asphyxiation in oh. a sauna. Look at it's called yes. Hot Face. Nice. Hot Face, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. See, lots of hot faces in chat. And, you know, you, that's interpretable. That's interpretable. Why am I? Why am I the, your go to person to know that? <laughs> why would you ask that question? Come on. <laughs> I, I understand. I don't understand why I would know Hot Face emoji. I'm offended so that people. you would even ask why. So anyway, if you're if you're all in this little this little room, we can we can check out a few other videos that'll probably lead us up to the the finale, the end of EFAP mm. 150. Um, I don't know how many have metal die in them, but we'll we'll try and choose them based on that. Yeah, no, hey. <laughs> this one's called Metal tries to give a speech. EFAP anniversary oh. special. I'm not aware of that one. I'm excited. Don't let me stop you, Metal. Keep going. Don't let me get in the way of you letting loose all of your opinions stop playing for me. out onto the pod. Me neither. Is it not for any of you? You know what? Let me reset no, the room. playing it for is... me. Oh. Oh, wait. Stuff's supposed to be playing? Yeah, there's nothing playing. Well, open it in an incognito tab. That usually fixes it for me. Um, I mean, I can make a new room anyway. So this, one's, this one's old, you know? Yeah. It's stanky. All There's all corpses in there now. <laughs> Stanking up the room. We wouldn't want that. Da, da, da. Fucking gross. And you know what? Well, well, this one. Let's I see. was muted. It'll be so fresh. Oh boy. Welcome to to watch together version two. You know, we use the same one for most oh, of the streams. So I'm impressed. Rags, we I have approximately know. about twenty minutes left before we hit the timer. I, so I was I was here for all of that, but I was muted and I didn't know. Oh, you <laughs> prove it. Where did Longzilla put his Dongle Kong? In, in, <laughs> in the biologist's ass. Oh my god. It's true. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> All of it's true. He said we had about 20, 30 minutes to kill and that the room wasn't working and it wasn't working for me either. So Well yeah, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't I didn't actually listen to this. Someone in chat <laughs> said like rags muted or rags something, and so I was like, No, I'm here, I've been talking this whole time. He's like, oh, <laughs> oh. That's, now I'm now I'm sad. Oh shit, everyone's already in? Wow. I've never okay. Well yeah. good. Uh, let's see if we're this that, that let, does this video show up for you guys or is it still Yes. Oh, oh yes. Yes. Yeah, Excellent. there we go. Alrighty then. Yeah, I'm at the Wait, I don't see it. Yeah, this one. God All damn right. it! Wait, is that true? Do you not see it? Oh. 
No, I don't. Oh, you're in the other room. Uh, we, we're in a different room. Wow, now. Cap, what are you doing? Oh, I'm, I see it. I see it. Useless. All right, yeah, so this one's called Metal Tries to Give a Speech. Person, okay, Metal Tries to Give a Speech. Ooh. All right. Uh, don't let me stop you, Metal. Keep going. Don't <laughs> let me oh. get in the way of you letting loose all of your opinions out onto the podcast. Just keep on going. Say what you need to say. Leave no stone unturned. Leave no opinion unspoken. You go ahead. So, off you go. Say it. Do it. You got this. <clears throat> See the face that my. I am it Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> How were they able to get this audio from you, Metal? <laughs> uh, that was requested. It was very hard. Mm. Oh no! <sighs> I'm very proud. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty neat. That actually, that all happened. It, well, that's not like some meme or anything. That's that's just on stage. You never yeah. know. Audio from some guy in World War Two. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I, I was very, uh, very angry when that happened. I was very distraught. Yeah, that's right. Stop. I noticed the um, you have the green body again. You got that, yeah, uh, that frog yeah, body. Yeah. Bod. yeah, yeah, you got Gorgeous. the frog bod. We got a uh, Mola and Gary's Twilight experience. Twilight ruined oh. vampires for me because I just kind of zoned out while, out while I was in the theater and just kind of laughed at it. Oh, it you went funny. to the theater and saw those. <laughs> 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 I'm the world's most dangerous predator. Everything about me invites you in. <laughs> my voice, my face, even my Shouldn't make fun wow. of Twilight. They are great movies. I'm sorry, I let this go. Oh my so God! Long. Please, don't. Fucking fuck that shit. <laughs> fuck it right in its ear hole. Oh no! Oh, my oh God. no! <laughs> <laughs> Were you at a Dark Knight Rises screening? I Joel's funny about that one is me and my dad went to see a different movie. We'd fucked up the times. We're an hour late, so we decided to see something else because we couldn't wait. And uh, all I knew, I was such a naive little boy. I was like, ah, oh, I love me some vampires. Underworld, Buffy, Blade. <laughs> What's the synopsis? It's like a town with vampires and that this girl is getting targeted or something. And I was like, oh, yeah, okay. That's, that's all right. And when they started sparkling in that cinema, I was like, <laughs> yeah. And even my dad was like, this uh, this is a bit. Tenderly, <laughs> son. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. He made vampires Poor sparkle, child. god damn it. <laughs> as soon as we start to sparkle. Fun, fun fact, my dad made exactly the same mistake. Really? <laughs> yeah. So, I'm starting uh, to think not, that your not, guys not just have gay dads. <laughs> but um as in my so he he just bought um he, he just bought came home from oneself saying, I've got a cool film for us to watch. And he like brings out a Twilight DVD. I'm like, okay, where's this going? I'm I'm ready for there to be like the joke. It's like, Dad, why do you have a Twilight DVD? He goes, well, it's a cool film. I thought we could watch it. I'm like, um, do you know what it's about? And he's like, yeah, it's a Adopted, it's a vampire right? movie. <laughs> he's just like, <laughs> he just somehow he managed to acquire a Twilight DVD, and at no point the information of like the tone or the actual like. The actual story had uh, had had penetrated his brain. He just thought it was a cool vampire flick, cool mm. and popular yeah. vampire flick. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's fair enough. Well, it's an easy mistake. I mean, it to was. Make. It was very cool and very popular. It was popular. I think very so too. Cool and very popular. Yeah. This is called Lego EFAP Two: The Australia Argument. Oh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god. And I was chatting <laughs> with a UPS guy just the other oh. day, and he said, you know what, I love this <laughs> yeah, job. Yeah, that was Sam, he was shit. I guess that's shit. Yeah, yeah that was metal, time, yeah. I have to drive to Australia. You. It takes fucking forever, and it's just, it makes me want to quit. Those, those long tunnels under the ocean that they have to drive there to, which are actually just curves that lead you back to Europe because Australia isn't real. Because, man, I hate using those. Mm -hmm. It's just a boring trip, and I don't know, if the rest of the job wasn't so great, I'd quit.
We always give the new guys Australian oh, I like duty. the chat. He seems yep. very adamant mm -hmm. about Australia mm -hmm. duty being uh, kind of crap. Yeah, I think Stop signing him when we know that it was well, you. We will, we will, will sign, we will sign with the UPS the, man. There was, until... no, there was no UPS man. Do you understand? I don't know why Fringy delusion. is taking a poop on the working class. I was going to say, Fringy, why don't you believe in their experience. UPS wishes? Just... <laughs> you must, you must, you, you, you should check with the Frog Council <laughs> and they will tell you <laughs> what yeah. lies to say. Oh, you must go, oh mighty frog council, oh council of frogs, tell me, what must I say? That's, it'd be like ribbit, would be ribbity rubity. That's, well, that's the sound they make, that's not the action they make. <laughs> so when you describe them as hippity hoppity, that's okay, but when you oh, say, say no, that's down on doorways. Some of your neighbors let you know, me know about the problem, doorways, right? And assholes. you know, they get worried about Assholes you, okay? stand in they doorways. Really doorways are openings say, in the walls that are used really for the transversal of <laughs> those, those walls. It's you an architectural <laughs> structure that was not designed for you to not you egress and regress through them. Really weird, because your neighbors said that they saw you speaking to this non-existent UPS man. You were like, oh, hey, UPS man, how you doing? Oh, No, I did. I called him by his name. Suspicious. I, I mean, it is suspicious to talk to people who don't. So, so my neighbor, <laughs> what's his name? He would rather not have that disclosed. Which like? <laughs> is interesting because I only have one neighbor, and it's a woman. Oh. oh. <laughs> now now just... who's the fraud? Rubidy, rubidy. <laughs> oh, I don't want to get back. <laughs> 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 oh, I really like the chat on that. That was really too. great. I love the Lego stuff's really cool. That's a I really lot like of effort into that. Yeah, I love it. Um, I really like that. Like so you guys have been there. He goes, "Ribbity, ribbity." I go, "Please stop saying that." We can. I don't want to get banned. <laughs> Please stop saying that. <laughs> this this is a uh, again more surreal, but cerebral at the same time. It's called the Snyder oh. Wumbo. Is this real, bro? Oh no. <laughs> what happened to my arms? <laughs> you have little butterfly wigs. <laughs> <laughs> Do you plan on doing a breakdown of Zack Snyder's Justice League like TLJ and TFA? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, oh my. Rather kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> Yoda deaths. <laughs> Than going through fucking all of that film slowly. That's not. You got my take on it, okay? <laughs> I've already it's, done that. It's all there. It's dead. It's right. dead, okay? It's dead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have enjoy that. Uh, making that. I don't think. One ball. This is the end of the video. Go away now, or I will lose my life experience. Too verbally tear your head off. I don't know. Wiley call my wife to buy more. We know you Come yum, come yum, come yum, come yum, come yum. So that was an experience. I'm a bit confused. Someone took the time to make that. Yes, they did. I mean, you warned us that it was more cerebral. I did. That was the purpose of that. Yeah. This is this is cinema. And yes. And now I'm not going to read this one out. You have to appreciate how this all happens. Okay. This is it's edited. It's just it's just a conversation that was had on on a catch up, okay. and you know what? It's just yeah. Uh, you never answered the Teletubbies question, Mola. Oh yes. Well, I I don't know who the back what was it backyardsman or something. Back back. The backyardigans. Oh, that was it. I I can't help you. Yeah, I don't know who they are, so I can't guess. Those that had, the that was the one with the uh, Tyrone the Moose. There was like a, there was a poss, no, not a poss, sorry, a penguin. So that's cool. There's a penguin. That was cool. You Penguins are Austin, cool. Mm -hmm. But I don't remember Austin back yard against dead. Holy fuck. Why would, <laughs> why would that be popping up? Austin back yard against dead. Oh, that's the one. Yeah. He's a, oh, I think he's a kangaroo. You like that, what Fringy? The <laughs> yeah, he's a purple kangaroo. 
Oh, a purple kangaroo. Yeah. Okay. Here, let me show you. Let me show you. He's pretty. Yeah. Uh, he's, Please he's do. Pretty... I need to know yeah. about this. Those disgusting purple kangaroos. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! What the hell is that? That doesn't look like a kangaroo at all. Just because he's got the the ears and the tail. There are other features of kangaroos. Name three. Uh, the so the pouch would be the most obvious one. Do now um, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Do only the females have pouches? Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you're right Got about him. That. Yeah. In fact, that's that's almost that's almost certain. Yeah. Went from one out of three yes. now it back says, to zero out of three. It says yes. Okay, so, we're back to we're so, zero well, out no, of three. Well, okay, they are so. they are known for their pouches, but only females have pouches. I just googled it. All I have to do is ask, uh, do only female K, and it autofills it because Google knows right, what's you up. You defeated him in the marketplace of ideas. Okay, so I um, did. so <laughs> the, the next big thing would be, kangaroos have pretty distinctive arms. That's one, and legs. That's distinctive two. arms. Yeah, because the little ones up top yeah. are kind of smallish. They're smaller, but they're they're long enough to reach. They got like little T Rex arms. Yeah, and the big old have little T Rex arms. Big old jumping. And feet they got with the big old legs. The legs. They got chungus legs. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and... uh, did you know that male kangaroos their testicles are above their penis? <laughs> I didn't know that. That's yeah. something I, I don't. Something I know. And I, and I bet it's because you're it, not it, actually because they're... Right. Hold up. What? I just got an image of a kangaroo. It's clearly a male, and what formerly was bald now it's all starting to make sense. Because it's <laughs> look, I think it's what? because it, it's jumping around all the time, you know. And if you're jumping around, mm. they've got they're yeah. I mean, I mean, that, so I guess both male and female kangaroos have pouches. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I guess that makes sense if you're. <laughs> wow, the delay on that one. Yeah. <laughs> the sound to just... get from Australia to beat America. It's no, I was laughing at the fact. That... I was laughing at the fact that men have spat out his drink <laughs> because it was so funny. <laughs> So, uh, oh, I, I did you know that a young kangaroo is called a joey? Uh, I knew that. Yeah. Of course. What do you mean, of course? You didn't know about the ball thing. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know about the ball thing, because it's not really a particularly important thing. <laughs> neither, is, neither is knowing that a juvenile kangaroo is called a joey. But you know what's really cool is it says no. Here the reason why I that... know that they're called a joey is because in the scouts in Australia, at least the one that I was part of, the <laughs> joey was like you know when you're a kid, like before you join like the proper scouts. That was the name for them. Did you? What's so over here? Like the top rank is eagle. Over there is it like wallaby or koala? Are you? Are well, you wallaby like is, wallaby was second <laughs> up. So like you were a joey first, then you're a wallaby. You get to the point um, where you're eventually a know. huntsman. Ooh, ooh, no, you're a, uh, yeah, but you're, you're a Jaeger, right? Jaegermon. Yeah, when you're a man, you are dangerous. A, a, a Jaegerminch, right? <laughs> a hunter man. Uh, but oh, as I was saying, I, I mean, I what's know, really right? cool, this will be a, this will be a classic EFAP throwback, hmm. oh, is for the true fans, that Joey's are just, they're born about, just about an inch long. 2.5 centimeters oh, yeah, at yeah, birth, this one. or just about the size of a grape, which means <laughs> that a a kangaroo is basically a weird grape. You could say that. <laughs> That's a good reference. More like a jelly. Someone bean. asked, "Is <laughs> oh my goodness?" <laughs> okay, you're right there. <laughs> I don't know what, what the funny oh, is. What's, what's about dead. to happen? <laughs> oh no. I just oh, have what? to believe it because I can't speak. <laughs> oh my god, this is I'm, I'm having trouble articulating. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. It's balls above Wega Rank. <laughs> 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 oh <laughs> I, mean, I didn't even know what that bad 
this look like? <laughs> 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 I don't, I don't want to know. I can what would the badge look like? Played totally straight by everyone in the organization. You are now balls above Wang. <laughs> every, every strength of balls above. When someone questions, it's <laughs> oh no. You say the bulls above wag would hit? Uh, no, Two. because yeah. you're bouncing around, you're you're king crew. You're bouncing if around anything, all the time. It's probably more ergonomics to have the bulls oh, yeah. above wag. I mean if you're if you're jumping on everywhere, yeah, you don't want those things Oh my god. Oh my little fluffy tum tum hurts so bad. <laughs> <laughs> you probably won't be able but to was... put on stream, but like, here's it. Oh. There's actually you because it's you kind of cut out there yeah, for me. I thought cool. you said you won't be able to shit on stream, but <laughs> so <laughs> YouTube <laughs> has like YouTube has in graphic detail like draft horse breeding, so I think we're fine showing animal genitals. We don't have to though. Yeah, I'm gonna vote no on that one. So, <laughs> so like, if you start in scout, you start in scouts with balls below. Wang. <laughs> what the fuck? Did, you, did you see the little medals? You're, 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 you're a fucked up little Joey with your balls below your wing. <laughs> but one day, if you try really hard and work, you'll get to uh, balls above your wing. <laughs> Uh. That's how you establish dominance. Is how... <laughs> An interesting day. It's, uh, something. I'm glad I showed Man, up. Man, the is oh. kind of lost here. Uh. Uh. Oh, oh, oh. Good stuff. oh okay. Oh. <laughs> Man, it's a mean riot today, Jesus. Okay. Fun times. <laughs> <laughs> you are an Australian. Congratulations on 24 hours, by the way. Yeah. Oh we my actually, god, yeah. is it real? Is well, it true? Yeah. Wait, wasn't it? So it was 9 hours plus 8, 40 hours, which was... Well, well, Here's an, easier way to, like here's an easier way to do it, Mola. We started Look at, the at counter on 25 the, hours ago, me? and we took an hour collectively a break. So it's been 24 hours. Oh, I want to get it down to the minute. And I've got... It, it, they're all recorded on my end to actual numbers. Down like to the nanosecond. Yeah, you can't, you can't, oh, we thanks. can't get this wrong. It'll haunt us forever. So wait, if it was 840 plus 9, that was 17... 40, right? Which leaves 220 plus 4, 6, 20. <laughs> which means we're three minutes away. Oh! I want to. Yeah. I, 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 I can. I've got, I can, I've got something that I can, I, can, I can move those three minutes along with real quick. Oh, I, I thought oh. we could have just had a chat, but you know, okay, fine. That's fine. Yeah, you do what you want, Jane. Well, right. just, just, something, just something a little funny. I needed to oh. listen to something during, uh, during that, whole, uh, that whole video. So I was like, you know what? No one's really saying anything. I'll just watch the mute. I'll mute the watch together for a bit. Wow. And uh, it's just complete silence for a second. And then just hear metal sort of go, ah. <laughs> 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 That's the only noise that comes over my headphones for like a solid <laughs> three seconds. <laughs> it's busy, okay. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, yeah. Uh, sounds cute. <laughs> Brilliant in every way imaginable. Mm. Yeah, that is. Uh, oh. For us, it's actually like 25 hours, but only have been live for that long, you know, just under so the 24. So. You can hear the sleep yeah. deprivation in your voice. <laughs> I'd imagine so. I'd imagine so. I'm, I'm, I'm really looking forward to going to sleep. You know those sleeps when you yeah. really need to go to sleep? They're the best. Yep. Oh yeah. Oh uh, yeah. I haven't had one of those in a while. On fire. I'm very tired. You guys have I'm done doing a great way better job. than I thought I would. I'm doing. I'm, yeah. I'm feeling. I'm not I'm feeling pretty great. <laughs> I'm really. I am not. doing a okay. 
You know, we, you guys, you guys just want to do another twenty-four. <laughs> Why would no, you even I, I say can't. that in front of chat? <laughs> <laughs> you know how they like, get. You know how go. they are. Yeah. Go encourage them. They're gonna be like, "Oh my god!" We'll have a couple more stories. Oh my god, Rag said, and he's he's one of the the hosts. So if he says it, then that means something and stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. just um. No, I'm just, the answer will be you know, I'm too incoherent to carry on once we once we pass that mark, you know. See now they're all yeah. saying do it. <laughs> um, <laughs> what would you what matter. what what happening. would you rather they say? No, no more, please. Yeah, I would done. rather them say you guys need to take care <laughs> of yourselves. Away. Make sure you have a good sleep, and we'll we'll happily wait for when you're, you're revitalized to make some more make content. Make sure you get love. some chocolate milk. Yeah. So I saw we don't need you, Muller. <laughs> stream for twenty four hours tomorrow to make fun. Uh, One hundred and fifty no. hours straight. Mm. I'm um, retreating into my lair. After this, just never like. What if um? What if you give the stream to to me and in metal uh to to just and we we can own it from now on. Well, like <laughs> no, no, no. oh, can we light, like like yeah, me. it could be like a franchise, like a Hardee's. Yeah, we, why don't you pass, <laughs> pass down the mantle of EFAP? We well EFAP. yeah, like you have to hire like out certain times. You have to hire like four, fourteen people, and you take twelve hours per week. And you cycle through them a lot, and it's just a constant stream. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that that ironically that could work, and I, I, I honestly feel like, well, I think there are some do that at some point. There are some Twitch channels that try that, I think, where they like trade. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, because there's was, wasn't Rocket Beans one of the channels that was constantly live, and they had like it, it was almost like professional, like they would have like shows, talk shows, and then it would skip to like yeah, gameplay yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Uh, the, 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 that's a German channel. Uh, yeah. Did they do English Ew. content? I actually don't know if they ever did English content. What do content. Germans know about rockets? Streamer. Uh, oh, a lot. Like, for like for a little while, there was uh, for a little while there was like streamer houses were like the big thing, and yeah, yeah, yeah. the constant like it, it was literally the same computer, and someone else would just come in and and sit down and take over the stream. Well, there's some okay, streams so where you watch someone sleeping as well, so you could. You, you, Constantly streaming, but you also show you sleeping as well. That's really that I'm fucking get the internet. So it has been four minutes since you said three minutes. So it is. Yes, we have passed the so 24 have... hour mark. It is complete. Hey, that is EFAP oh 150. Wow. What, a, what a journey. We covered what was that? that? Was pretty well. Was it three videos? Four? Uh, <laughs> uh, they were really three. bad, though. It was two in the four. first one. Was it one in the second one? Chat, you're gonna have to help e me out here. Efeb.me e says it's four videos. We did four! Oh. How about that? <laughs> I trust yeah. Efeb.me more than myself in my current state. <laughs> oh, absolutely, yeah. I think so. But... I didn't actually... I didn't actually get to do any of those videos. I was kind of looking forward to the, uh... What's-her-face one. I got six seconds of it, and that was it. Oh, oh the, the, the um... Grace one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that one Look was... Look forward to, was, to watching really that one. I haven't seen part one yet. I, I saw it, I came bad. in very briefly, and everyone was screaming at Grace. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I, uh... sad that I missed hearing about how Martin Scorsese's... Wait, what about wrong? I will never know. Oh yeah, we that video that was we had Probably plenty of conflict in this stream. It was wonderful. The the Martin Scorsese <laughs> portion video. So that's oh, cool. battling chat forever on Scorsese's retarded comments about cinema. But it was fine. Um, I still love his work, as we said before. Still love his work. Still a great filmmaker. It's okay. Um, yeah, you know what? We got we got through a whole bunch of meme videos. That was good shit. Yeah, we did, and a lot of them were very good. Um, and you know what? Gothic Phone was pretty damn good. <laughs> the article yeah, was great. Absolutely. We had we had a really some some really great rounds. And uh, I'll have to practice, practice in my downtime to keep my Gothic Phone skills sharp. <laughs> and let's be fair, the video of of Grace Randolph that was a journey going through that whole thing. How long did we take to get through? Was it yeah. like five hours or something? <laughs> Well, she started I, off mm, all kinds of shit, and then we, she moved to other things, and then she went to something else. It was torture. What a roller coaster. Um, but yeah, it was. Cray cray. It was a real fun time. Um, we, thank you so much to all of the all of the guests. Um, of course, people are gonna be like, wait, but where was blah blah blah? Where was blah blah blah? Different things happen on this day. It's just they like hate every us year. And they didn't come. 
sometimes people because like there were some people that I was I was literally planning on getting on as soon as like they're available, but then like different things get in the way, different things happening in between, different no promises and um it's unfortunate I couldn't grab some of the people I really wanted to have. But hey, we had a whole bunch come on. It's wonderful. Have some oh, so we're, fun we're times. all the ones you really oh, wanted so to have. Oh, so we're the team. Well, if you guys came on, that that could that could also mean I really wanted you here. I wouldn't be an exclusive oh. club. I wanted you here, Jay. All right. I'm not really upset. I needed you for your content when I needed to go get my nuggies. <laughs> I needed a video. <laughs> I think someone in fair. chat when we were doing that did say, guys, this is still stealing content. And I was like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I mean, I, I, just if anyone's wondering, I agreed to that and specifically made the video for the and for of course, the, the stream. That's... Jay's lying. Send him many, many DMs on all of his social media accounts and email addresses. And I would also say that um, that's Jay. Jay made the video. Go check out Jay. Funnily enough, I don't know if you caught it, Jay, but... Uh... Was it was it fringy or memes? It's also like you should have cut Jay off before he could talk about his stuff. <laughs> That's yeah, yeah, the yeah. correct way to do it. <laughs> I think fringy said that. Yeah, <clears throat> we fucked it up. We did say we did put our commentary into the into this top quality commentary though. I just wish yeah, I had I the actual should. nuggies, you know. I just made it complete. Um, mm. Yeah, Rex can be your nuggies. The plan I'll going be your, forward. I'll be your little orange nuggie. Um, yeah. Plan going forward is we're gonna uh, EFAP 101 and possible catch ups that, that's gonna be dedicated to trying to catch up with the, the super chats that came through this whole thing. I'm gonna put them all in one big thing and we're just gonna, gonna ride right through them. EFAP ain't stopping anytime soon. And um, yeah, of course, thank you so much for all of uh, for all your all the stuff you've done, you wonderful audience. Obviously, including but not limited to the wonderful artwork of so many kinds. It's not even really possible for me to, to, to sort of label them. We're talking videos, images, music, fucking lots of just interactions of different artworks coming together to make things and stuff. It's just wonderful. And then the quick, the quick shit that happens, like the fucking sad onion shot in itself to victory or whatever, like that that came out straight away. Just, I, I get, mm. it's a passion project, right? Because you love the onion, but still, lots of lots of wonderful work and impressive stuff. And I, and I haven't been able to show it all. Obviously, we'll try and set up another meme fap as well, and and get all different kinds of bits and bobs. And thank you so much, of course, for the donations and hanging out with us. Um, and as I said, thank you, of course, to, to all the guests. It's hard for me to know. I guess I could find on EFAP. Don't know me how long everyone's been around for. You crazy people. Yeah, we've got loads of like eight hours, nine hours. Apparently, that rags more and fringy guy. They stayed the longest. I don't know. It's been weird. Uh, Those yeah, guys. Special are thank you. Yeah. Mine only to be updated. It feels like it. It feels like it. Those guys are freaks. Um, but yeah, uh, well, what what else is there to say? I feel like there's something, uh, maybe I'm missing something? I don't know, what do you guys reckon? Um, special thanks to you and Rag's Coke dealer for supplying you with the best stuff to keep you awake for over 24 hours. What about Fringy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What about his Coke thanks, dealer? Jose. I guess Fringy's goo is probably the substitute, I don't know. Mm. You won't tell I us. wouldn't mm. tell you if that was the, the case, anyway. Wow. Well. Um, yeah. And whatever uh, it was, it didn't work because I'm exhausted. I, I just want to say I'm uh, I'm just having a lot of fun with all this EFAP stuff. Like I've been a, on a lot this past year. I think the most things I ever did with you guys before that, I think. We've been dragging uh, you on yeah, to watch just, a bunch of bullshit. Yeah, uh, and I might always say I want to kill myself when we watch this stuff, but it's actually really fun. <laughs> and I might often be depicted killing myself. <laughs> that is also true. That happens a lot now as well. Uh, yeah, I just uh, it's just a favorite thing to do for me at the moment. Uh, oh, no. So, especially <laughs> Killing myself? Yeah, I'm going to do it right now. Listen. <laughs> uh, no, it's just, uh, it's just... Thanks for having me all the time, and I guess chat is still not sick of me I'm, I'm guessing so that's that's nice to know uh Soon yeah enough. i'm i'm uh, i'm actually i'm really planning to push for the whole content creation stuff now because look i'm kind of sick of this normal work stuff i kind of hate it <laughs> what so, no and uh yeah, me too. just uh and every time we do like this media stuff it's like yeah this is i, I want to do this stuff uh i don't know how long it's gonna take me uh i'm gonna work hard but yeah, that's yeah. I just wanna say I'm thankful. It's good stuff. I like it. Always Mala, good to have you around. One... What was that? Should mm -hmm. we um, 
plug the plushies one last again. time i we suppose go. all right you... someone reminded me in the discord because it's it's still not i'm not i don't think about plugging stuff so to speak so it's just not something in my mind that i that i think about you know having this really cool kind of thing that people should have in their homes and should keep close to them in the dark in the light in the kitchen in the bathroom <laughs> in the tub in the in half the mode bath. in the half bath <laughs> in the washroom, in the dryer, in the hall, in their house. <laughs> because it's really amazing. Hey, if you're not going to do it, I will. Oh, well, I was going to say, All do, right, you, everybody. do you, you want to oh, do it? Or... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know what I want. So, everybody, um, Mario will help me out as needed. But <laughs> Makeship, they're really cool. They're, they made plushies of myself and of Mahler. They created stuffed um, toys in our image, and they look really, really cool. Um, let me get some links handy for those. It'll just take a second. Um, there is myself, and there's Mahler, and it's, it's a limited time deal. So I think there's like 17 days left. I think 16, 17 days left. I don't know. Time is not working right. Um, and after that, they're gone forever. These are the the Primo Gen 1 plushies of Mahler and Rags. They're really high quality. They look fantastic. They sent me a sample, and it is perched atop my PC, a, a very prestigious place in this household, I will, I will say. Yes. Um, looks fantastic. It's really high quality stuff. Super adorable, very cuddly, uh, extremely collectible. Um, and, uh, and also very, very viable at the links that are currently going through. Thanks, Thunder, uh, that are currently in the chat. Um, he's putting the rags one in, and um, he'll probably put the Mahler one in as well. Uh, but they're really, they're really crazy. They're really great. If you buy both of them, if you buy the complete first-generation uh, EFAP uh, plushy set, you get 10% off at checkout. So you don't want your plushie to have the sads and not have a buddy and also it will save you the dosh moolah so there you go that's like three good reasons right there um take a look at them they're they are they are legitimately really neat uh i, I kind of adore mine it's really amazing you all should buy them and get them and it helps us out a bunch helps the channel and helps us invest back into things and we really really appreciate it um um yeah, uh, Mahler, what, what else would you say uh, about them if you had to? Super cuddly, limited offer, not super exclusive because of that. They're, they're really neat. If you ever thought you might want one, maybe um, think about like like the potential for, for, for uh, even even gifting. I don't know. I was just thinking of like outside the box. What could we possibly cover that we haven't already? They're pretty neat. Um, and I, and I and I don't know. It's kind of like the the favorite bit of merchandise we've ever done. I think it's just because uh, they turned out so well. And so if if you guys that amazing. Yeah, it, if you guys are interested, I just want to stress. Obviously, they'll be gone after 16 days. That's all. Um, so yes, when we return yeah, in a week's right time, we will probably let you know again. And then a week after that, we'll let you know again. And then that'll be it. We'll be gone after that. So what what someone could do is someone could buy potentially doesn't hundreds maybe hundreds you could buy hundreds of these because oh, yeah. they're limited edition and they'll never make any more after this and then you could hoard them inside of your house in a, a massive stack of boxes it will be your <laughs> it'll be your shrine of virginity and you'll have this massive <laughs> tower of plushies whole rooms dedicated to it your whole half bath will be full of plushies and you'll have the only <laughs> ones that exist and you could sell them at a premium price to other people. And you make a gajillion billion dollars. It'll definitely happen. You could do that. So Scalp that's just jump. one marketing strategy that you could sell it to the Taliban in exchange for cheap M4s. Buy them by the dozen. I don't know. You could do anything you want. Uh, that's just an idea. I'm just chucking out ideas. Someone's yeah, called Rex. And, and, His brain is leaking. <laughs> And, and if you hate EFAP leaking. as well, leaking if you're one of the ideas. haters of EFAP, then they make good effigies as well. So if you're out <laughs> there right. and you EFAP, you can burn these in your backyard and go, hey, stick it, stick it to them, you know? 
Yeah. No, 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 that little yeah, dog and that tentacle monster. F fuck those guys. I'm going to build a massive pile because, you know, the bigger the pile you make, the hotter and brighter it will be. Yeah, and you can mm -hmm. make to You might purchase be able to make voodoo dolls. Pin, yeah. You know, put some pins yeah. in there. And me and like, ooh, pins. ow, don't do that. Yeah. Oh, no. yeah. Every time you we criticize the movie, you like, give him a little poke. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> stick a couple fingers up my plushie's asshole and oh, see if oh, I feel it. Oh, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> So many uses. I'm gonna get from here now. Quick, what? run, run. Is that a confirmation of anatomically correct butthole? <laughs> no. Right, no butthole like my butthole. They couldn't recreate it. It was too kind. incredible. Yeah. They couldn't recreate it. No, these <laughs> What's things. What's unique be worth about your butthole more. rags? Oh, 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 oh. End the stream. I could End go the stream. on and on. Yeah. <laughs> I, I did go on and on. I do want to mention. I saw some people saying Noom yeah, in chat. That. I do hope that Noom can make it as an EFAP meme, but you know, Noom. We, just, we just have to let things yeah. happen the way that they do. And that was a particularly entertaining moment. That was one of the four videos we covered. Up on that. No Noom was quite a thing. It was it was wonderful. Um, Noom was a pretty quality what, meme. Was that like in the Noom. first first part or second part? Uh, third. Was third? it second no, or third? I don't remember. I was here for the third, the whole one, I think. Oh. Ew. Yeah, probably second. <laughs> what do you mean, ew? Fuck you. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's probably, that's, that's, second, that, that's okay. about that, I'd say, right? That's, the, we did all of the things, I think we did. Mm -hmm. Fring's like, let me sleep. <laughs> He's like, <"Wait, laughs> please, it, let yeah. me go. <laughs> Why did I agree to be host? Fuck me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> gotta, gotta make some sacrifices, you know, that's how it works. Um, yeah. Well then, in that case, from EFAP, everybody here, goodbye, wonderful audience. Goodbye, goodbye. everyone. Yeah. Thanks for being here. Thanks for sticking Thank around. Mm -hmm. we'll we'll see you next year. And, um, no, like a week, it's, right? It's really cool. It's it's very much appreciated. Yeah. Neat. So, um, yeah, is, is that everything goodbye. from everybody? Yeah. Bye. Alrighty. Thanks goodbye, for the vote. I suppose. Thank you so much. We'll see you later. Off feather saying and all that. Um Asvidanya, um Toodle Pip Cheerio. Bye bye.
by you. We didn't get this nail-biting climax of epics. The celestial sexual proportions of close-minded, whiny fanboy tears. Get this nail-biting game, Alfred Robot by Batman. Get your ego out of the picture for two seconds and pay attention to the plot. We didn't get this nail-biting climax of epics. The celestial sexual proportions of another sword-like weapon. We didn't get this nail-biting game, Alfred Robot by Batman. A review that is nothing more than a description of an experience. <laughs> 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 Most people do not know what a Y wing is. No one seems to know what a plot hole is. Most people do not know what the ultimate homosexual is. How do Jedi's procreate if they can't love? Go write some fan fiction. Vader was Luke's stronger enemy, who he demonstrably could not kill. Let's just go write a typical virtual reality headset. Exactly what they are. They have privileged goggles. Well, condoms don't look intelligent the same way we do. The Dishonored Wolf is actually a nuanced little centrist boy. Slice and dice! I can analyze this scene forever. It's just so deeply layered. I cannot think of a bigger waste of time than debating art. And your bullies aren't just wrong. You can make them pay. <laughs> Joel is not a fucking beloved character. Winnie the Pooh is a beloved character. Joel is a violent anti-hero. <laughs> you have boring taste, I don't want to be friends with you. <laughs> Friendship and being in love are two different things. Luke Skywalker is not a superhero. What's wrong with you? This is my favorite part. He's just a hero, just a hero. Good God, is he annoying? I don't like Lord of the Rings. The terrible movie. Bossy is more of a cop. Ghibli is the Jar Jar Binks of the trilogy. Good God, is he annoying? Harry Potter felt like a real person. For no reason! Two towers, one mom be in the twin towers to watch this! The movie is your walking and walking! Shut the fuck up, the towers! There's just pointless things happening! For no reason! No reason! For no reason! No, we do need a reason. For no reason! <laughs> Okay guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and then on top of that, smash that fucking bell. That's it? Go away now!